morning, everybody. Welcome to the Steel Toe Morning Show. I'm Aaron Imholt. That's April. Good morning. We are busy as usual today. We have a great show coming your way. A lot of people to uh, a lot of people to talk about. A lot of news to talk about. A lot of things to cover. A lot of fun to be had. Hope you're ready. Jason says, "Good morning, bitches." Now, morning, bitches. I know he means it as a compliment, but, I, you know. It's endearing. I didn't go through 18 months of a radio program to be called a bitch. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Good morning, bitches. Hello. How is everybody? Hope it's going well. It's uh, it's the final show of the week. It's a lot of different stuff to talk about. It's all very exciting. Thank you, everyone, for being so chatty already this morning. Uh, be sure to hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Be sure to share the show with others. Uh, and let's see if we can knock out the final mission of the week. Now, uh, yesterday, not really that big of a deal uh, being down yesterday. It's the morning after the prize show. Yeah, we that's, went a little crazy. That's always a quiet one. So we just kind of kept it quiet on the goal end yesterday. Didn't really mention it too much. Uh, today, uh, the damage ended up being only up 40. So we're only behind by 40 for the week. I think we're going to knock it out today, do a half hour of overtime for you, and uh, break even for the week. So very, very cool. Uh, 440 away from our goal today. There you go. There's the PayPal link in the chat if you want to chip in via Super Chat or Membership. That's awesome, too. Uh, came up short last week just because of the Monday night football game and yeah. switching our uh, schedule around and all that stuff. Uh, so this week, hoping to get back on the positive end of things uh, after, you know, finding out about the Raleigh's thing and all that stuff. Uh, good news would be awesome. So 440 away. Let's knock that out today and uh, call it a successful week. Oh, look. I see green numbers next to the Dow. Oh, my God. That never happens. That seems like such a long time ago. The Dow futures are at plus 175 today. Ooh. Crude oil down to 81.51. You know, I hate to be the hack who complains about, like, oil prices and the way gas prices go because of oil prices. But it really is true. Like, when it goes up to 105 or 110, that gas price shoots up overnight. Ugly. Well, when it comes down to 80, boy, that gas price just kind of just kind of slowly trickles down. It takes a minute or two. When it goes up, boy, they're on it. Uh, if, uh, if it goes down, they're like, well, you know, we need to be responsible about this, <laughs> about the way we bring these gas prices down. Yes, let's be. Uh, TK800 says, hey, the likes should be matching who's watching. Well, not everyone who tunes in. I mean, a lot of people, I'm sure, just tune in, put the phone in their pocket go about their day. But yes, if you hit the like button when you come in, that helps us a ton. I hope you do it. Uh, I hope you, uh, I'll reset Aww. my little thing here as I fucking Why does it do always that? have to do. I have no idea. It's so um, weird. But yeah, if you want to do this, hit the subscribe button, smash that like button, and click the bell to get notifications. That would be very, very cool. Uh, the hurricane thing. Uh, oh, but thank you to Anthony kicking things off already today. Anthony thank with you. 10 bucks over there on PayPal. 430 away from this more Not really this morning's goal anymore. This week's goal. Uh, this is it for the week. Uh, so 430 away. There's the links in the chat. Uh Sly Rai says, that's me. I'm listening with my phone in my pocket. Wow, to be able to te uh, chat text. from your pocket I know. like that. It's a skill very few have. It's, uh, you got to feel the vibrations. Yes, so hit the like button, all that stuff. Uh, April went hunting yesterday and came back pissed. I, got, I have to talk to you about something. I, I was really? very sleepy last night. I have, to, uh, I have to discuss this with you. You have to stop going and doing things you like and then coming home pissed off. The whole point of going to do something you like is that you don't come back going, I had a terrible night. I think most people feel that way when they're hunting and well. You're all your like that, none that's of a your, pretty common thing. Only one of your hunts have ever ended well. That's not true. I yeah. consider I consider a hunt successful if I didn't spook anything. Um it was a nice day to be out there. Hey, but we're talking about an animal that gets spooked when a twig falls out of a tree. I think you're gonna recover from this. 
I know that. I totally didn't carry that into today. That's for sure. I know, but it's like, I, so I just fuck? find that weird with people like fishermen, hunters, outdoors people in general. You guys are so like, you're supposed to be like Paul Bunyan, but you're like some of the most sensitive people. You're like, well, yeah, goddamn fishing trip. God fucking hunt. It's like golf. Hunting and yeah, fishing are like talk. golf. I'm not. No, I'm saying golf is an infuriating sport. But like hunters and fishermen talk about like the piece of it and all that. It's like, just admit it's golf and it's fucking infuriating. And it's the same as like golf people. I don't think I have to admit that. That's just common sense. Something you liked didn't go well. Oh shit, that's not a good night. Like I always hear this this uh, saying, and I think it's total bullshit, by the way. That people, uh, golfers say it, fisher people say it. I don't hear hunters say it. They go, oh, a good a bad day on the golf course is better than a good day at work. I'm like, I don't know. I feel like there's bad days on the golf course where work people have behaved better at work. I don't always feel that way. Like, I don't live my life by that sentence. I know. Like, but I, I totally wish I hadn't gone last night. Why? Because I screwed it up. Don't, I screwed then, some things up and I wish I hadn't gone. Then quit. That's not a quit <laughs> thing. There's certain days to go and certain days you shouldn't go. I think you hunters, though, like you overestimate. Like Ron White's bit on deer, I think, is perfect. For like talking to hunters, you're like, guys, we're not dealing with nature's most elusive creature here. Like, it's I gonna, mean, they're not the dumbest one. Either. They're pretty fucking dumb. They're not though. I think if you looked up deer, you would find that classification wise, they're one of the dumbest animals. This is in where the I've world. got to tap out because I know I'm not talking to a hunter. I have, you have I know. no idea. No, I'm glad I'm not a hunter because sometimes, like with hunters, you gotta like take a step back to be able to observe the whole thing. Like hunters sure. are too laser yeah. focused. They're like, I got. You, you, okay. Sometimes hunters need outside perspective because they have to remind themselves, like you're wearing piss sometimes. So you're not exactly the most rational person in the world. Listen to us. Like they'll suck our car exhaust and they'll follow us around for a mile. So it's not necessarily. They don't like, though. I mean, they run right they into run the exhaust. They run across the road. They don't chase a car. They run right at the exhausty smell. They smell gasoline and they go, fuck and, it, I'm going. And you know, golfers, the thing is like most golfers don't drive hours. They don't put in hours of like prep work to get this thing done. So like when somebody drives a couple hours just to go do this thing and sit somewhere for four hours and it didn't go well, I think it's okay to not be super thrilled about it. Manage your expectations. Realize that you're going to drive a couple hours and you're probably not going to see anything. I saw plenty, just not at the right time. So... So that you, know you should be happy. It's, you saw no, your thing. You don't ever be happy when you spook the deers you're after. They'll okay? come. They're gonna be back. I promise you, they will be back. They're like fucking I said. Stupid. I didn't wake up thinking about it. I was fine. So I think you're making this a little bigger than I did. I'm hosting a comedy show, is what I'm doing, and this is funny because hunters. I've always, I've always went on this rant with hunters. It's like you guys are just too uptight. You're too serious. You got to relax. Well, yeah, like let the us have our thing then. The firearm hunters are a lot more like laid back people than the oh, archery Oh, why? Hunters. Because they can shoot a deer hundreds of yards away and, they're and drinking, don't have to have it come in? And a lot of times they just skip the hunt. They're like, yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to keep drinking beer. Gun gun hunting is damn near cheating compared to bow hunting. <laughs> so that that's apples and oranges, sir. I like those people though. Like they're chill. That's fine. But you guys are like Marines. I I was in the Marines. It's fine. It's oh god, have a sense of humor about your fucking hobby. I'm a dog shit golfer, and I carve up the goddamn course before I even go. I go, ah, right, time to go hack up the course today. Yes, and throw everything. Yes, well, no, just hey, 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 hey. just the wedge. Sometimes the ball. J well, no, that back up onto the mm -hmm. you know back up onto the fairway. No, nope, let's just throw it. Ah. I say Gutierrez says, uh oh, $5 says, ugh, I can't stand Phil. Where did Phil come Guess from? Guess we're up on Phil. Some, look, some people came to this show from our coverage of different people, so you gotta let them talk about their guys. Okay. Uh, I can't with Phil. Now he wants to rip off Nostalgia Critic and Djibouti dubs. I don't know who these fucking people are, but I love the names. Uh, watching nonstop commercials on stream. He's beyond desperate. I said this uh, a while ago. I'm just kind of over Phil. Yeah, he does the same thing over and over again. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's nothing new. Uh, I'm just kind of over him. It it gets sad at some point. You kind of feel bad for him. Yeah. Uh, but as far as ripping off Nostalgia Critic and Djibouti dubs, I mean. 
Djibouti Dubs is a pretty cool Yeah, name. if you're going to rip off anybody, I'd be ripping off a guy named Djibouti Dubs. <laughs> and, and I will say this with people. Stop saying that everyone's ripping someone off. I've got news for you. Everyone is ripping someone off. I don't care how much you love a show. I don't care how much you think a guy's God on earth. They're all ripping something off. There's 9 million shows out there. Do you think any of them are original? Mm -mm. We're all doing a show based on the stuff we loved coming up. They're all inspired. That's it. They're all inspired. There are very few originals. Howard Stern... Uh, maybe David, even David Letterman was heavily influenced by Johnny Carson. Guys, I, I'm not saying give Dark Side Phil a break. I am by no means saying that. However, at the same time, it's all influence. And I, I mean, mm-hmm. corporate America, for God's sake, is influence. Every company has a board meeting and they're like, here's what our competitors are doing well. How can we take a version of that and do well? That's why like chicken places are popping up all over the place. Yep. They're all ripping each other off. Uh, so yes, thank you, I say, but I, I don't know. I just... The, I mean, at least Phil's doing something instead of what? just sitting there yelling at people. I don't Are know, you sure? Guess he's watching commercials. He's watching commercials. <laughs> he's watching yeah, the Budweiser okay. Frogs. The what's sure. up, guys? What's that's he doing? fine. If he's riffing on these commercials, okay. I guess. Uh, and thank you, Bearded Trucker, for the ten dollars super sticker. That's going to drop us down to uh, four twenty, bro. This morning. Thank you. Have you ever heard of weed? I have not heard of weed. What is weed? Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's the coolest fucking thing in the world, man. When you smoke it, you become so cool and hip and ironic and better than everybody. I'm just kidding. I guess it's for old people's eyeballs. Oh. Uh, Kotod with five bucks says chipping in to buy April a rifle and Rebel Fluff Thanks. becoming a member for his fourth month. Thank you. Or Rebel Fluff guy, girl. That's one know. of those names that could be either one. Thank you anyway. There. Appreciate it. Yes, there. Thank you very much for their contributions. <laughs> uh, Bam Bam Bartz with 10 bucks says, give me a show. Oh, I'll give you a fucking show. You, if you Don't you ask for a show unless you're ready for one. 400 bucks away from our goal today. Oh, 395. We got another member re-upping today. Nice. Holy Thank shit. Thank you very much, guys. Knocking that out pretty quick today. You got us under the normal, lo- the, the base watermark. Uh, let's continue on. As a hunter, normally I'd like to flame Aaron for his takes, but he's 100% spot on right now. Thank you for being a self-aware hunter. I appreciate that. Uh, Toastmaster says, Toastmaster says, spooking a potential deer. Can we find a term other than spooking, by the way? I feel like we're getting really close to the sun, Icarus. No, I feel like that's the only word to use. Can we say we're like porch a deer or, you know, maybe we're, uh, smoking uh, a deer, maybe we're... No, smoking would be killing it. Uh, maybe we're uh, ring a deer. Uh, can we pick a different word? Spooking makes me uncomfortable. Spooking I a you'd po- like that one. Spooking a potential deer is better than never seeing one the whole time until you get off on the road home. Not if you screw up their patterns and shit. That ain't good. Are you an air traffic controller now? Uh, James J. Weed says, having a gun while hunting helps put meat in the freezer. Uh, making you wet says three times I've shot a deer under 50 yards with a cigarette in my mouth. That's kind of a cool visual. Uh, Balls and Wiener says most bow hunters are just wannabes. They never actually kill deer. You hear what he fucking said about you? Yes, I did. You hear what he fucking just yes, said about I agree. you? He said you're a wannabe. I am. Are you going to take that? Yes. Are you going to take that? What's this world coming to? I'm taking it. Oh, man. You're no fun. We need to get you a sense of humor about this particular topic. No, he's right. I've totally been not very successful. I've You're, hunted for years, years and years. But what and about hardly the, shot deer. What about the accusation of wannabe? How do I deflect that one? I how know, do I need defend to, myself? You know what? We need to get you a hunting PR person. We need to get you a Jen Pasaki. How do, how do I? How does one prove they're not a wannabe? What's uh, McKay- I can't like show everyone like, hey, I'm out in the stand. I'm trying. What's that McAnany chick's name? We need to get you one of those. No idea. Uh, Balls Deep says, yeah, if you don't see any in the woods, you'll definitely see them driving back out on the highway. Every, yeah, where all the noise. They like to go where all the noise is. Every time. Yeah. The American Dream Show. Well, you see, baby. Says, hey, Aaron, have you ever thought about doing gaming streams? I'm a very boring gamer. You would not want to watch one of my gaming streams. Fuck it. Maybe you should try one. Mm-hmm. Next time Next time you are gaming, just don't, you don't have to talk or anything. Just sit here and eat your queso and chips. Yeah, and- I don't. 
you know, so you can mukbang and game. And uh, yeah, I, I'm going to go ahead and go. I'm going to leave the gaming streams up to better men. How's that? Maybe they need something new. Uh, Ryan the Garbage Man says gun hunting is cheating. If gun hunting is cheating, why do bow hunters need a three-month season? No, I said compared to bow hunting. It doesn't matter. Uh, Belusier says the right on show is pretty original. Okay, you know what? That's a fact. The right on show is a... Pr I said that no yeah, shows were original. Yeah, but is it quality? <laughs> That, that's but in fairness that is they're right that's, that's not, not what i said but... that's not what i said i said is it original and it is mr nobody says why a hint i think he means hunt why hunt when you can learn to cut up a deer and help a friend cut theirs up and get a pack of beer and venison for it well look at you mr ingenuity so you're saying just take other people's deer yeah take a piece most people uh, well, i know would not it. allow this think about it if you help someone with their deer and then they let you keep a piece, you can get multiple pieces of many deer instead of all of one. You get like a percentage. You basically become the mafia boss of hunting. You just take a cut. You're the better right. call Saul if you of the can hunting find me world. These people willing to give up their deer, I will do this. Uh, I say Gutierrez says I was expecting him to say David Lynch. I guess David Lynch is a he's an original. Who's the pervy director? Who's the gay little tiny? He's really old now. Well, he might actually might be dead. The pervy, the tiny little thin director? mustache, really super creepy gay director. He was pretty original. It's just that Boy, he was a fucking know. weirdo. Somebody will have it. Uh, Waters, Waters, Waters. Uh, John, John Waters, Maxine. Yeah, ma actually, yes, <laughs> Maxine Waters. That's who I was thinking of. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, uh, Lamp Shady, for becoming a member. Uh, Jack Floyd says Phil did watch old. Review Tech, RTU, is that what Review Tech is? Uh, vids and talk shit about Rich. Yeah, well, that'd be Review Tech USA. Okay, Review Tech USA. I like Rich. I do. I like Rich because he refuses to go with the current of the internet, and he's like, yeah, we're all locals. We're all just, yeah, you can fucking make fun I, of everyone. I feel like it's if fine. you're here, you're open season. Yeah, I just feel like Rich has a grasp on things more than like most childish people on the internet. He's like got the healthy idea about the internet. He's, he's well-rounded. Like, yeah, he's like, yeah, I had a great peak, and now my views aren't what they used to be. Still got, you know, like 100,000 people watching my shit. Hell yeah, it seems like people like him. Uh, I say Gutierrez says, when's the Hocus Pocus 2 review coming? Uh, we did a, a video on the Hocus Pocus trailer. I'm not interested in watching the new one. I'm not interested in Hocus Pocus. I, I basically, like at that. this point, want uh, Hollywood to call me when they're done with superheroes and reboots. Bringing back people like 30 years later when they're saggy right. to there, make a sequel. Right, there's nothing wrong with a sequel two or three years after the original. Yeah, let's not do it like decades down the road. Yeah, but if you got to, like if you literally have to unplug Bette Midler from machines to have her do a movie, we can go ahead and skip that one. Omega Dreads Gaming Channel says if you hit deer with your car, it doesn't count. Also, your car is plus five damaged. <laughs> I love that a See, gaming I, channel I guy uses gaming. You lose some HP <laughs> if you hit Losing a deer. all that health. Uh, Belusier says, April, check out my YouTube channel. I just shot a doe last week. Well, that's wonderful, isn't it? That is wonderful. Uh, God, we got a lot of things going on in the chat here. I'm going to have to skip around a little bit. Thank you to Elias for the $5 super sticker. Appreciate that, buddy. Three ninety. dollars away from this morning's goal. Uh, do a crusade gaming stream and act like Guy de Lusignan, says Rupert. There you go. Maybe I can put on chain mail, dress like... And by the way, it's not Guy de Chatillon. You want me to either be Guy de Lusignan or Renaud de Chatillon. I don't know which one you want me to be. See, what I'm saying is you don't even have to associate with anyone. You can just like, if you do talk, it's about your game or whatever when you get mad and shit. People might need something new. No, I am not a fun gamer to watch. Not at all. All right, let's get started. The American Dream Show is getting a little antsy. It's like this sh uh, show just reads the chat all day. No, we start out talking to our audience a little bit. American Dream Show, you're one of those guys who just needs to calm down. You just got to relax a little bit. Give it more than five minutes. You're going to be fine. We like to check in with our audience, say hello, talk to the chat, and then... We'll get to the new stuff. Are you going to be all right? I hope you're okay. For the love of God, man, I don't want you hyperventilating over here. If I had any balls whatsoever, I'd read the chat for five more minutes. You would. Uh, Mark W. says, Rich plays a lot of steel toe clips when talking about DSP. All right. Well, thank you, buddy. I like, like I said, I just like thank Rich. Thank you. 
Uh, Brandon says, calm down, have some dip. He really, the, the American dream, baby, is a little too fired up. There's going to be American dream shit all over the Omni. Just relax, bud, or take off. Either one, it's up to you. Uh, S in the chat to spit on American dream show. Well, you know what? I'll, look, I'll leave that up to better men. All right, let's talk about, uh, let's kind of finish up the hurricane coverage. We got a lot of uh, fans and oh, listeners yeah. in Florida. Moving out. Making sure everybody's okay. It seems like you guys made it. I think only what? They say 100 people died? I mean, I hate to say only. Only 100? Well, I hate to say only, but they were, I mean, wasn't it? uh, It's all the old and sick. Yeah, it's like COVID. You know, only old (laughs) sick people die in hurricanes. Most of the people who die in hurricanes, we were going to lose them in a little bit anyway. Yeah, they couldn't save themselves. They're not worth it. They couldn't dodge the water. You know, if you don't have that movement in your hips to dodge the water. If I mean, you can't swim, you're done. How long were you going to last anyway? Um, yeah, what is it now? South Carolina's getting it, but they're getting like a uh, tropical. 35 mile an hour tropical yeah, storm. Yeah, they're getting a tropical storm. Tropical storm. Okay, so like in the Midwest, here's what it would be. Uh, it, it, like a tropical storm is your severe thunderstorm warning. A hurricane is your tornado. Sure. So I, I, think, uh, I think as far as Hurricane Ian... Killed some people, did a lot of damage, knocked out, like, I think they said a million people without power. Yep, there's a whole lot of people. It did some damage, but it sounds like Florida did a good job with it. All reports are that, you know, they they, they did it. well. Everything the, was in place to... The, the whole, as a whole, we made it. Yeah, Florida, you know, Florida has a built-in number that they're allowed to lose from hurricanes every year, and they're like... <laughs> it's just shrapnel. Yeah, it's sad when, you know, people lose their lives and stuff it's, like that, but at the same time, they're like... Uh, you know what? I think we're still under for the year. <laughs> right. That wasn't our whole budgeted people yeah, to lose. We had like 378 people we were supposed to have killed in hurricanes this year, and we're at like 100. Pfft. It's nothing. I think we'll be all right. How many people died in Katrina? Oof. That was like thousands, wasn't it? How many people died in Katrina? 1,833. See, that's unfortunate. Yeah. I think that's a lot of people. Like I said, 100 people dying, that's just the ones that couldn't get out of the way. You know, who couldn't dip, dive, <laughs> duck, dive, and ju- dodge. A stick got them in the face. Yeah, they got, they, got, they got a fucking branch right through their head. Those are the ones that didn't make it through the hurricane. Or the ones who didn't know how to swim. Stop it. Stop it right now or I'll never respect you. What? I'm assuming you're talking about old people. Exactly. Uh, Dub says, uh, ROTC showed a whale type creature flopping down a road yesterday. I don't know whether the footage was from Florida or, and from this hurricane, it was real footage. I think that was the, uh, the shark. There was a shark that made it onto the road. See, I still didn't see that. Someone sent it to me though. Okay. I did see that someone was, uh, asking Royce on Twitter yesterday. They're like, what? No, no day wave today. Oh God. And Royce retweeted, like, uh, retweeted it and quote tweeted it and said, oh, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. <laughs> it is like, just give people a break. The lack of humanity a lot of people have. It's just like, we're my goddamn show. Okay, but you're also talking about the internet. Yes, in a way that is a healthy way to think of Royce or me or anybody else is like, where's my show, dance puppet monkey? Yeah, don't ask Aaron if he's okay when yeah. we had a tornado warning. Right. Just why aren't you on? Assume I'm fine and that I'm just being lazy. Uh, So speaking of the hurricane, uh, this was probably the biggest loss of the entire storm. Uh, Forget the 100 people dying. Like we said, that was totally budgeted (laughs) by the state of Florida. So I don't think you guys need to feel bad about that. Uh, Apparently, there was a gentleman in uh, Florida who just bought a $1 million McLaren. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, oh, no. Yeah, I'd like to give you guys an update on that gentleman's $1 million McLaren. <gasps> <laughs> oh, no, dude. Dude, you could show me somebody's grandma floating by face down in that water, and I'd still look at that car and oh, go, oh, man. That's a tragedy. That is tragic. You could show me some old bitch. You could show me video of this water run- rushing by and this car under it, and you could show me literally an old man turning face up in the water and just that light b- washed away white I skin, know. and I'd go, don't, Bloated. oh no, don't let that man hit that car. It could end up totaling it completely. You can put a dent in that thing. Yeah, don't let that old man's dead skull put a dent in that McLaren. Oh, you, you know. What a sleek little car, but it looks tiny. Well, you gotta be a littler guy. 
to drive one of those. That's all. But I mean, kind of serves you right for keeping it in hurricane area. I mean, when they told me that a storm was forming out in the Gulf, that the first thing you do is drive your McLaren out to higher ground. Yeah, you get it to like an upstate or something in a storage unit. Yeah, you do not leave that car sitting. You know, it's fine if you're a Floridian and you go, oh, I'm going to ride the storm out. Your McLaren doesn't ride the storm <laughs> I'm out. I'm going to ride it out in my McLaren, though. Yeah, don't ride out the storm in your McLaren. <laughs> if I'm going to die, it might as well be here. As By the way, that's how you know that's either a drug dealer or some kind of first generation money. Because it's he just new money, yeah. he doesn't take care of his shit. That is so unfortunate. He's like it's not even in a garage. He it's has just outside. Yeah, he has Ford Taurus brain on a McLaren budget. He's like, <laughs> you know, you leave your Ford Taurus out. Like, see this guy leaving this car out there? That's fine. Insurance will take care of that. I mean, and don't get me wrong, insurance will take care of his McLaren. But well, yeah, maybe he just bought it and realized he didn't like the color or something. Yeah, it's I like, feel uh, like you should not be allowed to own those anymore. After you do that. That is sinful. What is Jay Leno telling him? Well, yeah, you should have kept it in the ground somewhere in uh, Massachusetts. You thought you should. No, I think he lives in L.A. He's from Massachusetts originally. Where's his hangar, though? Uh, someone says that car is about $400,000. Uh, that says uh, no. this car is worth a million bucks. Washed out of its owner's garage and submerged beneath feet of water as Ian tore through a Florida neighborhood. Uh, the bright yellow McLaren P1, a luxury vehicle that can top out at 217 Fuck. miles per hour and go zero to 60 in just 2.2 seconds, was captured in Instagram footage by its owner, Ernie. Oh, Ernie. Ernie, nice kid. Cute. You know, when he was a kid, Ernie had a BB gun. Did he? And uh, yeah, the J-Man hated Ernie for having that BB gun. So one night, the J-Man snuck over to Ernie's house and got his hands on that BB gun. And okay. then the J-Man squoze off about eight or nine pot shots. Hello, into the my own house. Wait, you shot you shot into your, your own house? Yes, I did, Tim. <laughs> and then let me tell you something. When the when my parents got up and they found the little BB holes in our window, let me tell you something, Tim, my little dumbbell pal. <laughs> Things changed very quickly over there in Ernieville, that I can assure you. Stevie J says, this sounds like a fake story. Uh, yes, that's because it's from a movie. So, oh, wait, that kid thought that was real. <laughs> what? He thought that was a real story. Yeah, he thought the, uh, <laughs> he thought the BB gun was, was a real story. Oh, that's fucking great. It's not, that was not a real story. Oh. Uh, that was from the movie Envy, as a matter of fact. Uh, the J-Man and Ernie never... That was an okay movie. ...existed. Yeah, it's fine. It's, that's it's, the correct word, fine. Yeah, I think Omega Dreads is right. The, the moral of this McLaren story is when you're told to evacuate, you Do fucking it. evacuate. Well, right? yeah, if you got a million dollar car and shit, yeah. he did try to put it in the garage in fairness. He did put it in the garage. It just kind of, it found its way out. As cars do in hurricanes. <laughs> it got testy. It yeah. wanted to see what it could do. Went from zero to 60 in about 12.14 seconds thanks to the floodwaters. You gotta buy those amphibious vehicles down in Florida. You gotta get a duck boat. A duck boat. That's what okay. you need in Florida. In Florida, you just drive around in duck boats and you'll be fine. What a great idea. Go to Wisconsin Dells, get some of the old ones, put them in your fleet. You'll Why do be they fine. have duck boats? It's part of the tour. That's very weird. They take you on the road and then they take you down the river. I've only been on one of those at Special Forces paintball gun <laughs> thing. It's like that thing where, like, you know how like they stormed the beaches of Normandy? It's the same theory, but like there's two opposing paintball team god that is really sick dude there are there's lines you have to draw and <laughs> shit like that where you're like dude i'm not doing that no it was really it's, fucking fun it's too gay i'm not storming the oh, beaches bullshit. of normandy while people it. shoot paintballs at me no there's whole bunkers and everything it was really cool they got like operation overlord like all yeah. set up do they have machine gun nests and uh pill boxes no but they've got like pill boxes i don't know they got a million places if you're the uh, side that's on land, you can hide in the bunkers, you can hide in oh all my. sorts of areas. I have to and see this. And then the other one, you storm in. I have to see this. I think it's um, called Special f Paintball Normandy. Oh, that's not going to come up. Biggest well. paintball event in the world skirmish paintballs invasion of Normandy. I mean, that's not the one I did. Intense that, that's cool. paintball scenario action. Oh, wow. This happens all over the place. Right. Holy shit. I'm telling you, it's pretty fun. All right, let's check it out. You know what that yeah, I see something like this. You come in on a boat. 
They should have to face live artillery shells, though, just like the guys on D-Day did. USA! USA! Oh, we're chanting. USA! We're chanting USA. <laughs> Remember 9-11, boys! <laughs> Remember the main! Was that election legit? I'm not really sure, as a matter of fact. Here we go. <laughs> Oh, well, oh, and they're taking fire right off the bat. This looks just like what I did. So now, wait a minute. Here's what I don't like about paintball. What? Are it, you? Can you get hit and still be in? Depends on what you set your rules up as prior. Okay. So, I like, mean, you can... There is a way to be eliminated. Some, some teams, it's like they put, like, a specific target on you, and if they don't shoot that, you can still be in. Oh, okay. Okay? But some, you know, it kind of just depends on what you I decided on. Like, Are there ones where, like, you can keep getting shot and just keep going? Like I said, if they don't hit the specific targets. No, I mean, like, is there a way of playing where there are no targets and it's just like, oh, well, I'll just shoot at each other and get hit because I hate well, that. Yeah, would be then, stupid. then you just talk to your friends before you start the battle and say, let's just sh sh fucking shoot each I other. I need deaths. I need people eliminated. Well, the, the ways I've always played is if no, if you're hit, you're out. OK, good. That's that's the way you're to play. dead. Move up, move up. Don't move up. This is so intense. Jesus Christ. Okay, th you know what? I take it back. This yeah. is kind of cool. You loser. Oh, shit. That paintball just flew over that guy's head. All right, so who wins? Let's fast forward. <laughs> a, guy, a guy, for some reason, has his dick out and it's bleeding. <laughs> medic! Oh. Medic! Uh, fuck. I need a medic. My fucking dick's blown off. And they're like, As, how? How did that happen? It's got hot pink paint on it. Yeah. You're running around. You see a guy and you're like, oh, Bubba, no. no. And you remove some stuff and his stomach's ripped open. You like guys who are bleeding to death. And you're like, you're taking this way too fucking seriously. Yeah, man, I can't remember the name of the place, Special Forces. It had, like, ravines and everything. It had a river with a duck boat on oh, that we shit. came in. It was pretty cool, actually. I want to reenact one where I'm Jesse Ventura from Predator. Now, are you going to run out of paintballs here? Yeah, eventually. This guy's this guy's uh, spending with both. Oh, nice army crawl, bro. There you go. Hey, you're shooting your own little bunker thing there. Oh, he's out. April, he's out. Well, they better switch it then. Oh, okay. So you got more canisters. It depends. Like, the places you go to, you can bring your own shit. So if you've got extra, like, canisters and shit, like, you can switch it out yourself. But if you're out, otherwise you're done. Well, I guess call me a white boy because that looks kind of... That actually does look kind of fun. It's pretty fun. All right. It's That's, kind of intimidating, too. Like, if you've never been hit by a paintball before and you don't know what it feels like, yeah. it's kind of scary. Uh, you until know what? you get hit. I take it back. It was fun. It looks like a great time. Thank you. Uh, I will do that sometime. Oh, look at S. Leiter. He says, happy International Podcast Day Oh, from S2H. Well, thank you, Scott. Uh, thank you, uh, S. Leiter. Thank you. 40 bucks coming in from him. Of course, does he know that he won the drawing? Does he know yeah, that man, he won? Yeah, man, you won $100. Yeah, you won 100 bucks. so you got to let us know uh, how you want us to get that to you. Uh, thank you very much. $350 away from our goal today, and that is the break-even point for the week for us. Thank you very much to S. Leiter. Uh, Omega Dread says, They shot me in the taint. I'll be near the healing station next to the soda machine with a monster energy drink. I'm black, and it's like South Central LA out here. <laughs> <laughs> it does. It looks fun. Like there, there are some uh, things where I'll admit that, like, I'll say they suck because I want to seem like not gay or whatever. And then you'll watch it and you just realize you're like, oh, the people who do that are just fucking lame and boring and no fun. Yeah, what? Just, just watch something and see if you like it. Uh, paintball is fun until you take a couple to the nuts. That's when you pull your dick out and you lay on the ground and I, you go, I'm hit. I'm hit. Your I, friends have to stare at your cock and balls. I just remember when me and my huge group of friends went the first time. It's like, okay, what the fuck do you wear? Because if you plan this right, you can kind of layer up and put some like thick sweatpants on under sure. shit. So it doesn't hurt so bad. And some guys just showed up in like at basketball shorts and a t-shirt and they get hit in the back and there's fucking dents in their back. They're bleeding. It looks Oof. like gunshot wounds. See, that not worth it to me. 
See, put some fucking well, clothes on, better. tough guy. Do better with the cover. That's true. Know. Maybe those guys are like Matrix type guys. I, I did. I had jeans on and I got hit in the thigh and my pants totally split. Just started ripping <laughs> all the way up. Thank you very much, Nicholas. Five bucks on PayPal from him. Thank you, pal. 345 away from today's goal. Very cool, guys. Thank you very much for the support. So, yes, you don't, hey, you don't have to raise your hand on, on your show. I didn't want you to keep going. Oh, okay. Sorry. I was moving on to the next thing. Steel toe paintball outing. We've got to come up with a bunch of ideas, man. I think uh, comedy shows, we've been doing those for like nine years now. It's time to come up I, with some new shit. I do worry about some of our listeners getting a little too into it, though. Better. Even better. Okay. You know what I want to see? Rifle butting. I want to see like guys getting close to the enemy spot, and instead of the enemy going, "All right, man, that's cool. You got you took the ground." He goes, sure. "Fuck you!" Bam! He just takes the rifle butt and jacks a guy in the face. Uh, you got guys like you see one guy. He's attaching a bayonet to his fucking paintball gun. Dude, what are you doing? Today's not a day where we lose, boys. <laughs> Jesus, man, just be careful where you're putting that thing. Everyone's going home. <laughs> We're all going home. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> In together, out together. You understand me? We don't leave anybody behind. Yeah, all of a sudden you see a guy he's flying a drone with a speaker. Mike Durant, we won't leave you behind. <laughs> Mike Durant, we won't leave you behind. He's at the snack bar. He'll be fine. <laughs> he's he's okay. good. Like he's not, we're, nobody's keeping him. We're carrying listeners out. I, <laughs> I got to find Bubba. <laughs> Which God, one of you is Baba? God damn it, you leave me here. Why, because you're too proud? No, because the fuck, we're playing a game, you fuck. It's fucking embarrassing. Jesus, man, why are you carrying me out of here? <laughs> and then on the ride home, it's just really quiet, and that guy who yelled at you goes, April, I never did thank you for saving my life. <laughs> <laughs> you're sitting in the front seat, staring forward, narrating, going, I, he never said so, but... I think he made his peace with God. Oh, God. <laughs> it just turns into a whole thing. We left one behind. Uh, come on, man. Let's push forward. Are you fucking crazy? I got a team coming in. They're going to nape the whole area. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I called in an airstrike. Oh, wow. You That's not something they do here. Just massive, like, what, bowling ball size paintballs just <laughs> fly in. Just fucking <laughs> launching them in there and just, just dropping them on people. Here and killed a guy. Yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden, you hear legit gunfire. You're like, who brought a fucking AR, guys? It wasn't supposed to get this serious. This is a work, not a shoot. Yeah. <sighs> Sitting there going, yeah, that's how our team laughs. <laughs>, uh. If you got to do this, are you doing the duck boat? Or are you going to be hunkered down in the bunkers? Which one are you doing? Okay, now wait a minute. That's, you're setting the audience up to answer that question <laughs> for me because... We all know who's in the duck boats, mm -hmm. and we all know who's in the bunkers. Right. And they're going to say that I'm going to be in the bunkers. I'm asking you. I think it would be more of a rush to storm the beaches. It was. Yeah. That's what I did. I think it would be more of a how long in, how, how um, long did you last before you died? I lasted a good five minutes. Nice. Yeah, nice. You know, that's a longer because of, I, uh, uh, yeah, average life expectancy for a grunt that lands on Omaha Beach was 37 seconds. I actually made it all the way back into the woods where the stragglers were back there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So you made it into the hedgerows. Yes, I made it to the hedgerows. Okay. Uh, Aaron would totally be a bunker baby. See? Yeah. <laughs> uh, just like String Man says, okay, wait, who brought a paint trebuchet? This is, guys, this is, Fuck. we're going too far. Too much. This is not even the right era. It's <laughs> <Right>. not. <laughs> Guys aren't Let's even, go we, medieval. We can't take swords and do paint swords. It doesn't work. Uh, It'd be kind of fun, though. Just walking around with, like, a suicide vest strapped to your body. Like, All right, I got a paint IED set up in the bushes. It's like, dude, you are. We, we're not bringing you back next time. No. You can't be doing this. You're taking this too seriously. Yeah, you're, like, you're kind of wrecking it. No, no offense. Like, they elected me to come talk to you, but like, you're really making it awkward for the rest of us. Uh, Aaron can always stand behind April. I don't know if you've seen our wit. I was going to say yes, because I'm big and bulky and, you know, yeah. good cover. 
All of a sudden, you see someone with a rider truck, and they're like, <laughs> I'm doing it for Timothy McVeigh. You're like, dude, you wait. No, we're not doing Oklahoma City bombing scenario. That Somebody is not- gets really confused and comes in on a horse. <laughs> yeah, you got a guy coming through. It's like, once more into the breach, ye men, ye merry band of brothers. And you're like, what the fuck are you doing? God. Somebody pushes the paintball nuke. But yeah. I think all things is wet. They're sitting there. You're, you're sitting there firing paintballs at each other. And all of a sudden you hear, America, fuck yeah. And some yeah. dude's driving a tank through the entire thing. And you're like, God, dude, <laughs> this is not the way this is supposed to be. Oh, the president rides in on a chopper. Yeah, you got, you see like a fucking. Drinking a beer. Like, guys, we're in La Crosse, Wisconsin. Why is there a fucking Black Hawk helicopter here? I don't understand this. Oh, I meant the guy from Idiocracy, but huh. that kind of chopper. Uh, just all of a sudden someone's firing from a fucking little bird and you're like, stop, this is inappropriate. We're all confused. Uh, they make paintball claymores, says Pop Rivers. Yeah, it's just, it's a little too much. That's all. Uh, mm. Yeah, people shouting Leroy Jenkins and getting up on a horse. Uh, <laughs> see, I can't afford a horse, so you ride in on a donkey. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Now we're gay. Some guy <laughs> some what? guy brings a fucking paintball musket and you're like, dude, that's gonna take minutes to reload. What are you doing? I can do this. That would kind of be a fun one if they could make like like Now I wanna bring you here. I, I made a jerk off thing, but that was supposed to be a ramrod. Will you do it some more? Uh Will you move your hands a little closer yeah, to your face. It, like I, angle it. Oh, there you okay, go. Okay, this is how I would load my paint musket. This is a ramrod. <laughs> it sure is. Yeah, just have everyone. How fun of a paintball game would that be if you all had like really inaccurate paint muskets? They could make those somehow. Oh, fuck yeah. Make ready. Take aim. Fire. And you just all stood in rows. <laughs> yeah. We got in the squares, like a little square, like you see in the poster, like the battle, like a calendar, like the battle of Waterloo. Dude, I feel like we have to do this now. I think this one was over by, was it by Buffalo. Special forces, something like that. Okay. We'll get a group together. Uh, Nick says, if you go to the south side, you can play paintball Black Hawk Down. <laughs> That's the east side, you racist son of a bitch. The east side. What if you do? What if you go and you go down to the east side of St. Cloud and you start yelling, where's Ideed? Where's Muhammad Farah Ideed? <laughs> and like, because it's like that culture, they're like, there are like 18 people named Muhammad Ideed here. If you... <laughs> Like to talk to them. I mean, They're I'm sure. Muhammad. Yeah, I'm sure they'd meet you. I mean, they probably have a little talk if you want to. Like, you want to start a business or something? I don't understand. Why? You want some halal meats? I feel like that name is severely overused. Muhammad? Yeah. It's like their bill. Isn't that like one of the top names in the entire world, though? The. It's the were, most common yeah. name in the world. The most common name in the world. Uh, 345 away from our goal. Thank you, everybody, for all the support. There's Thank the PayPal you. link in the chat. Super chats and memberships count as well. Uh, Mr. Approachable says, we used to line up two teams on opposite ends of a hayfield. Someone would blow an air horn, and you start running towards each other shooting, and if you get hit, you lay down there. Last team standing one. That would be fast, but it could be fun. I don't know. I did paintball at, like, my friend's place in the country and people are just so mean they're so mean when there's no rules like at least when you go somewhere there's like lay down right. some rules for you I, there need to be rules like i took a paintball to a barefoot once i wasn't even playing all of a sudden you see like reinforcements coming in and the song it's corn is playing you're like, <laughs> it's, corn. it's cone and you're like oh shit oh you can shoot corn kernels yeah a big lump <laughs> with knobs and all of a sudden the army that was pinned down is like yeah they're chanting to the fucking corn song Best part of corn is the grease. It, oh, Forward, it, man. It's kind of like Hunger Games where they have like a huge projection screen up top and they got the corn video playing. Yeah. They're like, we're going to win this fucking thing. For the corn guy. For the corn kid. The corn kid. Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, so anyway, the, I don't know how we got on that from hurricanes. but how did uh, we do that? Florida, we got another piece of bad news for you. I know that, you know, you had a hurricane come through. For parts of Florida, this might actually be worse news. All right, moving on now to some breaking news. Dolphins quarterback Tua Tungavailoa is injured at tonight's game. By the way, game. I feel like people who say his last name are really arrogant pieces of shit. <laughs> yeah, just say Tua. He's we Tua. We all know who he is. We know who Tua is. If his name was Dave Tungavailoa, 
or whatever, ravioli. then you would have to save it. Yeah, ravioli. If it was Dave Ravioli, hey, what's Dave Ravioli? Get over here, you motherfucker, you mutt, you. Get over here. Hey, it's old Davey Ravioli. <laughs> go get go get Billy Provolone. He's got to he see his buddy. Uh, but if you're if you say to his last name, you're a piece of shit because you're showing off. Most of us can't do it. And number two, it's not like he's got this common first name. Like nobody's yeah. ever said no Tua and someone goes, Tua who? Two of what? Uh, two of who? <laughs> two of him. He won the championship. I, I feel like people slur their way through the last name, too. They don't say it. Taga Viola. Yeah, let's listen Taga to this. Viola. Let's listen to this arrogant <laughs> prick one more time. Breaking news. Dolphins quarterback Tua Tunga Vailoa. Tunga Vailoa. Tunga Vailoa. Tug of tug, 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 tug your fucking pecker, you prick. Uh, anyway, let's uh, continue on. Sorry, Miami. I will get to the news. News. Dolphins quarterback Tua Tungavailoa is injured in tonight's game and is now in a Cincinnati hospital. Here's what happened. Tua I, was sacked hard in the second quarter of the game. We can't show the video because it'll get claimed. The NFL's and NBC or Amazon or whatever is really fucky about that. But he got hit, and it was one of those things. It wasn't like a big mm -hmm. impact. But they rolled him and threw him. Oh, and no. when they threw him onto the turf, his yep. head hit. And it was really God, scary dude. because he came up. He didn't come up, but his hands came up. He was laying back like this, and his hands came up like this. He's held him in front of his face like that. And Fuck. it was like, oh. And he, they just kind of went like this for like five seconds. I haven't seen until, the video. That until trainers got out there. Yeah. It horrifying. Was, it was pretty bad. Uh, head and neck injuries is what they're saying. Jesus. Certainly the Dolphins didn't need it. Uh, you know who came in to back him up? I don't know, actually. Teddy Bridgewater. How do you do? <laughs> Let's bring in the other guy he, known for big injuries. Yeah, Teddy Bridgewater did not do so well. but And when he Good landed to, to his arms and hands, appeared to seize up like he had suffered a severe head injury. He was taken off the field on a stretcher right to a level one trauma center nearby. The Dolphins shortly thereafter said that he has head and neck injuries, but did report that he is able to move his extremities. Last Sunday. Okay, that's, that's not good. I mean, it's good that he can move his extremities, but when news. that's the update, though. I would consider that great news, but he's not coming back. It's great news in that sense, yes, yeah. but in certain terms of like, in human being sense, that's great. In football sense, it's bad if that's the update you're right. giving. Right, you're not coming back from that, I don't think. And if you're one to of these head. teammates who saw that, you're kind of scared now, aren't you? Nah, they know the, they know I the don't drill. Know. They've been doing this since they were five. They know the drill. It also slammed to the ground against Buffalo, but he and the team then said it was a back injury, not a concussion. For more on oh, this and tonight. Oh, no, if they find out that they didn't report something because... They don't because you got to go through concussion protocol yes. and you might miss a game. I hope they didn't do that. I hope they didn't. I mean, the hit he took alone is enough to give a guy a concussion. So I'm not saying that like, oh, they were hiding something. But if he got thrown to the, if he got hit in the head last week and then they said, oh, no, it was a it was a, a back injury. And it turns out it wasn't. Can't do that. Uh, Rupert with 999 says it was either McLovin or Muhammad. Why would you pick Muhammad? It's the most popular name in the world. God, read a goddamn book. <laughs> he is right. McLovin was right. Uh, 335 away from our goal. And then uh, five bucks from S2H. He says, just put my $100 winnings towards today's goal. Oh, come on, man. Are you shitting me? Are you serious about that? God, I mean, if you mean that, that's I mean we like will, super but that selfless. come on, we want to give you the fucking hundred dollar prize. If he does that, that's the first time that's ever happened. Was he the member or the VIP? The VIP. Ah oh, man, I mean, if you want to, we can throw the others. Uh, wow, I'm not gonna have you give forty bucks then, and then an additional one hundred. So we're gonna do forty and six. The forty he already gave, plus sixty. I'm not going right, to put a yeah, whole 100 right. towards the goal. Keep your 40. Here's the deal. If you're going to put your 100 towards the goal, keep your 40. So we'll knock 60 bucks off the goal and we'll call it 270. So am I sending him anything? For today. I mean, Is that over? Okay. Order him something. Did he get a new shirt? Did he order one of the new shirts? I don't remember. I, All right. You can't ask me to remember yeah, you're that. Right. <laughs> you have hundreds of things a fucking month. I'm, I'm stupid. By the way, new order today. Yes, we are putting in the new merch okay. order. So if you want to become a VIP today or if you want to order any merch off Steel Toe Entertainment, or no, is it? Yeah, steeltoeentertainment.com slash merch. Uh, order that today and your order will get in for this next order. Otherwise, it will be about four weeks from now when we put in 
another order. And if you are a new VIP and haven't messaged me, please do so this morning. Yes. Uh, Adam says, sounds like he got released from the hospital last night and was able to fly back on the team plane. Okay, good. That, so two is going to be news. all right. I'm excited for the Vikings game at 8.30. Are you and I just going to wake up and put on sweatpants and watch it? Or are we going to go to a bar and like at 8.30 I don't in the know. Morning? I feel like I hear all of our friends and shit are going to bars in different towns. Yeah. And I feel like we're lame if we don't. Yeah. We can get together. Know. and Can the Vikings replace? I don't want to go far away, though, so we can drink. Yeah, I hear you. I don't want to go to like fucking Maple Grove or no. anything like that. Uh, the Ultimate's going to be almost uncomfortably packed, isn't it? You know it. <laughs> no, maybe not at 8.30. It's Cone. I can't get that fucking song out of my head, it's man. It's Cone is I, the right thing. <laughs> it's Cone. A big, big lump, lump with knobs. knobs. It has the juice. <laughs> do to do. And then the N word is in there somewhere. <laughs> do to do. Do to do. Do to do. do. I wish we could play that. Screw people for like being shit. I know. Copywriting a corn song. Like you haven't me? made your fucking money off the corn song yet. Let <laughs> it's me phone. Let me find the fucking corn song on no, YouTube. No, you know. No, I'm not gonna play it. Okay. But. How many views do you think? The corn song. Uh, it's corn. It has 13 <laughs> million views. Okay, so if he gets 15 bucks, if he gets a minimum 15 bucks out of every 1,000 views, this fucking kid had never had corn before, and he just right. happened to have a microphone in his face. <laughs> Here, times 18. This motherfucker's made 18 grand at least off the corn song. I have a question, though. Did somebody else make a video of that kid for him, or did he make it? So I'm worried that he's not getting the money. No, this is somebody's channel. This isn't right. the kid. Isn't that shitty? Yeah. So this poor little kid got a feature. They better fucking it. pay the corn kid, for God's sake. Pay that man. Uh... Okay, people have the, uh, do we have the link? Can somebody put the uh, link in for the merch? Aaron wants to get some at steeltoeentertainment.com slash shop. It's cool. Uh, if you could do that. Fuck uh, you. Wallmounter says, go to Stoney's, you fuck. Yeah, that would probably have to be the, the I'm play we make. I'm considering it. It's just that it's not very close to home for us. Right. So, well, one of us just won't drink that much. We'll go to Stoney's and we'll. Uh... So that that's always me, obviously. Yeah. So, yeah. What, what, why would you say something I like that? I want to have fun, too. <laughs> I I didn't say you couldn't. Maybe you can drink, too. Maybe, well, wait a minute. Stoney's isn't that far from our house. You could Uber that. Could Uber Stoney's. All right. All right. We've tried to get Ubers in Rockville before. <laughs> Didn't go very Look, well. Look, it's a smaller town. Stoney's Bar, downtown Rockville. They're opening at 8 o'clock for the Vikings game this Sunday. Uh, but now, Saturday is the big day for Stoney's. Saturday is where they've got the uh, say goodbye to the patio for the season. You got uh, Stoney's doing the goodbye to the, the, the patio, but also Stoney's Garage. Yep. Having a big party on Saturday. Great weather. It's going to be awesome. Go to Stoney's Bar in downtown Rockville. Go say hi to Cheetos. Yeah, we. I mean, Stoney's is out of like driving range for us, so we definitely have to do Uber. I mean... It's out of driving range if we want to go drink. We and have that. totally made it home from every anniversary party before. So... I don't think now was the time for that sort of time. I Ubered, of course. I don't think... Uh, I don't know what Aaron did. Von Kaiser <laughs> says, I'll give you a ride, but you gotta be shit-faced. Are you gonna be at Stoney's? Oh, that'd be kind of... That'd be fun. Uh, Rupert says, what about that cab company you used to talk about on the radio? I don't even know if they're still around anymore. Yeah, have you noticed there's I haven't, like no cabs there's anywhere? There's no cabs it's anymore. It's, it's all Ubers. fucking weird. Uh, Bo Archer, it's fine, but I agree with you. But like some people, like I, I'm honored that this show is becoming so popular that people are that level of obsessed with it. What? That it's got like, you understand that if I were gone, it would take a huge chunk of that guy's day, Bo. So don't get mad. Don't get upset about that. It's the internet. People are gar people who live on the internet are always going to be garbage, Bo. Trust me on that one. So yeah, you just leave you leave those people go. I personally, I find people who are obsessed with this show uh, remarkably entertaining. I, I do. I read their stuff. I watch their stuff. I think it's really funny because they're having a hard time. They they have this weird disconnect with reality where they don't realize how what they do looks to the outside world. Like the outside world looks at someone who's obsessed with steel tone. Like I fucking hate him. And they see, wow, this guy really needs to get a life. Like this guy really is obsessed. Like he's, he's a huge fan of this show and doesn't even know it. 
So it's you can't really take that kind of stuff personally. It's been happening to me for 15 years now. I have to sit here and assume I know who you're talking about. <laughs> Oh, the guy he brought up in the chat. I, that guy's yeah, I just a know. big fan who doesn't know how to express it. He's spent too much time online. He's locked himself in the Matrix too long, and it's fried his brain. And that's how he expresses his fandom. I will say this. The video that he's obsessed with that we did a couple of days ago has an over 80% like to dislike ratio. So he's definitely in a very tiny minority. Which video? Unfortunately. The stream we did a couple days ago on the Sven call. Oh, We're okay. going to find out today, by the way, if that uh, privacy strike that Red Bar threw against us uh, is going to stand, which it's not going to stand because you've got like 15 other versions of it out there. I um, just wish that people who did shows for a living had some fucking balls and weren't such insecure little pussies. I kept like, getting... Oh, I got to try and get rid of every piece of that video that shows me not being the cool guy and shows me being criticized and not being the center of attention. Like, if you don't want people to call you a sociopathic cult leader, don't act like a sociopathic cult leader. Not only that, but in my opinion, damage done already. The people have already seen it that are going to see it, and the people that haven't yet are going to hear the lore from it if you right. remove it instead right. of what was actually said. So those stories could get blown out of proportion. Yeah. You might as well leave it there. If you don't want to seem like a member of a cult... Don't just blindly follow something and then defend it like it's your girlfriend if it gets criticized legitimately. Do I mean, people defend girlfriends? <laughs> well, I hope not. I, I hope, hope that's not. not what people are doing, but I feel like I hear. you don't have a girlfriend you need to defend. <laughs> yeah. So guys, I just want to say, I see it all. I think it's hilarious. I'm honored that you need me that much. And uh, keep on keeping on, man. It's cute. Pud Pounder says the Dolphins are fucked. Tua has an obvious concussion on Sunday. They said it was a back injury and then allowed him to play four days later only to get another severe concussion. Welcome to CTE world. Yeah, mm. I think uh, I think the Tua thing, if that's true, that it... Because the reason they would have said back injury is because the way the concussion protocol goes in the NFL is if you say he was hit in the head, he has to go through the protocol to make sure he's not concussed. And yeah. then if he is concussed, you got to go through all the tests and you can't practice. And they're like, shit, we got a game Thursday. We got to get him out there. He hurt his back. It's his back. If we, I'm not saying they did that, but if they did, the way the NFL is now with lawsuits about head injuries and shit like that, they're going to come down hard on the Dolphins. Yeah, it's going to be a not good. Uh, Citizen M says that Mindceptor guy is coming off a tad creepy. No bullshit. He might just be doing an autistic bit, but his posts have gotten weird. No, he is a weird guy. Like that is a creepy, weird guy. Again, Citizen M, it's a guy who's just spent too much time on the internet. And he's he thinks that like the funny, obsessive things he does makes it look like he's owning somebody. And um, you cannot convince people like that when you tell you look them right in the eye, you go, dude, this is very funny because it makes you just look like an obsessed girlfriend. They turn that into, see guys, I got him. It's like, oh God, this guy's gone. So does he ever have anything new to say? I don't follow no, along with these it's posts. It's the same shit. Really? All the time. I, <laughs> it's, it's literally buddy, the same. Buddy, it didn't work for you the first time. Dude, I mean, you're entertaining us, and I don't th don't pretend that's what you wanted. I'm sorry. Uh, I want to go to a couple of other things here. Thank you very much, Bo Archer, for bringing that up, because that really is. that. I mean, I think Lossless uh, wrote me, too, and he said, dude, it is. Oh, and Nate. Nate and Lossless both wrote me. And said, dude, the way, well, Lossless kind of, he said, I want to expose the cult aspect of this because it is yeah. a creepy incel cult. Mm -hmm. And uh, Nate told me, he goes, dude, yeah, watching your video, I kind of realized like you have to set like two different levels. Like you're just kind of a casual fan of this because those guys who are way into it, they can't admit any wrong. They're insecure, no. they're damaged, like they can't admit that something bad happened or that something needs to change. Like they're just really, and Mindceptor definitely falls into that other group. Yeah, it, anything that's online or a show, I think it's so great if that's something that's like part of your life that you look yeah. forward to, but you cannot make it like your life. I think what they do, I think much. what they, they remind me a lot of St. Cloud Superman. Right, he bought into his own gimmick yeah, too hard. Yeah, they bought into the own gimmick, and now it, it warped their brain. We have a guy, St. Cloud Superman, here in St. Cloud. He's like 450 pounds. He just sits in his car on street corners with, like, MAGA flags and all kind of Fuck shit. Fuck Joe Biden flags. Fuck Joe Biden flags all over his car, and he, like, gets into it with people and yells the N-word at him, and that's, like, his gimmick. 
And then he'll go on the internet and post pictures of him and like, look at this fucking guy. And you're like, nobody looks at him and goes, oh man, that guy's hard ass. Look out for him. They look at him and go, this guy's fucking damaged. He also walks around thinking he's like the hottest shit in town. Like, I don't know if you've seen his, he's got a whole Facebook page about himself and how sexy he is. Yeah. Oh, he That's what I'm saying. Himself. Like, those guys remind me of St. Cloud Superman yeah. to a T, a guy I've been going back and forth with here for like 10 years. And it's always just fun to watch what he's got next. I've had two run-ins with him, and I've tried to keep them very brief. <laughs> he's he's a very, in a weird way, intimidating because he's so into himself. Yeah. Like, you just don't know. Well, and then people like him have this problem where when they go outside their group, everyone shits on them and goes, yeah. you guys are weird. You know that, right? And then, so they just go, well, that person's fucking gay now, too. And you're just like, oh, boy. So they kind of have to stay in that group because if they venture out... Everyone just goes, you're dumb. Yes. And then they go, oh, fuck, I'm going back to well, my friends. He used to have a uh, Volkswagen Beetle. He'd drive around with all the windows down, blasting like some gay music. Fuck yeah. No, it'd always be Kid Rock. <laughs> I, I rest my case. Well, I, I suppose that's uh, synonymous, I suppose. <laughs> uh, Coltrane with $5 says, see if Adrian can pick you up. Friends don't let friends drive drunk. Yeah, maybe Raleigh will come say hi. By the way, if you guys want an update... <clears throat> Nothing from Raleigh. I really, yeah, I'll keep my comment to myself. I just think that's shitty that he couldn't even reach out to you. Look, Raleigh's is with us for that's another so month. Bad. We'll do right by him, but it was just kind of a... Yeah, go there, obviously. I don't think Raleigh is even in charge of shit anymore. It's the managers, and they yeah. do a wonderful job. They do a great job. People. Yeah, they're good guys. Jesse's I, a good guy. I just think for how many years you and Raleigh have been in business. It's kind like, of a bummer. For me to get the message... Watch, watch, I never hit send. <laughs> You've been pitching this whole time. <laughs> oh, no. I just, hold on. Now I actually do want to make sure. Uh, Raleigh, wow. September 27th. I heard the news. Okay, I did send it. All right. Was it a text or a Facebook message? It was a text. Okay, so you can't tell if he saw it or not. No. So but he definitely did because it's I, a text. I did send it. Whew. All right. Stevie J says April is really funny today. Not a contest, but April is winning. Well, I want to win contest. Thanks, Stevie. Uh, 265 away from our goal. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate uh, all the contributions. 265 away from our goal. And that, of course, is our break-even point for the week. Uh, this is a very funny clip. So in New Zealand, uh, there's a an activist who's trying to be the next Greta Thunberg. Her name is Izzy Cook. And she's the big uh, climate change activist in New Zealand. Okay. She was doing a, I think it was a radio interview. And she was telling, she was doing that climate change activist thing where she's telling everyone else how they should be. And, you know, she, th she's telling everyone else that they should uh, do this and do that and not do this and not do that. And then the interviewer finally goes, all right, well, what do you do? And did it all fall apart? It didn't go well. Oh, she's young. Uh, yeah, she's Jeez. like I said, she's trying to be the new Greta Thunberg. Reply to um, let, this interviewer is great, by the way. I, you know, like Sky News and like some Australian places and some uh, New Zealand news places, they, they kind of drop their objectivity and professionalism. Okay. And they will goof on people if need be. Uh, well, this Izzy Cook decided, uh, I guess we'll call her scuffed Greta. Uh, she decided that she was going to tell everyone where they can and can't travel. Okay. Because if you get on a plane, you know, you're busting up the climate change thing. Yep. That ozone layer. Meanwhile, all these people who get together to discuss climate change, they're doing it in private jets and they're driving SUVs from the airport and they're doing, you know, they're meeting in these big luxurious hotels that probably suck energy like a motherfucker. They just, uh, you know, do as I say, not as I do. Of course. So this Izzy Cook is uh, part of this school strike for climate in New Zealand, trying to do the Greta Thunberg thing where I'm going to drop out of school. Great idea. Uh, because Good the luck. polar bears are all going to die if I keep going to geometry class. So they talk to this Izzy Cook, and boy, is she golden. Apply to have, like, approved events to be able to fly for. Well, that's one thing that you could look at doing. Am I allowed to go to Fiji? Is that necessary? In the current climate crisis, I don't think that that's necessary. When was the last time you were on a plane? Mm, I'm not sure. Maybe... A few months ago, to be honest. Where'd you go? 
AJ. <laughs> it's fucking bitch. Oh, that's great. I, no, I don't hate her. I don't dislike her. I think she's great. I think mm. she should be the poster child of the climate crisis activism. That's funny. She mm. is perfect yeah. for climate change. She's perfect for that whole movement. I don't think it's responsible for people to be going to Fiji right now. Oh, when's the last time you were on a plane? And by the way, she knows exactly. She does. She didn't have to think. Right. But she's like, a, a cup, cup, I guess maybe a few months ago. Like you asked me when the last time I was on a plane. End of August. Yep. There, that's the last time I was on a plane. Where did you go? Was it necessary? I went to Las Vegas, Nevada. And was it necessary? Super. Define necessary. Super necessary. I want to go back really bad. But anyway, uh, so there's Izzy, yeah, uh, I don't know, a couple months ago, I suppose. Where'd you go? Fiji. <laughs> it's like if it were like if it were a written comedy bit, I would go, oh, that's kind of contrived, guys. That's too easy. That would that never act easy. that would never actually happen. And then old Izzy Cook here, old scuffed Greta Thornberg or Thunberg. I went to Fiji. It's the interviewer's reaction though, that's the best. A month ago, to be honest. Where'd you go? Fiji. Izzy. <laughs> Izzy, don't you care about the climate, Izzy? <laughs> I care about the climate. Not enough. You went to, <laughs> you went to Fiji. <laughs> is this like the New Zealand Tucker Carlson? Because I feel like I, this would be his response. This is female Tucker Carlson. This is Carlson female Tucker. Sure. Izzy, come on, mate. Are you serious? Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> she she, she's serious? not even asking her any more follow-up questions. You're sitting. Imagine you're sitting there on the phone and you're all amped up to talk about your school strike for the climate, and then you start doing your interview, and the interviewer just starts laughing uncontrollably to the point where they can't even conduct the interview anymore. Yeah. And you're just kind of sitting there, like, okay, I get it. I went to Fiji. I don't see what the big deal is. Um, as long as I just tell other people not to do it, it's supposed to be fine. I'm going to guess Izzy either hangs up or says that she went to Fiji to talk to all the people that travel there about why they shouldn't travel right, there. Right, to talk to all the pygmies that yeah. are burning all the bodies. Don't you think? It's like when uh, the, the person who uh, is like the second in command to Ingrid Newkirk at PETA, like her second in command has diabetes. And to treat her diabetes, she uses medication that was tested on animals, which is against PETA's thing. They say you're not mm -hmm. allowed to do that. Yep. And when she was confronted on this, they released a big statement saying, well, it's okay for her to do it because she needs her life to fight for the animals. So They always have an excuse. Right. Though. And by the way, guys, when these like really far lefty people, like if they ever got to fully take over, that would be par for the course. Mm -hmm. If you're, it's a, well, it's like, look at any communist country, look at China, look at North Korea, look at the old Soviet Union. Anytime they get in there, they tell you what to do and there's two classes. There's the class where the rules apply and you have nothing. And then there's the party and the people who are in charge and they go, well, no guys, you see, we don't follow the communism rules because someone's got to give you the communism and we need all the money and everything so we can give you the communism. It's a great deal uh, if you're on that end of it. I've always thought the same thing about those like mega like pastors and stuff like that. The mega church pastors mm -hmm. like Kenneth Copeland and shit. You yeah. know, people have confronted him before like, oh, you've got all these nice suits, the big ass SUVs and the private jets. Like, what do you think about people like giving their money and it goes to that, you know? And he's yeah. like, well, if I didn't have these things, I couldn't go spread the word. <laughs> Although Kenneth Copeland just stares at you and go, never mind, dude. I was just fucking around. That guy's terrifying. I always know. Hey, uh, and he's short too with a scary stare. So I he's know. even scarier because he's like a small leprechaun. It's like, hey, kind of. hey, Kenneth, uh, what do you think about taking millions of people's dollars and then, uh, you know, buying a plane? What do you mean? You got to squint your eyes somehow. But he's his eyes are always wide, but squinty. But yet squinty. Yeah, how do you? I almost did the thing. <laughs> now I'm doing like, doing like De Niro now. There he is, is he? Well, it's pretty yeah, ironic. There. It is pretty ironic, but to be oh, honest, shit. it's not really a trip that I wanted to go on, but I can't really get out of it. Because oh, oh, well, fuck the climate as long as your tickets are non-refundable. I didn't want to <laughs> go, though. Well, you see, I'd have to eat the plane ticket, and that would have cost me money, and then that would have had to cause another digital bank transfer, which would have which emits energy. So... 
The plane oh was God. already flying whether I was on it or not. So I might so as well go to Fiji. I might as well go to Fiji and have a good time. I got some deep dicking and skipped my birth control pills. I hope I'm not pregnant because kids are terrible for the climate. They poop too much. There's all kinds of resources that go into kids. And I've got 19-year-old <laughs> tits. I don't want to see them wrecked. I really get out of it. Why'd you, go? Why'd you go? Why'd you go? My parents wanted to go. Is he? want to go. How are you, are you embarrassed that your parents did that to the planet and then forced you to do it as well? <laughs> this woman, this woman drives a wedge between her and her parents. Like, oh fuck your parents, right? Aren't they not Nazis? That would be funny, but I don't feel like Izzy's all in on this. No, I don't think Izzy. <laughs> Izzy is being exposed right now. Is very much a part time activist. Yeah, one hundred percent. I'd say it's a uh, it's all off when she has a vacation to take. Yeah. I think we need to save the climate. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got two weeks in Macau that I want to use. I hear it's beautiful. Oh, of course I'm not embarrassed. Did you have Did a you terrible have a... time? Not really. No, I... it was fucking great. It was Fiji. Why? It's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. Everybody should go. Wait, no. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, mate. Listen. You're such a champion. I think you've got a brilliant future ahead of you. And and oh, I, yeah. are you doing another strike soon? <laughs> oh, what a bitch. <laughs> what a bitch. <laughs> I like her. Ooh, she woman. is. She's the New Zealand Tucker Carlson. I want to know this person's name. Oh. It's not anywhere. I'll see, yeah, it's climate activist Izzy Cook says, don't travel to places like Fiji to save the planet, only to tell everyone... Just got back from Fiji. Got a nice tan, actually. It was pretty nice. It was lovely. Uh, Citizen M says she's 16. She's a child. She didn't fly to herself to Fiji. Oh, so she's really... So she's not like a... I thought they meant college student. I thought they meant like student strike, like colleges are no. not going to classes. Wow, she's she, 16. Well, she then shut really the... She young. Shut the fuck up. Then why are you even on an interview? Didn't we learn our lesson from Greta Thunberg that all of these kids are full of shit? And it's not their fault. We're all full of shit when we're 16. We don't know what we're talking about. You don't know what we want. I thought universal government health care was the thing to do when, when I was 16 years old. I didn't have any idea what I was doing. So, yeah, someone said, so she's a victim, says Rasputin of Raymond. I mean, in a way, I mean, if you look her. at if you look at Greta Thunberg, her parents scared the living shit out of her. Right, and now Izzy's parents are holding her hostage and taking her to Fiji. <laughs> I had to go to Fiji. My parents put a gun in my mouth, told me I couldn't get my driver's license, told me I couldn't graduate grade twelve, so or grade ten. So what am I supposed to do? Uh, thank you very much to Matthew for the 10 bucks over there on PayPal. Appreciate it, buddy. Thank you. 255 away from our goal today. You guys are moving like crazy. Thank you very much. There's the PayPal link in the chat. Super chat's available as well. Uh, oh, wow. Gray Idol says she's too old for Leo. It's too bad. Oh, boy. It's too bad. I mean, she's got a little ways to go yet. Well, now I think Leo DiCaprio is hanging out with, like, uh, Emily Ratajkowski. I think he bumped up. Oh, no, I think that's Brad Pitt. What? Yeah. I I don't know. I'm not into her, I guess. I can't spell her stupid. It's filling it in awful. right for I don't you. want her height. I don't give a shit about her height, though. She's 5'7". Good for her. Brad Pitt, Emily Ratatouille keeping things low-key due to divorce drama. Yeah, she's actually going through a divorce right now, and she's fucking Brad Pitt on a beach somewhere. Wouldn't you? There are worse things to do during your divorce than fucking Brad Pitt. I'm not sitting here saying... If you're getting a divorce, that thing's already over and done with. Who the fuck cares? Yeah. Start spraying cum. What I are you agree. doing? You know? Did you hear uh, Jeff Bezos' wife is already divorced for a second time? <laughs> How did that even happen that fast? She just, uh, she decided, fuck you, Jeff. I'm out of here. Because remember, Jeff dumped her for the 40-some-year-old weather lady. Yeah, I don't remember what his first wife looked like even. Yeah, Mackenzie Bezos. She's fine. I mean, she. Oh, know, I she do is remember who, now. Okay. She is who she thought we thought she was. Uh, but th yeah, he left her for the uh, weather chick who looks younger than she is. And then she was like, you know what? I'll get married too. I'll show him. Yeah, this is one of those times where, like, the, the cheater wins, you know? <laughs> where, like, I, Jeff Bezos ends up like, oh, he seems like, he, yeah, I mean, he cheated with that Lauren Sanchez chick, but they seem to be remarkably happy together. That's true. I mean, and she's already 
on to her second How divorce. How did she get married and divorced already, though? I feel like that's been not a very big window of time. Apparently, someone's a giant fucking cunt. No, I'm sorry. I, don't, I have no idea. But, I mean, Jeff made it work. Then again, he's got billions of dollars and takes her to space, so. Yeah, so of course she's going to stick around. I mean, if, he, if you fuck someone next to a Martian, they tend to get pretty starstruck about the whole thing. When you're getting voyeured by fucking Jupiter aliens. You're, you're having <laughs> sex looking at the moon. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of romantic, I suppose. You only took, yeah, th but this is how women are. They hear that Jeff Bezos took his bitch to space, and now some woman who's the wife of a plumber goes, you only took me to Olive Garden. It's like, oh, let me build a fucking spaceship in the backyard, your highness. Uh, Stevie J says, I would do anything to go to space. Be careful. Richard Branson might make you prove how much you're willing to do. I don't know if I'd want to until it's like really I safe. I, it's, I mean, like it's really as, safe. Like people can assure me I'm not going to have any kind of problem. I would say it's as safe as air travel at this point. When's the they last time one there, of those things killed somebody? These people that are going up there with Bezos and stuff, it's only for minutes. Yeah, that's all. I mean, how much time do you need in space? If you're going to space, I want to look around a little. You, I know I can't go far, you but I just want to be able to like look around. You want to look around? Yeah. It's dark. It's it's space. A big <laughs> lump with knobs. It Give has the Jupiter. Ten minutes. ten minutes. To what? Stare at blank yes, void? Yes, I'm in space. I want to sit there. Don't look at me like I'm crazy. I'm not I mean, the only one. I, just, I hate to tell you, it's not, you're not going to see much. Okay. If it's not, if you're not going to see much and it costs fucking millions of dollars to get up there, why are you doing it? To say you went to space. Wow. Why does anyone go to the I Grand to Canyon? Space. It's a fucking hole in There's the ground. There's literally nothing to look at, but I went to space. That's what you're saying. Same thing with the Grand Canyon. There's it's a fucking hole. shit to look at everywhere at the Grand Canyon. A I'm going to argue of, you on that one. <laughs> a big lump with rocks. It has a river. It's a big hole with rocks. <laughs> yeah. I mean, going to the Grand Canyon and going to space is the same thing. It's just to say you saw it. Okay. What are you going to do, get a burro and ride around in the Grand Canyon? Hell yeah. Fuck that. Hey, did you see this rock? It looks a lot like that rock. And that is that so rock. untrue. Like, I understand you're not an outdoorsman at all. There's not an outdoorsy bone in your body. I get it. I understand the majesty of the Grand Canyon. I'm not spending millions of dollars to go see the Grand Canyon. Here's how the Grand, Can Here's how the Grand Canyon works for me. Ready? Oh, saw that. Check. Yes, I understand you have zero appreciation right. for that It's kind not of appreciation. Thing. It's yes, it is. it's what it is. No. It is a formation. Look, a river ran for a long time and it carved out a path in a rock. Look, some would say there's no reason to go to Las Vegas because all there is is gambling. It is a and constantly is evolving concept. And there is a lot more to do than gambling. How fucking dare you? But do you see how we're having the same type of argument now? I think like Paris is interesting and all these other things. The Grand Canyon, look, the Grand Canyon is interesting. <laughs> it's just not a lot to it. It's been right, there, done that. But like I said already. If anybody people, goes to the Grand Canyon twice, they're a fucking goof. When you go to space, you've got to spend, a, you've either got to really know someone and be somebody or you're spending millions of dollars to go do it for a mere like what, minute, seconds. And like you just said, oh, there's nothing to look at. So why do it? Go to, going to space because you're rich as fuck and you can. That's ridiculous. There's a lot of riches, but why buy a million dollar McLaren in a fucking hurricane zone? That's, I can use them for more than 30 <laughs> seconds. Uh, Stevie J says you should do a helicopter tour of the Grand Canyon next time you go to Vegas. See, now that's something I would totally do. I asked for that once and you said that that's doing too much. It's too many hours on for one, you. On that trip. It would have to be a trip where we specifically said we're going to do that. That would have to be like a five night trip. There's too much to do in that fucking town. The boring shit, just like once you're well, there, the boring shit, you're just like, uh, too gay for I right wanna, now. I want to go horseback riding in the mountains. I want to go shoot machine guns out there. I want to go on a. So you got to be out there Grand for a week. Canyon thing. You could drive one. out to the West Coast. Uh, you don't want to go to California. I know I don't. Yeah. I was just throwing shit out there. Uh, Mr. Nobody <laughs> says, I thought Aaron explores your Grand Canyon already. Oh, remember we established your cunt is the size of the Grand Canyon. Yes. So there's that. What was that? I've been there. I had a hiccup thing. Uh, <laughs> Six String Man says, who would want to spend an hour or two seeing the entire earth in your field of view? Aaron is nuts. Well, I didn't. 
Oh, you're being sarcastic? That's what he's saying. Like, you're saying there's nothing to be seen up in space, but like he it's said, you could be staring at the entire Earth. Right, but while I'm up there, I can look at that. I'm saying space would be cool, but I but don't need to be up there for a long time. what's the point in being time. up there for more than 30 seconds? Saw it. Cross it off the list. That is so fucked up. Why? Because I can't you're up there, you'll I, never see that view again. I'm the kind of person, you'll I don't know if this is like again. a left brain or right brain thing. I need to be touching things. I need to be doing things. I need to be able to move Touch them. Touch your own asshole while you're looking at I'm space. not going to finger my ass while I'm looking at the earth. Well, you know what? Never say never. But my point is <laughs> that I need to be able to do stuff. I can't stare at shit. I'm not the kind of guy who can stare at shit. Because I go, fuck, I'm dying. I'm These are seconds I'll never get back, and I'm just staring at a thing. Here, oh, there's a picture. Now, can we do stuff? Like, the machine gun thing is cool because you're shooting something. You're physically doing something. I can't stare How at How many shit. times can you shoot the same target? Change the target. You, no, you're right. Change the fucking target. I need different shit. Oh. I need my situation to evolve. Right? You can just stare at shit. I absolutely can. I've been out to the Rockies a few times, and I would walk around the Rockies for weeks. I love it. I, there's always something new to see. It's beautiful. But don't I'm you a fucking sucker for that. And I'll admit it. I'm fine. Do something. You you're know? always touching something. You're walking around. You're seeing life everywhere. Seeing. I see life all the time. You're in it. You're in it. I'm in it all the time. I'm just saying some people like the exploring thing, and some clearly don't. I got to be touching and doing. I and think moving. that's fine. That's what we're doing. Not yep. staring at shit. Hey, look at that. Okay. I'm cool. not talking about driving in a car through the mountain pass. Like you're walking around. Uh, Fauci's Pangolin asks, Aaron, do you ever yodel into April's Canyon? How do you think we make music? Uh, Bo Archer says, attaboy, prostate stimulation in zero gravity. Oh, yeah. Imagine the thrill of shoving a thumb up your own asshole while there's no gravity. That. I tried to tell you. That could you. be fun. Would your hand go into your ass like this? Like, would you have to? Like, you couldn't just jam your thumb up your ass. You, it would Why have to, not? You could play the. Uh, People brush their teeth up there. Like, you can do things. Yeah, but don't you move slower? Like, isn't it like sloth speed in space? Keep going. Do you move Keep normal? Going. I don't think you move normal in space. You What's with ask. all the tumble turns? There are parts of their uh, space stations where there are like zero gravity and shit, and they like prepare for that. But then you can turn shit on too, like where you're just normal and you're behaving normal. Fuck. It's a lot of money. Rexdart says they don't want you up there too long. You'll notice the dome and studio lights. Oh shit! You'll realize the Earth is flat. Fuck! I didn't realize that. Uh, April, just put a slot machine in the spaceship and Aaron will be there in a heartbeat. <laughs> I fucking know it. Craps I know. table, dickhead. And the thing craps. is... See, now craps in space would be a would be great time. I Why? According to you, your dice would never land. Oh, yeah, it's true. You just I throw your dice... That would be I, fun to play craps in space. <laughs> go, whoa, whoa. Okay. See, technically, we all won here. It's landed on everything. Yeah, we all... Um, I don't know. I can respect all that shit. I love being outside in nature doing shit. I and can, I'll play a slot machine. I, don't I care. can appreciate it for about 30 seconds. Then it's like, okay, guys, what are we doing? What are we doing next? What's what's next? Uh, you are mentally unstable. I think Gray Duckling nails it. He says, Aaron is a very tactile guy. I'm very much a touching things guy. Well, then you should love the outdoors. Touch the rock. Feel its heartbeat. Be the rock, Aaron. Yeah. If you smell, la, 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 la. Uh, I'll take you, April, since Aaron is a puss. I Thank no, you. Who's no that white knighting in this chat. Dylan Schmidt. We're going to the mountains together. Uh, Bird Collector says, but you can watch the same movies over and over or play a video I game know. over and over. But the video I'm, game got to me because I'm like, you will sit and stare at a fucking computer screen no, for hours if you want. But you're not staring at a computer screen. You're clicking, you're managing, you're moving things. It's the very definition of doing, moving, adjusting, and conquering. He sat down here yesterday bragging about how he's going to conquer America. Uh, so far, I've got the Caribbean and South America. Mm. It's Those ships move so slow in the 1500s. It's amazing. Uh, I don't like staring at shit, yeah, shit either. It smells, says Travis. Well, you're not. You're trying. You're not helping my side. <laughs> that was a good one. You're not helping my side. Uh, Stevie J says, fist yourself in zero G, then have April spin you. Oh, fun. Uh, Hulk Amasha Baby says, there's no gravity. You move normal speed with no sense of up and down. Fuck. Uh, SC Motorsports says, you are an idiot. Fair enough, but why? 
You can move the same speed in space. They don't spin fast because they are spinning that speed on purpose. Oh. So I could shove my thumb you up my ass. You can definitely thumb your ass. In normal, normal speed? Yep. Okay. Uh, that guy says, <laughs> I went to the Black Hills with X SXS this summer. What's that? But it, it was awesome, but Aaron would hate it. Oh, shit. South April. by Southwest. Uh-oh, April. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The fuck's going on? Look. See that? You did that like two years ago. Fuck. Yeah, I brought I bought him nice new pants and he ripped his ripped shit a, out of his back. belt loop. Damn it. Uh, Bo Archer says, I always love when space is brought up. It brings out all the armchair astrophysicists to explain their precious science. Fuck them. Whoa. <laughs> I didn't mean to upset anybody with our space talk today. I thought we were just, we were just having a nice time. That's all. Never assume we're having a nice time. Omega Dreads is calling, uh, was it Dylan, a Symposaurus Rex? I agree. Symposaurus for sure. Uh, Birdman says, wait, Aaron, so you're Lenny from Of Mice and Men and need things to squeeze. No, Lenny liked the outdoors. He doesn't. No, I'm, yes, I'm exactly like Lenny from Of Mice and Men. That is completely accurate. Uh, $2 from M.A. Mahalik says, does April want a trip on Space Mountain? Woo! Oldest ride, longest line. I wonder if Ric Flair still fucks. Uh, oh. Lab Glass says I can sit and stare. I can I can sit and stare at something unless it's a bad movie or video game. Ric Flair's daughter just got married for the third time. Something is ha guys. God damn it! Something is happening in the movie. Something is happening in the game. You're clicking around. You're moving shit. Stuff's always happening outside. You're staring at a rock. It's cool. It's awesome. It's fun. It's Nobody great. Nobody sits and stares at the same rock. It, you don't need to suck its dick. You overgeneralize what people do outside. That's your problem. You I, think that somebody just sits and cran munches staring at the same rock for hours. I don't think they cran munch. I think they eat the rocks. They're so in love with them. I and get I don't walking think around and looking, shit, looking at shit, but we're not doing anything more than walking around looking at shit. Great, that makes some people really happy. So to each their own. I would rather grate a cheese grater on my forehead than sit and stare at a video game on and a computer. That's wonderful. It's fine, but all I don't I shit said, on you for it. All I said was, I don't like just staring at shit. We all got and here I, because I said I'd rather out, spend 10 minutes than 30 seconds Outdoors people up in are space. very sensitive about their outdoors. That's all. I think you're being sensitive. No, all I said was, I don't like staring at shit. Now everyone's like, how could you say you're staring at shit? <laughs> I don't like staring at shit. I do. I should. I'll take that back. I like staring at shit for a little while and then walk along. I could do a Grand Canyon tour very quickly. It's some. <laughs> Some tour guide goes... Listen to that. It's the grand tour, the definition of not quick because it's huge. Right, just drive <laughs> drive through and go, there's that, there's that, there's that, oh, there's that. You. Oh, cool, there's that thing. Oh, cool, there's that thing. Oh, cool, there's that I thing. Do, what I, I know can all there is to know about it. Now. What I can appreciate about you is that like, I totally know who you are up front, so I will never bring you to those things because I would no, hate for you to have a see, bad time. And that's bullshit because you're sitting there going, I would never bring you to those things simply because I would enjoy it at a different pace. I don't want to be rushed through the thing I like. So that's going to ruin it for me too. I'm not rushing. You see the thing, you go to the next thing. You see the thing, you go to the next thing. <laughs> I understand it. I comprehend it. I don't need to touch it and hear Mother Nature's voice talk to me. I got it. Like we're, we're simpatico. We understand one another. Yes. Uh, Dusty Beaver says, I've been watching for a few months. And I'm now convinced Aaron would have killed himself years ago if April wasn't around to inject some common sense. Uh, just go to space and be the first human to pay intergalactic child support. Yeah, you could fuck an alien and knock it up. Oh my God. I, I, I just, dude, okay. I just, that silence was me skipping like 15 different jokes that I had. I know, me too. <laughs> um, do you think aliens. Okay, look like us, kind of like a variation of a human, or are they totally different? Total space Jews. I'm skipping now 15 <laughs> jokes. <laughs> <laughs> that guy says, it's a fucking movie, it ain't real, but Aaron can fiddle fuck watch that all day. I don't want, you know, April can attest, unless it's bedtime, I don't What's really watch on? a lot of movies. That's not true. If I'm walking around doing something and you want to lay in bed. I turn on something and fall asleep. Okay. Vegas is incredibly boring from what I can see on the outside, having never been there, but it seems like it's all casinos. Oh, no, 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 no. 
In fact, because they're going away from casinos. I mean, they're not getting rid of them, but they're going away from them as like their main draw because it's not bringing them the money it used to. Now it's shopping, it's restaurants, it's tourism shit that and shows that are bringing them all the money. The yep. casino revenue is actually going down in Las Vegas and has been since the 90s. Uh, Stevie J says, save yourself by saying, I don't like staring at anything but you. Dude, Aaron won't even make eye contact with me half the time. You don't like looking. I'm terrible at eye contact. It's very strange. Everyone thinks that's something personal. I'm just no, bad at it. No, I'm past that with you. I used to think it was personal, and now I've just noticed you just won't look at anyone. I don't like staring. Like, okay, that's enough. That was two, three seconds of eye contact. It's like, okay, now now I feel like we're like we're you trying to... When I make, Here's what I do. Make eye contact for like five seconds. You see, now I feel like we're in a contest, like we're trying to trick each other or like we're trying to, yeah, see, like now I feel like we're challenging one. I don't like that shit. Oh, he blinked first. I don't like that. <laughs> you know, it makes me feel like, are you trying to fuck me over? Are you trying to get someone? No, baby, I'm trying to fuck you. Ah, oh, that's what that is. Uh, the Grand Canyon says Karate Chopping Space Monkey, a big hole in the ground. It has the, it was made by Jews. <laughs> I can't imagine a more perfect thing. A uh, straight drive through Yellowstone Park is great. No stopping. Uh, you know what? I would want to go to that big steamy thing. The caldera is the caldera. Can you go to that in Yellowstone? I mean, oh, you can old... go to Old Faithful, you dumbass. What is wrong with you? <laughs> Did I just call Old Faithful the big steamy thing? <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I just called Old Faithful the big steamy thing. My disrespect of Mother Nature is fucking complete. Oh, man. I am so happy with myself right now. I have been to the big steamy thing. The big steamy thing. Uh, you can, in fact, go there. Cerberus with $5 says hunting in the Rockies. Do it. It's amazing. See, now that would be cool. That's a goal of mine. You're doing something. I definitely want to do an elk hunt. Guns, in the, though. In the Rockies. Guns. I want to shoot the fucker. We're, go we're going on separate hunts. <laughs> you want a bow hunt in the Rockies? Come on. Let's get through this thing. Let's get something. Let's Why are you... Who are you to shit on anyone else's, like, goals or dreams? I'm not shitting on your dreams. I'm saying, why can't we compromise and do the guns? Because it's my dream, not yours. I don't want your life. <laughs> God, see how see what I mean about these outdoors people? You try to give a little ground and you try to Maybe go Maybe we get testy because you tell us how we should want it. We're just saying, can we go with and do you think we could blow it away, blow its fucking head off with a gun? You are so mean sometimes. Why? Just I don't ask, tell you God, how to do shit. You hear that? You tell me I can't I even shoot I don't tell you an how animal. to do anything. Now I can't shoot anything. I didn't say I said we'd do separate hunts. You were such an asshole. Separate hunts for separate cunts, am I right? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Cerberus, for the five bucks. God damn it. Can't even shoot anything in the Rockies anymore. Says who? Says Grand Canyon over here. Uh, Kane says, hey, baby, don't worry. I'll be right back. I'm just going to Earth to pick up some milk. Oh, no, the alien left its wife and knocked up an Earth girl. Oh, my God, it's Ego from Guardians of the Galaxy Ooh. 2. Uh, King Kong Dong says, honest question, do aliens end racism because we would marginalize the air aliens and ignore the blacks and shoes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. People are just saying I'm autistic now. What do you mean? Don't tell him that. He wears it like a badge of honor, like a Boy Scout. He oh, loves my. it. Explain to me he how I'm autistic. He saying he's autistic. Uh, Kane B says, maybe April's eyes get all weirdly cross-eyed and he feels guilty like he's fucking a dog. <laughs> Has Aaron been tested for mental illness? Do I need to at this point? Let's just roll with there it. There is something there. I don't know what you'd call it. Yeah, I think so too. King Kong Dong says, ran into Aaron in public. He made eye contact with me, then made an angry face. Very unapproachable in public. That's, That's not... the truth though. Oh, no, it's not. I've seen you walk around stores looking like you could just kill everyone. Aaron does have a weird case of resting bitch face out in public. I don't think so. Yes, you do. I don't think that's you true. You definitely have said that to me. Uh, Bearded Trucker says, we're, so we're going to skip over Aaron blowing his pants out? No, it was a belt loop. I had a belt loop malfunction. He definitely blew his pants out. I did a belt loop problem. Those were nice pants, too. We're okay now. Thank you for the 10 bucks, Bearded Trucker. Big old hole in your butt. Appreciate that. Uh, yeah, people are... Uh, 
people are not happy with me. They're saying, damn, you're dumb. What did I call Old Faithful? The, the, the big, big steamy, steamy thing. <laughs> big steamy Just thing. Just call it the big steamy. The big steamy. That's all it is. <laughs> uh, Maybe all right. you should try to touch it. What do you think? Ooh, fun. Uh, 240 bucks away from our goal today. Thank you guys very much for continuing to knock that down. Thank you. Uh, they do make needles and thread. Fix that belt loop up. Uh, Sean says the hole in that ground that spurts hot liquid equals the big steamy thing, according to Aaron. <laughs> big steamy thing. Uh, fucking Philip says, I agree. He looks pissed in public all the time. That is true, though. You just kind of walk around that way. You sit in the house that way, in fairness. Like, I don't know if you're upset. I am always I, a happy guy. I definitely do that thing too often. Where that, And I know I shouldn't do it where I look at Aaron across the room. Sometimes I'm like, are you okay? Because yeah. he just looks angry and he's not mad. He's just angry looking. And I don't like it when people ask me if I'm okay. I'm like, I'm fine. Then he's actually angry. I will tell you. <laughs> uh, I'm as fine as the gay community is today. Uh, the LGBTQ community. I have to transfer off of this subject because we're getting boring. Uh, Netflix removes LGBTQ tag from Dahmer due to LGBTQ complaints saying this is not the representation we're looking for. <laughs> Guys, everything wrong with Jeffrey Dahmer has been fixed. Congratulations. <laughs> we have fixed the whole thing. We removed the this LGBTQ is, tag from it. This so is now incredible. when he butt fucks and kills and eats all those gay guys that he uh, had relations, uh, relations with, uh, now at least there won't be a, a group of letters at the beginning of the movie. That's nice. That changes everything. I think so. In that episode I watched last night where he's talking about, oh, no, that's that's my boyfriend. Sometimes he gets a little drunk and feisty, you know, and we just end up hitting each other. <laughs> like, yeah. And back then, like back in the 80s, <laughs> cops okay. were like, ah, that's what gays do. They just, you know, commit domestic abuse against each other. By the way, his, the 14-year-old boy that he called his boyfriend after he drugged. <laughs> oh, no. I watched that episode last night. I told Aaron, I'm like, I actually don't know if I can keep watching this. And it's not even because it's poorly made. They did a really good job. I just can't watch it. Yeah, I just have the, that one thing about... Um, my thing about the Dahmer deal is, like, I've seen all the Dahmer shit. So, like, I don't... It's da not Dahmer's about not that. Like, you watched all the shit on, like, Zodiac Guy, too. Like, you and I watched all the documentaries on that and had a fine time. Yeah, Who and cares? I'm... Right, and I wouldn't watch another thing on Zodiac. I don't even think I finished that... It. I don't even think I finished that movie. I would keep watching Dahmer you know, having watched other Dahmer stuff before, it's just that it is disturbing. It truly is. Michael B says the Jeremy Renner one was okay. It was meh. I think the whole, it, to me, the Dahmer thing is very rinse and repeat. Fuck guy, kill guy, eat guy. Fuck guy, kill guy, eat I guy. I think just Fuck. how they put this one together, it's very tense. It's almost like watching a Breaking Bad type of tension. Uh, I is think there... they did a good job. If you're going, if you're going to go watch a serial killer show to feel that way, that's, you know, it's going to do it for you. King Kong Dong says Bundy was my favorite. I think there's been kind of a consensus with our audience that H.H. H. Holmes is our favorite. Isn't there? The house guy? Yeah. No, not Dr. House. Not that was, Dr. House. That was house. Hugh Laurie. He had nothing to do with killing anybody. Thanks, Aaron. It was not Hugh Lowry. I just want to make sure April understands. Mm. Hugh Lowry, as far as I know, has never killed anybody. Well, that's comforting. Makes a hell of a seasoning salt, though. You're a different person. Is H.H. H. Holmes your favorite serial killer? Come on, let's move this thing along. No. I, Who's your favorite serial I really serial do killer? like watching shit on Bundy. Okay, Bundy. I, I agree. Bundy's, Bundy's pretty fun. <laughs> In a weird way, yeah. it's fun to watch. Yeah, I mean, he terrorized your gender, but that's, you know. Yes, but he I, denied it the whole way home. I think, yeah, I think the fun <laughs> thing for me about these serial killers is I'm rarely ever in the the scope of the people they went after. So it's kind of like traveling through time in a protected bubble. I you know, think, like I can think Bundy's really interesting. Bundy wasn't going to kill and fuck me. I actually got weirdly interested in that old woman who took people in, like took old people oh, in and lady. killed them. Yeah. And nobody ever noticed for She's some reason. She's fascinating, right? She is. I don't even know her name. But that was for money. Was it Doris? Doris something? Dolores, I think. Dolores. But uh, that was for money. So that kind of cheapens it. Like She still did it. Dahmer, Gacy, Bundy, like they just did it for the love of the game. You know, I just like they, they, they just did it because they loved it. It was something they enjoyed. It was a good hobby. They didn't need money. They didn't need bank accounts. They didn't need checks. Just like the the work was thank you enough for them. 
Well, yeah, it's like a sport for them. Right. They enjoy it. It's like sport fishing. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Carla Homolka for the win. I don't know Carla Homolka. Mm. I'd watch a documentary on some crazy bitch. I also I agree with Bob Rivers. Gacy was very interesting to watch because he had like such a weird, like complicated life, I think. But that I guy mean, was fucking gross. Painting, chicken managing, raping kids and Clown. burying people. Yeah. Uh, SC Motorsports says uh, Bundy scored four touchdowns in one game. Pokai football rules. That was Al Bundy, completely different Bundy than Ted. I'm sorry to say. I feel like if you're unfortunate enough to have that last name, though, you're always associated with it. Ted or Al? Ted. I'd say both. Uh, so Netflix has taken the LGBTQ thing off of the Dahmer thing, which totally makes him not gay anymore and totally makes none of his murders gay murders. It's uh, totally fine. You know, that is one thing about the LGBTQ community is as obnoxious as they are and as much as they try to make everything about them, they are really easily swayed. Like the, It is like when you make them look at the grand scheme of things, they never seem to have a problem with the fact that they've really not accomplished a goddamn thing. Like they sit there and they go, remove the LGBTQ tag from Dahmer. And you're like, okay, here. Yay! And we're like, he was still a gay serial killer who ate people and fucked them. Um, yeah, but you didn't put the letters next to it. Yay! They do always seem to get what they want, though, do they not? They're so I'm just fucking saying, obnoxious. There is something to that where they've got everyone figured out so well that they do get what they want. I don't even know if they have people figured out. I think they just don't stop fucking bitching okay they've until worked us somebody all. does something they're like babies uh omega dread says i'm invested in the show but it's just showing doesn't matter who you bang humans be crazy it's true uh that guy <laughs> says like saying monkey pox has nothing to do with gay right it's kind of childish to just pretend that jeffrey dahmer's sexuality had nothing to do with the crimes he committed yeah it is weird and like that guy's not around okay you could just i don't know you could just say, wow, that was a really bad one, huh? Glad yeah. he's not here. Uh, K. Fallen the Great with $5. Thank you. He says, April would be into Dahmer if she had a stronger vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, okay. All thanks. right. <laughs> uh, 235 away from our goal today. There's the PayPal link in the chat if you'd like to chip in that way. Otherwise, Super Chats and memberships count as well. Just 235 away from... Victory for the week, guys, and an extra half hour at the end of the show. Yes. Uh, Ryobi says, Trevor Noah is quitting The Daily Show. Thank fuck on Funny Bastard. Yeah, he's leaving after uh, seven years. And I'll be honest, I never watched an episode with him as the host. Jon Stewart was my Daily Show guy. Um, I'm going to say that they can just go ahead and be done with that show now. Yeah, I think you can hang it up. Unless I, I never uh, watched Trevor like, Noah. Unless though. young people are watching it, unless people 19, 20, like college-age kids are still watching The Daily Show, fine. But I feel like that's not how people that age consume content anymore. It's not. No, nope. so. you can, I don't know, YouTube. You can go to YouTube right. and pick anything you want at I any mean, time. Conan O'Brien ran into this problem when he was on TBS. Like, his clips on YouTube were having more people watching it than his actual show. That's how it goes now. And it's like, well, you might as well just make it a clip thing, I suppose. Uh, Suave Banana says he didn't murder because he was gay, but in spite of it, he prevailed. Yeah, that's probably what they, they probably say. Oh, he was just so heroic that even in spite of his homosexuality, he was still a great serial killer. Of course. You know what I'm having a hard time with with that show is I, they, they're so over the top with how like the grossness of it. I feel like I can smell the show watching it. Really? Like it's, well, they did a it's good job really, then. really gross. They did. Like I, I caught myself, I was eating last night uh, after I got home and I was watching it and I didn't want to be eating anymore. I will tell you this. It is great to have like original content. Like we talked about being in the age of like superhero movies and reboots. There are like a few movies that I'm actually finally once again looking forward to. Napoleon. Napoleon is going to be, uh, I mean... Napoleon, you type in Napoleon, you get Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> uh, Napoleon movie. Uh, it's coming up. Are they going to call it Napoleon? Okay, good. They are. Because they had another name for it originally, and it just was so fucking stupid. All right. Awesome. It's a Ridley Scott Napoleon I, movie. I like that they got Joaquin to play him. Yeah, and isn't Joaquin like a tall guy? So they're going to have to fuck no. around with the visuals of that. Oh, really? He's short? Yeah. 
Oh, that's right. They were going to call it Kitbag, which sucks ass. Kitbag? Yeah, that's too dorky a name. Ugh. But uh, they have nobody in this except for Joaquin Phoenix. Well, they had to pay him. That's true. But it's a Ridley Scott movie. There's got to be a shitload of money going well, into that. Well, you got to get a new batch of people sometimes. I suppose you got to pay Joaquin and Ridley. <laughs> there you go. That's it. Uh, when is that coming out? Uh, Napoleon movie release date, 2023. Oh, we've got that uh, poo movie too, the Blood and Honey movie. Blood and Honey, yeah, That's of course. Out. Blood and Honey's coming out. That's so. kind of original. Yeah. Uh, the Weird Al. Oh, the Weird Al movie. That's the other one I'm looking forward to. It looks like they did a really good job with that. Uh, Weird Al movie release. Oh my God, it's out. We can watch the How Weird we Al movie. That? September 8th. People are talking about that Elvis movie. Is that any good? What Elvis movie? It was on The Thing. Well, I'm not going back. Oh. I closed it already. Oh, fuck me. Who gives a fuck? Uh, the Weird Al movie looks decent. Ridley Scott gets in his own yeah. way, says Thomas Buddha. I love Ridley Scott movies, but I get it. I understand. I know, I, I know what you mean. Uh, so, we continue on here as uh, I don't even know how the fuck I got onto Napoleon. Uh, Brett Favre, uh, the more they dig into this Mississippi thing, boy, the more Brett Favre does not look like the innocent, you know, hoodwinked party that he played himself up to be. I kind of never felt like he was innocent because if you have to ask if anyone's ever going to find out, you probably yeah. shouldn't. But remember it. in the beginning they said, oh yeah, Brett returned all the money and he didn't know. And once he found out, he gave it all back. Remember that whole gimmick that we got from his lawyer? Yes, I do. But he still took it after asking if it was legit and they said no. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's Morse coming out now. Although I like Stevie J's comment. He says, Napoleon is one of the coolest stories ever. Exiled for kicking too much ass, then came back and did the exact same thing. Yeah, he just bit off a little more than he could chew with Russia. That's actually one of Aaron's heroes, is it? I not? love Napoleon. Yeah, he's one of my favorite guys ever. I think Napoleon's awesome because at a time where it was all kings and queens and you had to know somebody to get there, this guy just said, fuck you, and by sheer force of will, moved himself up the ranks. No connections, no nothing, and just became the guy. Isn't that what Hitler did? All right, look. It too, No, because Hitler came up in a time of elections, and he got elected, he, he got was, voted in. But he was still kind of a nobody. Right, but he was. it wasn't the same time period. Like, 1700s France was very royal and okay, sure. too passed true. down by families, Fine. and it was, you know, that whole almost a feudal type mm -hmm. thing. And Napoleon just went, fuck you, I'll just kill enough people with artillery cannons that you just make me a guy. And that's... There, that's your simplified history. Napoleon just killed enough people and took enough land that they said, eh, why don't you be in charge? I suddenly want you to have like a separate channel that's called like the Cliff Notes channel where you do like a quick 15 second rundown of like famous people just with that. Well, <laughs> I think there's a there's some channels that do that already. So I'd have to watch those and then try to do it my own way. Just as basic as you just said, though, this guy just blew up enough people and he was in charge. Just do 30 second little <laughs> yes. things. Like, all right, today we're doing 18th century leaders, and then we'll do 30 seconds on each guy. Yeah. Can't wait to get to Charles V. His parents were all siblings, and they fucked each other, and he drooled till he died. Duh. Brother, dad? There, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, 235 away from our goal today. Let's, uh, let's knock that out today, and let's... Uh, Call for overtime. What do you say? If you feel like contributing today, there's the PayPal link in the chat. Also, you've got your uh, super chats and memberships as well. From 2018 to 2020, Brett Favre's charitable foundation, Favre for Hope. See, and this this should be a red flag too about anybody. Anytime you start a charity and you name it after yourself, mm -hmm. there should only be charities that are named after you because you died of that thing. Like Susan G. Komen? Yeah, like in, a, in memoriam. Wasn't Susan G. Komen just some chick who died from breast cancer? You tell me. Or was, or oh no. Or did she, or did she, I might have fucked this up. Addresses breast cancer on multiple fronts. Breast cancer organization, Komen focuses on patient advocate, blah, blah, blah. It was founded by Nancy Brinker. Okay, good, 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 good. So I didn't fuck that up. But although, isn't like Nancy Komen, like, isn't that a really shitty charity that like fucks people over? I've heard that they're bad. I don't know. I've heard that Susan G. Komen is assholes. And it's something that like <laughs> dipshits dump their money into because they think they're doing a good thing. 
Right? Isn't that what Wounded Warrior too? Like they suck. I don't know. Do I always you... thought that a lot of those charities are like really dog shit and they just pay each other a bunch of money and jerk each other off and just barely give money to like the actual treatments. I do know that in this same vein, I had on like middle of the day TV the other day yeah. and it went into like six different ASPCA commercial. Oh shit. And then it went into like the St. Jude's commercial too. And of course they're both Oof. like donation based. Was it just like, did they it have a depression central? It was awful. Did they have a bet at the TV network to see if they could get people to kill themselves that afternoon? That's kind of how I felt. I got choked up after three of them. Ron Finger says, Komen is a charity where 90% of the money goes to administrative costs. That's what it is. Ew. Yeah. Wounded warrior. Same thing. Like they give all their money to their executives and they give the little, they give the scraps to the actual Well, all right. Well, stuff. fuck them. What, how do you feel about Black Lives Matter? At least they just fucking buy mansions. They just embezzle they can money. house people, right? They just legit launder their money and go, here, we paid it to this organization. <laughs> oh, that organization is run by your husband. And he fucking bought a house with it. We should start like a George <laughs> Floyd, like fund I of think, some sort yeah see, see how I, that does i think skeezy's right he says all major charities are a scam and they are i mean they just get big enough where you're like okay i need someone to run this and then the person who can run it is like yeah i'll take 800 grand a year please well yeah eventually no matter what charity it is if it does get big enough you can find ways where it is scamming because it always has to right. go to something that's not the charitable yeah exactly item uh, Zach uh, Yeg says, uh, now would be a good time to ask you to plug my new charity. Hope is very positive is the name, but you can search for the abbreviation HIV positive. Oh, well, that's, that sounds like a wonderful charity. Yes, guys, uh, go find out about <laughs> HIV positive. And if you, hey, if you could be a part of HIV positive, it's a great thing to be a part of. So spread HIV positive as much as you can. I mean, it is a, a great group, wonderful people. What do they do for you? Uh, I mean, they just, they give you all they got. Is it a weight loss uh, charity? No, hope is very positive. It's just about positive attitudes. Yeah, but HIV positive. What do they do for me? HIV positive is just about positivity and spreading that sp positivity to someone else. Seems loose. That's all it, well, I mean, <laughs> fine. You get judgy. Uh, Major John Rock needs direct donations. Screw the Wounded Warrior Project. Yeah, I've heard that from a lot of veterans, especially that the Wounded Warrior Project is bullshit. Yeah. That's what I've heard. All right, let's... Uh, so anyway, the Brett Favre... Jeez, we just get on to What is wrong with us? You know what it is? Brett Favre named his charity after himself, and that annoyed me. Uh, <laughs> which has... A, they have a stated mission at Favre for Hope, which has a stated mission to support disadvantaged children and cancer patients. Okay, could we not name the... Charity, then, something that sounds like Far From Hope? That totally does. Yeah. It sounds like Far From Hope. Like, if you say Far For Hope, quickly. You could just... Far For Hope, yeah. Far For Hope. Far From Hope. You Great. could just do Brett For Hope. Or how about you just name it Helping Cancer Kids instead of like, hey, can you put my name all over this shit? Or just call it End Cancer. End Childhood Cancer. Which has a stated mission to support disadvantaged children and cancer patients... Donated more than, oh no, the charity donated more than $130,000 to the University of Southern Mississippi Athletic Foundation during the same years that Favre was working to finance a new volleyball center at the school. Look at how much he just wants his daughter to be a professional athlete God like him. God damn it, Brett. Do you see that? that you cannot, like, I, I don't care how far you try to stretch that. That, it, that money is not going to help disadvantaged children and cancer patients. No. It's going to get Brett Favre's name on the volleyball stadium. This is like, well, some of them might play there someday. Yeah, see, this is the th <laughs> this is the I thing mean, that's going to sink Brett Favre. Is not like the actual scandal. It's going to be them being allowed to dig into all his shit. I am and find out what he was doing. Uh, Favre, a Southern Mississippi alumni, is embroiled in a welfare scandal extensively reported by nonprofit watchdog Mississippi Today, in which millions of dollars. We understand that. Blah 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 blah. Uh, oh, now I can't read the rest of the story because they want me to pay the athletic.com. Well, shit. I got the, I got the, uh, you got the juice. I got the juice. <laughs> so he took 150 grand from a cancer kid charity and gave it to a volleyball stadium. It's not looking good, bud. I'm starting to think this Brett Favre might be a giant piece of shit. Who, he's the, what was he? The Lee G, Levi, Lee Lear Wrangler. Levi. Wrangler, fuck Wrangler me jeans. to death. He was uh, the jeans guy. <laughs> you were too busy looking at his ass. 
yeah, to I know forgot. which jeans he was doing. I forgot which label it was. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, $150,000 giving it to the fucking volleyball thing from his cancer charity. Fuck that guy. I, I don't believe the lawyer a second now, which is probably not a bad idea, but I don't believe him for a second about anything he said about Brett Favre's role in this. I think he was so, it just seems like he was so willing to get this thing built. He didn't give a shit what he did. So I have no problem believing that he was told that, look, man, this money is for welfare. He's like, I don't give a shit. Give it to me. Yeah. Give I mean, me it. It's that's mine. That's what it looks like. Yeah. Uh, I do get a chuckle. Like, and I know that you say it costs a ton, but like, if you're this desperate, to get that volleyball facility built, fucking put some of your own money into it then. He has some money. He can help. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you count the charity money, as his. he's got all the monies. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he can be helping big time. Uh, Old Capital Tavern, 2 North Benton Drive in Sock Rapids, oldcapitaltavern.com. Our pals at Old Capital uh, with a great selection of top shelf whiskey, 240 bottles to be exact. Uh, they also have 50 beers on tap and an awesome menu. Try those pork belly, uh, the pork belly mac and cheese. The next time I go to Old Capital, I am having the pork belly mac and cheese. That's at Old Capital Tavern, 2 North Benton Drive in Sauk Rapids, oldcapitaltavern.com. Thank you to everyone who has contributed thus far this morning. We really do appreciate it. Uh, $235 away from our goal today if you feel like shipping in uh, i got a couple of things here i've got the the latest alex stein you know i'm still trying to figure out this alex stein i really am uh i'm trying to figure out if he's good or not because on one end i'll see like i'll see him do like the city council things and i'll be like all right i got it but then i'll see like he'll do that man on the street thing for the uh for what was it uh, martha's vineyard people and i'll go you know what that's a pretty that's a pretty good bit. Then he'll do something like he'll do the yelling and screaming at people thing and I'll go, "All right, enough." But then he'll do uh the um oh what was the other funny thing? The beef with Dave Portnoy where he made him look like an asshole. Well, Alex Stein has continued his little beef with uh Barstool Sports and Dave Portnoy by taking Dave Portnoy's pizza review gimmick turning it on Dave Portnoy and reviewing One Bite Pizza itself. So Dave Portnoy got this pizza deal where he has his old, uh, he has his old pizza review thing. Well, now they gave him uh, One Bite Pizza, which is his brand. So Alex Stein decided to do his own Dave Portnoy style pizza review on it. Let's check it out. Let's see if we got another hit for Alex Stein or if we got, got to go back to wondering about this guy. All right. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Primetime 99 and Alex signed for a very special one by pizza review of the one, the only, Dave Portnoy special, freaking Barstool Pizza Alert. Let me tell you something, guys. Dave Portnoy doesn't like me because I'm on the grind all the time and I call him out because, listen, they I'm got not liking it so far. No, he's I don't, just kind of being douchey. Yeah, I don't like the he doesn't like it because I call him out. No, he, he doesn't like it because you two don't like each other. I don't like it when people are like, you see this a lot when people get in fights with like friends or spouses or girlfriends and you listen to their story like, oh, what's going on? Well, they're just mad because anyone who says they're mad because I tell it like it is, I go, oh, this is totally your fault. Yes. Like, because there is no telling that person anything different. <laughs> right. Like when you, oh, they just don't like it because I call them out. It's like, no, it's probably because you called him a motherfucker when you did it. They're oh, yeah. probably a little annoyed. You weren't very nice about that it. That you did that. Like Alex Stein, look, the reason you and Dave Portnoy are feuding is because Dave Portnoy retweeted something of yours and called you an idiot. Uh, and then you didn't understand what the fuck he was doing. You thought he was being serious and everyone made fun of you for it. And then you took it down because his thing was trashing gambling and you have a gambling sponsor. Uh -huh. So you didn't want them mad at you. You looked like a bitch and then you doubled down and kept attacking got the guy. And then you like did this gay declare victory thing. And so everyone thought you were a douche. So Alex, let's relax. It's, it's not because you're on the grind all the time. And I really wish you would stop saying that too. Just say it's corn. He's got a bunch of degenerate content, but this guy, he's a pizza man. Well, let's see how his pizza tastes, all right? Let's see. Everybody I will say this. It doesn't look good. No. That looks very cardboard bready. It very much looks like just a general frozen pizza. It looks very sauceless. 
I'm not really thinking this is that good, but I don't know. I've never had it. One bite of pizza with multiple sexual assault allegations. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. What? Okay, Jesus. Alex. Alex came out kind of stumbling out of the blocks, but turned up the heat real quick. Turned up the heat real quick. Holy shit. Everyone knows the rules. One bite, but multiple sexual assault allegations. <laughs> oh, man. Oof. That'll get his attention. I'm starting to think this Alex uh, Alex Stein doesn't like Dave Portnoy. Wow. Hot take. <laughs> okay, one bite. We're about to put this in the pizza, Presto Pizza Maker. We're going to see how this bitch is. We're going to see how you is, Dave. We're about to rate your ass, dog. One bite. Everybody I don't like, I see, I don't, I wish he would stop talking like that. Why are you talking <laughs> like that? Stop doing that, Alex. Where did that come from? Is that part of a bit? Does Dave talk like that? Stop. Dog, we're going to put it on Something there for dog. about 16 minutes. You know we got that pizzazz, dog. The Presto Pizza Maker, let's go. Stop. Here we go. Now it's starting to Ooh. come along. It's come together. It's coagulating. That cheese it's very is burnt. coagulating. Let's go. You see that? That's the cheesy. We got the cheesy bubble in. Yeah, I'll say this. I don't understand how this part is shitting on Dave Portnoy. Like, you started no. out real hot with the sexual assault allegation thing. Now you're just literally showing us you you, you making his pizza. With a countertop pizza maker. Yeah. Bubbling mm -hmm. at the cheesy bubbling. It's got bubbling the cheese. cheese. Bubbling cheese. You know, Alex Stein, I've noticed this now. He is, sorry for pausing so much. He is that guy who needs to fill every second of space with some kind of vocal thing. He is. He's very uncomfortable with silence or just a pause. He doesn't like it. I'm fine with it. Me too. All right, uh, let's continue. Please, Louise, baby, let's go. All right, you don't. Baby bar stool, don't they rape me, <laughs> See, every time he's got me going, God, this guy is cringe. He like busts something out. Where I'm like, all right, all right, cool. It's a very up and down relationship. Yeah, it's a, I have. That's why I say I always watch Alex Stein's stuff because I either fucking I'm like, oh, he's Alex, you're embarrassing, or I'm like, that was really good. I've never seen him do a halfway good or bad thing. He's like a really shitty girlfriend that you kind of just keep around, but you're not sure if you like them, and then suddenly they'll do a thing one day. We're like, oh, okay, you know what? That's they'll why just, I like them around. They'll but then they're suck shit your again. essence right out of your cock, and you're like, "Wow, that's amazing!" And then the next day they'll go, "Are we leaving yet? You never take me anywhere. Can we go somewhere? You never <laughs> yeah. go anywhere. Can we go somewhere? Even if we walk around, you want to just go for a walk?" And like, that's oh. Alex Stein. That's Alex Stein. Okay, now it's done. That's how I like it. Golden, a little crispy on the edges. What y'all know about that bizarre plus presto pizza maker? Lock? I wish he would just talk in his voice. That's me annoying too. the shit out of me. I don't. That's why I'm like. Is he trying to make fun of Dave Portnoy's speech? Yeah. I don't know. Bubble and cheese, Louis. One bite. Everybody knows who touches the ladies inappropriately. Dave Portnoy. Mm. It looks overdone. Yeah. Hmm. Taking some monster bites there, Alex. There's Those something are some about this mm. dickhead in a suit. I don't like it. I know. It. He yells too I much. I can taste too. the cheers. The tears are sweet tears of his victims are mixed in with the sauce. And it has a hint of Dave's Adderall. It's kind of like a sweetness of the Adderall. And then on top of that, um, it's okay. It's not great. All the cheese. I'll eat it all because I'm overweight. But that's true. Have so I had to rate this? I would give a <laughs> 6.6 .6 sexual allegations out of 10. Mm. Yeah, I don't. Boom. That was a reach. Yeah. I got to be honest. This is not if his If you want a pizza work. made by a guy with a bunch of sexual assault allegations, one bite is the pizza for you. Bye, Dave. I'll see you in New York very soon, my friend. Ew. <laughs> so, you know, I would watch that if he did like a Dave Portnoy, you know, seeing him on the street, interviewing him, these two going back that's and how, forth. That's how he keeps you going. I would watch that. But yeah, that was um, not his best work. Sorry, guys. Not uh, not his best work. That was rough. Uh, Omega Dreads 999 says for the show and for pepperoni pizza. Oh, wow. Well, thank, thank you. you. And pepperoni pizza thanks you as well. Uh, 230 away from our goal today. If you want to help out, there's the link in the chat. Uh, yeah, people are just saying, oh, no, stop that. I think they're talking about his uh, the speech pattern. The speech is bad. 
Uh, Pizzazz is the best pizza cooker. All right, I've never, I've never had one. I haven't either. I just use the oven, I guess. Stevie J says, uh, Purgatory is a room full of Alex Steins talking to you 24-7 with no pause. That would be pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, the the uncomfortability he has with silence is telling. It was never, you can think back to a time where, like, you were with a friend or let's say there's a guy that's out on a first date with you or something and he's, like, won't stop talking. It's yeah. kind of uncomfortable. Uh, Bob Rivers says Alex's only good video is him going after Eric Swalwell. I thought the first, um, the first eye patch, the first couple eye patch McCain ones were pretty good. The Swalwell one was good. The first time he did the city council thing, it was like, oh, that's new, that's fun, that's interesting. But then he did it so many fucking times. The Las Vegas one was a bomb. Oh, that was terrible. Uh, Nick says he should be in the writers' room, not in front of the camera. He's got too big of an ego for that. Uh, he sounds so juvenile yet looks so professional. It is, yeah, it is kind of weird juxtaposition. I kind of like that actually. That is what bothered me though. It's just an asshole in a suit. It's, <laughs> is that your, is that now? Are, have you officially settled on Alex Stein? Is it just an asshole in a suit? Yeah. Okay. Because after the Martha's Vineyard one, we were like, oh, hey, you know what? Maybe Alex Stein has found his thing now. Yeah, but he didn't have my heart anymore. Yeah, there so was a time. He's just an asshole in a suit. Just an asshole in the suit. All right, fair enough. Uh, 2.30 away from today's goal. There's the links in the chat. Thank you very much. Well, let's uh, let's fire up. Oh, never mind. Five bucks coming in from Jared. He says that pizza is DSP approved, so you know it should be good. Oh, well, if DSP likes it, well, then who, <laughs> the, hell am I, who, who the hell am I to sit here and uh, say that it's not good? Do you want to go get a one-bite pizza? I don't. People are saying it's overpriced. It's not very good. I haven't seen it. I and haven't seen it either. I don't know. I don't like Alex Stein's take sometimes about like a product versus the person because we've sat here before and said, oh, by all means, like my pillow has good products. Mike Lindell's a well, shithead. I mean, in fairness, he Sexual fucking- Sexual assault is bad though. In fairness, he hates Dave Portnoy. I get so, that. I mean- I totally get that. It's just, I don't think people make their decisions that way. Yeah, the ones who who aren't going to buy it aren't going to buy it already because of those allegations. I don't I don't think anybody who's has one bite pizza would uh find, like the, like the Dave Portnoy thing is not a revelation to them. Yeah, I don't think so they, they wouldn't take it and throw it away. I don't think they take bites too and say Mmm, sexual assault allegations. Oh, this like, tastes like know. it was made by a it's rapist. This is delicious. So oh, <laughs> wonderful, man. <laughs> Uh, Lab Glass says he sure can beat a dead horse. Must be a steel toe fan. I mean, can't, can't argue with a guy when he's right. Huh? Uh, let's talk about something that might make you guys not be able to sleep tonight. Uh, a woman, uh, Savannah Simmerly, was traveling on board an American Airlines flight when a fellow passenger entered her airspace with the creepiest looking feet imaginable. I will never be the same, the woman captured the short, captioned the short clip. I thought the person kicking my chair was unsettling, but I had no idea what nightmares could be made of. The video shows the moment a person seated behind Simmerly pokes her toes through and props them on her armrest. All right, Ugh. time out. We need to talk about flight etiquette for a, for a moment. Keep your fucking feet on the ground and leave them there. You can stretch them out if you want underneath the under. seat next to you as long as you don't touch the other person's feet. But we're not sticking our goddamn feet through the armrests and, and putting our... Do you go to other people's houses and put your feet up on their furniture? Is that what you do? Showing off your toenail fungus. Ew. Ugh. Stop it. I, I, I don't like feet. Uh, I thought those were dog paws, one person commented. I would have screamed, added another. Were you sitting in front of a werewolf? I'm a grown man and I literally gasped in horror, one person said. Uh... Oh my God, that can't be fucking real. Dude, that looks like an old timey baseball glove. Ooh. That looks like it a looks, horror movie. It does. That looks like you're, why are they different colors? It looks like everybody on your plane was turned into a zombie starting in the back and then going up front. And this is like where they get you and you get infected. This is a zombie foot. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's not okay. That's not acceptable. I don't think those things should be uncovered. You should be allowed to chop those off if they touch your If seat. they get in your spot, yes. You should be able to ask for a, a, a bleach wipe. You should be able to wipe down your armrest, 
and chop off that person's toes. Any part that's touching your armrest, you should be allowed to remove. Oh, my God. Dude, those don't even my look like human watering. feet. It's it, disgusting. It looks like somebody made like a mocked up foot to creep somebody out. Like, you right. know, fake dog shit. Or you buy one of them like little hands or something. You know, like it just, you're right. It looks like a prosthetic. Oh, that is a terrible looking thing to deal with. The video, which has been viewed more than 1.7 million times and received over 80,000 likes, isn't the first foot clip to go viral. Well, no, of course not. In May, a passenger was left horrified after another flyer shoved their bare feet into the seat's armrest. A video caught the moment where the feet were seen resting on the armrest during the flight. So this is, uh, oh yeah, oh look at that. Oh my God. And you just, you just putting your feet up on someone else's seat. What my stomach asshole. did it. My stomach just flipped. If I turned Hit the around subscribe button, oh. smash that like button, and click the bell to get notifications. I mean, do that too. I mean, absolutely hit the like. Oh, hit the like button, guys. That's huge. Thank you. Yes. Yes, if you don't hit that like button, you like these feet. Yeah, if you don't hit the like button right now, you're <laughs> into the feet that were on this woman's armrest. So make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. We're already on the good end towards 5,100 subscribers. God, so thank cool. you guys very much for that. Uh, thank you. We got... Uh, Good, 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 good. Just checking on uh, all that shit there. Uh, the traveler was flying from Melbourne to Adelaide when the incident occurred. In the video originally posted by Instagram user Layla Vandenberg, a person looks at the camera in horror. They then zoom in on the bare feet poking through the seat. All right, you guys ready? We've seen the pictures. I'm not ready for this. You want to watch the video? Oh God. I'm re okay. All right, here we go. Oh, those are, they're moving. Those are real fit. Ah! Ooh. Wash your feet, you dirty bitch. Oh my God. Ah! Stop. stop it. You got a black nail. You got fungus all over. You got rotten between the toes. That's fucked up, dude. If these. Sh they're gnarled. Look at that little yeah. tiny toe. He's flipped. If, He's on his side. Oh, he does. He has like opposable got, thumb he has foot. A side, he has sideway toe. Oh. If the, if those feet were a house, you couldn't sell it. You, it's not up to code yet. Your foundation is crumbling. It wouldn't pass inspection. Those feet, dude. How do those feet keep you up, like right. upright? Like how are you not walking I like mean, a penguin? Kind of. They've got to stink, right? Oh, if they don't. Oh, stop wiggling them too. An American Airlines flyer went viral after a pair of feet invaded her airspace. I did. When I first saw it, I thought it was an old baseball mitt that had the individual fingers in it. Oh, That is... I don't feel well. Nightmares are made of such things. That is Oof. so gross. That is disgusting. But, you know, they, they picked the right person's seat to put their feet on because, like, a woman's not going to confront someone on something like that. You Dude. put you put that like you pull that shit on a spirit flight and you put it on the wrong person's seat. You're starting a, a war. Do you think that was a man or a woman's feet? Woman's actually. I do too. I think that that was a woman's. I feet. think that was some bitch put her yep. nasty ass toes on someone else's seat. I 100 percent agree with you. I thought that too. I don't think a man would do that. Yeah. And, and yeah, that's the other thing. Keep your goddamn shoes on on the plane. What is that's so disgusting. Like I totally I fucked up at the airport this last time and I wore sandals without socks and I just my I'm skeezed out walking on the floor at security. Yeah. Don't take your shoes off on a plane. Don't do that. Uh, Pro Wrestling Fiend says I work in a hospital and you wouldn't believe how many people like this come in and act like it's a new problem for them. Like it's a new problem for them. What are you oh, like about? the feet, the all the grossness in their feet. Like they act like it's new. Like oh, I don't know what happened to my feet. Like it was an overnight thing. Oh, like they have like rancid, how did your feet get like this? I don't know. Yeah. It just kind of happened. Oh, it just kind of happened. Uh, those toes are screaming for cleaning. I if they're still alive. <laughs> no, they look like the toes of a corpse. Yeah, those look like corpse toes. Uh, they they were like skin grafted toes. <sighs> Veldrain says Brie Larson said they aren't that bad as far as feet go. Shut up. Have you ever seen Brie Larson's feet? No, I, I've got a feeling I don't want have to. Have you ever seen Stevie Wonder's eyes? Uh, Brie Larson's feet. Uh, <gasps> 
Yeah. Stop behaving this way. Those are Brie Larson's You get feet. your fucking toe fixed. She's got a weird fucking toe. She can't wear closed-toed shoes that fit her. Oh, look, she got a little gunk in there, too. She's got a gunk foot. Stop going out in public like that. You don't like uh, Brie Larson's hang I, me I toe? I don't think this should be allowed. Oh, yuck. Look at that one, too. She's got, like... It looks like somebody broke all her toes with when with a hammer when she was a kid. And what's with those nails, bruh? I'm really upset with this person. Oh. You're a fucking celebrity. Don't go out with your toes like that. Fix it. You have money. You're wearing fucking $3,000 shoes. She had the red bottoms on. Fix well, your toes. I mean, what are you going to do about that toe? That toe. The Chop fucking, it off. The rest of her foot fits the shoe. That toe is the only thing that hangs off. File it down. You fucking oh wow! Look at those shave monster it so feet. that it goes in line with the rest of your toes. Now I know why she's so bitchy all the time. She's always got a hang toe. I mean, it makes sense now. You can't pick that off, right? Yeah. <laughs> Aaron be down there gnawing on. Oh, it. just sitting there going, "Guys, the fuck, it won't come off." Uh, your grammar sucks. Becoming a member for the fourth month. He says, "Here's another month of horrific stories." Thanks, Thank buddy. You. Guys, we are two twenty away from our goal. Let's uh, let's get under two hundred. And get on, uh, get into shooting range, get into firing range before uh, the last hour of the show there. If you feel like chipping in, there's the PayPal link in the chat. Also, super chats and memberships count as well. Thank you very, very much. Uh, gross, long second toe. I know. Citizen M said he's 100% going to church on Sunday. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> Gotta get clean I'm glad we can this. motivate you. <laughs> Obnoxious John Melendez says, uh, see, my feet aren't that bad. Exactly. I would hate to see his toes. I'm almost gagging thinking about it. No, you don't. You think he would have? You don't think John takes good care of his toes? Stop. I can't, I can't think about it anymore. Mike Durham says Brie Larson's feet have an overbite. <laughs> <laughs> they need a bridle on them. Uh, and a halter. They need, yeah, they need. Uh, yeah, the whole thing. <laughs> Rain them puppies in. Uh, Virgin Airlines, speaking of airlines, uh, Virgin has rolled out new gender neutral uniforms complete with skirts for men and pronoun tags because that's what the customers want. They want their guy male flight. First of all, I don't want male flight attendants. Yeah, what the fuck? Enough. Those lanes are narrow. The whole construction of a plane is based around a scrawnier, narrow shouldered woman walking down that aisle. You need like a cancer AIDS man. I don't need this fucking Michael Bisping on the left over here walking through my aisle and bon that's, bonking that's a, into my shoulders. That should be the pilot. That's a good looking dude. Yeah, there's a pilot for you. Oh, no. Oh, they do. They have a guy wearing the sassy pants. Yeah, but he's not one. wearing a skirt, though. I feel like this uh, picture is acceptable. Yeah, actually. but you know that that's coming. I feel like this is an acceptable picture. Hot take. We should have never oh. let. We should have never let everybody be a flight attendant. That definitely should have been a more discriminatory job because i mean what's your like what like, are the parameters look you're trans up? trans josh gad over here we don't need this this isn't necessary I, on the plane i do like bisping actually yeah but bisping should be flying the plane dude if he wants to hand me a little bag of peanuts oh into michael bisping we are what about after he takes his eyeball out i do you like a man with a i like a man with an extra hole oh yeah <laughs> so as, as if that hole hasn't been through enough uh, so Virgin Atlantic staff can now choose which uniform to wear no matter their gender. Good, because you know what's really worked out really well for our society? Enabling people like that. And giving us all the choices. Yeah, you know what I really appreciate about, you know, enabling people in that way is that they always seem to be happy and then stop right there and never ask for any more. And they just go, oh, thanks. That's exactly what we wanted. We can all live in peace and harmony now. That what you think? Yeah, that's that's my favorite part about catering to all that stuff. I mean, at some point, don't you have to be a business? Like in every other thing, aren't you a business? And you go, hey, uh, you know, we got rules here. You guys can go do whatever you want on your spare time. You can dress how you want, do what you want. But eh, this is a business, so why don't we? Uh, why don't, why we, don't all, we tighten it up a little? Women, you wear these uniforms. Guys, you wear these uniforms. Uh, <laughs> actually, you know what? As far as the flight attendants go, guys, you're all fired. You know, we don't I, need you. I think there should be an airline that's like the total opposite of Virgin Airlines. And it should just be like 50s misogyny airlines. So like while Virgin Airlines is like, we're really progressive and woke and we have gender neutral uniforms. Like the other one, we can name it whatever you want to. Uh, John Ham, or no, what was it? Don Draper Airlines. Don and Draper. on Don Draper Airlines, they only hire women to be flight attendants. They only hire men to be pilots. 
Uh, I'm still going to go with no smoking. Though. You got to go with certain body measurements. Yeah, you got to go with certain body measurements. You can only look, look a certain way. No big moles on your face. Exactly. Like the whole deal. Yeah. So you know what? Citizen Vulgar's right. Name it Toots Airlines. Toots Airlines. There you go. <laughs> so you can awesome. have Virgin and they can have guys dressed yes. as women with their, you know, dicks in a skirt. And then you can have Toots Airlines. And it's just, you got to, you know, if you weigh it, like make it like Ace Rothstein in Casino weighing the dancers. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm picturing. Exactly. Yes. So we can go with Toots Airlines. Got to wear waist trainers, get that shit in there. And then what we can do is we can have like little surveys after the flight's over. And then the people who flew on Toots Airlines, thank you, Citizen Vulgar. And then the people who flew on Virgin Airlines can tell us what kind of experience they have and what they enjoyed more. And I guarantee Toots Airlines would kick the shit out of everybody. That sounds phenomenal. Do we have to have a cup size uh, minimum? No, I think you just have to look proportionate. Okay. So I was going to say, I think you got to go large B, small C for the minimum. For the tits. That, okay, that's fine. Should we go C? Because if you, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go with a C no, cup minimum. If you Okay, because if you have A cups, you're not going to see them through the uniform very well. Don't want to know that A cups you are You want to know the tits I, I mean, you better have had fucking breast cancer. Otherwise, there's no goddamn excuse. Trying to grab tits and all of a sudden you're like this and then you're, you slip and your thumbs and forefingers are Why together. Why don't you what just the call fuck? them a dude at this point? Thank you for... Exactly. Yes. I, I know you're being facetious, but that's perfect. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. So C cup minimum uh, weight, height standards, okay. and it'll be Toots Airlines. And we'll hand out like good snacks and we'll have beers that you can buy. And then certain flights will get the free beers and everything else. And, uh, you know, maybe you can do a package where you pay a certain amount and then you get free keg beer the entire flight. Okay. There you go. And that'll be Toots Airlines. Very nice. Uh, if you tip the flight attendant really well, she'll sit on your lap for a little bit. And smile really big. Yeah, for enough money, she'll smooch you on the cheek. They've got to have nice teeth. Nice teeth. We're going to have all kinds of misogynist have standards here, April. Don't worry. white teeth and that pretty red lipstick just so it pops. The pilot must have one whiskey before his flight, but no more than three. Right? Three? Oh, yeah. my God. No more than three. Has to have at least one, Those but no more than three. Strong. Dude, fucking Toots Airlines is going to rule. Thank you, Citizen Vulgar. I feel like the interior has to look like Oscar's Steakhouse in Las Vegas. Just real classy. Okay. The colors and uh, everything. Okay, so here, we'll, for, for reference, here you go, guys. We'll, uh, we'll make the inside of the plane kind of look like this. This will be the inside of, the of Toots Airlines. Maybe this isn't the one. It's no, not you're the thinking one. of Golden Steer. Golden Steer, you're right. Yeah, you're thinking. Yeah, of with Golden like that steer. red, pretty background. Here, Golden Steer in Las Vegas. Here, here's the seats we're gonna have. We're going regal here on Toots Airlines. We're gonna go back to the old school. Oh yeah, that's that's gonna. Now be we're your, just looking at steak. Yeah, now we're just looking. <laughs> Come on, guys, show me the fucking restaurant. I'm trying to show my audience something here. There we go. That's what your yeah. uh, airline seats are gonna look like, but they're gonna be an airline seat version of that but they're gonna be big like only two seats per row yeah and like if you want to fly first class like there's no amenities we won't give you as long as you're willing to pay for it you can smoke cigars in there eh, no i think we gotta take it easy on the smoke we're gonna lose too many people too many people are anti-smoking at this point fucking fine we're gonna lose too much business so that will have to be sacrificed citizen vulgar's already coming up with marketing slogans toots airlines shut up virgin perfect uh, Joe That's e hurtful in many ways. Joe E says the whole crew must be white. Okay, wait, no, I never said that. I never said that. Uh, Omega Dread says, and one hot, uh, super hot Asian chick. Well, I mean, the guy's a gamer. Of course, he's going to want one super hot Asian chick. They all do. Uh, Mr. Nobody says, so a white people's soul plane. <laughs> Bingo. Now you got it. Uh, Ron Finger says, an airline full of the flight attendants looking like Corey, Big Bear Air. Hey, there. that's an idea, too. That could be a different. That could be an offshoot. Yeah, but then the plane gets weighed down. I just think Toots Airlines... See, people are saying they need a smoking section. I, I'm not sure. Why don't we have a smoking section in the back of the plane? Bad news is, I will tell you this, Toots Airlines is going to be expensive to fly on. Well, there's that's no, because I, only the best of the best get to use Toots there's, Airlines. There's no way around Toots Airlines being expensive. I'm sorry. Uh, so Virgin Airline, yes, they announced an update to its gender identity policy and removed requirements for its people to wear gender uniform options. 
the policy effective this week, uh, individuality of Atlanta, Virgin Atlantic's people by enabling the... It's almost like we just fantasized about Toots Airlines and then I started reading about the Virgin one. It's like waking up from a good dream. Sucks. You're just like, oh, fuck, that's right. No matter how hard you try to go back to sleep and in right. that dream, it doesn't come back. You're just like, oh, there is no Toots Airlines and we're in this shitty hell. That's why you need this show. This show is that dream. You come in, you're like, oh, man, Toots Airlines, that sounds fucking cool. And then you get out of the show and you're like, ah, fuck. It's not the same. What are we going to do? Thank you to Beanie Urza for becoming a Yeehaw Club member. I appreciate that. $215 away from our goal today. If you become a Yeehaw Club member, you get entered in a $100 drawing every month. You also uh, get an extra show every week on Sundays. You get a one-hour podcast. Uh, 215 away from our goal. If we hit that goal today, we break even for the week, which is great. Thank you guys very much. Uh, there's the PayPal link in the chat if you'd like to contribute to our show. It is the last day of the month, so if you haven't thrown in 5 10 bucks and you're a big fan and you can afford to do so, please do so. Uh, if you want to become a VIP, that would just about knock it all out for today. Uh, Little Lemmy says, this just in, Toots Airline canceled by feminist. No, it would have to be funded by a multi-billionaire so that no matter how much people bitched about it, you could just keep it going. I actually think we should have in our slogan that feminists don't get to fly here. Well, now we're going to, no, see, if this is going to be real, we got to thread the needle. That. We're going to, that's going to cause lawsuits. Fuck. We can't be getting sued. We got to make sure this thing's going to go. Uh, standalone K Corn says, uh, when was groping or sex in the bathroom ever frowned upon? Oh, the, uh, yeah, I mean, come on. We got to have fun. I Jesus. Have questions for people that say they have sex on airplanes. How do you fit in that bathroom together? Is it I, because, I now, try my fucking hardest to never use an airplane bathroom because they're so fucking is tiny. It, is it because we've been flying Sun Country? Like, did you go on the Delta one or no? Nope, I don't. I go at the airport immediately before the flight and then I don't go till after. All right. Uh, thank you very much to Thomas Buddha for becoming a member. 210 away from our goal today. So you guys are getting there. Thank, thank you. you very much. Let's continue. Uh, Jared says, later, folks. It's been fun. Got to run. Well, thank you for stopping by today. Jared, hit the Come like back. button and tell your friends about the show. We appreciate it. Uh, yeah, Nick says, so much work to reinvent Pan Am. I mean, that is kind of what we're doing. We're reinventing Pan Am. I want a Wolf of Wall Street type <clears throat> flight. Veldrain says, YouTube videos of Virgin in-air uh Air flights intensifies. Yo, Fruit Loop, where my drink at? That would be great. To <laughs> hey, Tootie Fruity, you got a beer in that cart? <laughs> Sir, my name is Jade. Then why are you talking all deep voice and shit? Jade. I like that. I like that, like, liberal progressive people, like, they try to cater to minorities, but then also trans people, and you're like, dude, you know that's going to come to a head at some point. No. You're going to have to pick one because... I don't know if you've talked to, uh, you know, people in the hood, but trans tends not to be their most liked group. I feel like the more loosely we define anything, like the worse everything's getting. Like there's no organization to anything. There's too many options. Yeah. Like, how am I supposed I, to know who to discriminate nothing. against? <laughs> it's just free. It's a free for all. I don't like it. Uh uh Marquis says, by the way, thanks to you two. I went down a deep, deep DSP rabbit hole last night. <laughs> Until 3 a.m. Hey, uh, we have a DSP playlist on our channel. That's I'm going to cool. make some more playlists today. Probably a Brendan Schaub one. Maybe a Kumia one. Uh, we got a who else? Stuttering John we could make a playlist. The old radio station stuff. We could make a playlist. Ralph. Uh, e uh, do we have enough Ethan Ralph stuff to make a playlist? I don't know. You were on him for a minute there. I would like to do more Ethan Ralph stuff. I really would. Uh, thank you very much to uh, Fats McGee throwing $10 at our PayPal. Says it's a deposit for Toots Airlines. Thank you Sweet. very much. We have investors. Well, guys, we have investors and we are officially 200 bucks away from our goal today. Let's knock that out. Thank you very much. Uh, my God says uh, the trans person named Jade is spelled J-A-Y-D-E. Well, of course. I so mean, you can't you, tell. Yeah. Did you think it was spelled a different way? Jeez. You guys ready to hear how one uh, California city cleared out the homeless? They did Only it. Only if it's by bulldozing. They uh they they took it out. Well, you're okay, look, you guys aren't gonna like the the how. Okay. All right. Sausalito, California. They were able to clear out a homeless camp, and this was about a month ago, and it has not been back since. 
Uh, we're going to watch this story. If they don't tell you how they got rid of the homeless people, I will tell you. And it's going to be one of those stories where you go, yeah, they got rid of them, finally. And then they're going to tell you how, and you're like, oh, God damn it, no fucking way. I am worried about this now. What's your guess? They relocated them to affordable housing. You know what? No. Let's see. What is In the North Bay, it was just six months ago that the city of Sausalito declared a state of emergency over a homeless camp, and now that camp is no more, and city leaders are now moving forward with new plans for that area. Quad Force Charles Clifford has the update. Now, wait a minute. Did those new plans include first pressure washing the shit out of everything? That's the first thing you do, right? Just I because there's a lot of like brownish, bleach? brackish, reddish brown water that you're gonna have to wash out of there. God, a lot of them. Back in 2000, a lot of mislabeled pill bottles. You're or not have to get labeled out of there. at all. Yeah. <laughs> in 20, a small homeless camp formed on a piece of private property about a mile to the south of where I'm standing right now in Sausalito. It got pretty big. Eventually, the city allowed those folks to move here to the Marin Ship Park. They used the field and also the adjacent tennis courts. But neighbors. See, that's where, that is oh. where these cities fuck up. They go, oh, well, we'll tolerate this. We'll just get it off your private property. No. Arrests for trespassing, book them in jail, get them the hell out of town. Yes, because how else, like, if that was just me getting onto that person's personal property, like private property, is that not trespassing? Name me one time that we have moved homeless people onto public land and it's worked out great. Oh, I'm sure this is going to work out well in California, letting them be on the tennis courts. Listen okay. to what they had to do to clear this camp out. God. Tell me uh, that in recent months, this camp had become a real problem, and now the city no. has closed it. Everyone is gone. They put a fence around Marin Ship Park, and they are working on a plan to clean it up. Earlier this month, the city of Sausalito reached a Look settlement with a group representing the people. That man is just, he had grass. He was hauling grass around, and I, I don't think he was laying sod. People who were living here at Marin Ship Park. In exchange for leaving, residents of the camp were given up to $18,000 each to be used to find new housing. That's how they got rid of them. <laughs> they cut them a check for 18 grand and sent them all on their way. I identify as homeless today. $18,000 <laughs> per homeless person. Now that tells you two things. One, this whole putting them on public land thing really got away from them. And two, that's how much they were willing to spend to get these people the fuck out of there. Yes, bravo. 18 grand a pop. Let's give the homeless drug addict $18,000 so they can afford being a homeless drug addict. Yeah, I'm sorry. Did I say 18 million? I meant 18,000. Sorry. Uh, what eight, did I say? You said 18,000. Yeah. I just really. You said 1,000. Oh, okay. Well, I'm as brilliant as I thought I was. Uh, so 18,000 to go find more housing. And, and let me tell you something they are totally going to take that $18,000 and drop it on one year's worth of rent. I think so. For sure. That's I what mean, I'm screaming. Technically, all these homeless people should have a home for the next year at least, you, just from the 18000 You will not buy drugs with it. No. Um, no Booze. down payments on anything you know, worth it. <laughs> it's just they no show clothes, up. no they showers. Fucking all show up with Teslas. <laughs> they put big down payments on Teslas. And they're going to drive them until the, the, they get repossessed. I can live in it, too. The camp was cleared out on August 15th, and fencing and signs have been up ever since to keep people out. You know, I feel bad. Um, you know, I don't know what to do to help. For neighbors... Yeah, okay, people like this are the problem. People like this are the problem. It, it, guess what, lady? I, oh, I feel real bad. I don't know what to do to help. Guess what? Not your pig, not your farm. You don't need to worry about it. You don't need to feel so goddamn guilty. All right. And this is the person who they would be the first person to start bitching if they all started camping out in their neighborhood. I know. Um, I feel a little bad. I want to help. Well, we could bring them over to your house. Oh, we're, we're uh, do you have an exterminator over. We're full. Yeah, we, we can't. This reminds me of when we were taking refugees from the Middle East. And then people were like, oh, come on, guys. We can let more people in the country. It's totally fine. And we we're like, yeah, they're fucking refugees from a third world country. Do you know how long it's going to take them? To like get up to speed here and not be a drain on our resources. Oh, come on, let him in. All right, can we bring him to your house? Oh, well, I I have uh, well, I have roommates, and see, I'd have to ask them, and I'm not really I'm sure. Already doing so much. It was funny. <laughs> we when we were back back in the radio days, there was this story about 
this guy went and interviewed people about bringing Syrian refugees to their house. And the guy was saying, yeah, I believe Muslims have been persecuted and we should be helping them and blah, blah, blah. And they're like, well, can we bring them to your house? And he goes, well, no, because I have female roommates and they might do something bad to them. And we're like, whoa, I first remember. of all, Mr. More Racist Than I Am. Uh, right. I wasn't saying I don't want refugees here because they'll all become rapists, you fucking progressive good guy. I'm <laughs> saying I don't want them here because of the numbers. It's a mathematical equation. It's not they're going to rape my roommates, you fucking pig. Let's even say that might be true. Let's just start with the number thing. Yeah. We just well, Don't you jump know. right to, I bet you all these refugees, like, I'm a progressive democratic liberal and I want the refugees here. Unless it's in my house because they'll all rape women. And you're like, it's not even my contention. And how long before it's me because I become one? <laughs> because I'm thinking of becoming one. There's like Hasia Epstein, the restoration of Marin Ship Park is a mixed blessing. She says that what started as a good idea had become a problem, but she worries about- Time out. It was, lady, it was never a good idea. These white women with their guilty consciences, you gotta fucking cut it out. You're killing us. It's not good. You are killing us with your guilty conscience. Hold on a second. I thought, I thought about it yesterday. Okay. I don't know. All right. Maybe. Uh, what will happen to the people who were staying here? You know, at the beginning, things were neat and clean because they just arrived. But, you know, I walk by here every day and slowly you can just see a lot of um, clutter and dirt and smells and it would just get. Right. Almost like a bunch of bums were living there. Weird. This, by the way, I fully believe this and I could be crazy, uh, but I fully believe that this is kind of a product of softening just the language. Oh, yeah, we've like, talked about that before. And if, if you said, hey, would you like an encampment of uh, some people experiencing homelessness? You'd be like, oh, well, that helps people experiencing mm -hmm. homelessness. But if I were to tell you, hey, do you want like a gaggle of bums to be across the street from you? And they'd be like, no, fuck no. I don't want a bunch of bums living across from me. Do you want a bunch of homeless drug addicts living across the street from you? No. I, <laughs> I find romance in the word bums. I like the word bums. You, That's you my favorite like homeless bums. word, bums. Or like... We've totally stopped calling pedophiles, child molesters, and all that. It's, yeah. It, what is it? Minor attracted persons? Minor attracted persons. persons. Luckily, that one hasn't caught that on. Hasn't You've got some psychos yet. who have, who are trying to push There's that one. people out there. But, like, I love how this woman goes, like, she goes, oh, that, you know, it started out as a good idea, but then there were smells and things. Oh, you mean the shit homeless people bring with them? Ma'am, it's not like it started out well and then got bad. It started out a dog shit thing, and it just took time for the smell to waft across the street. That's all. To the point where... You know... <laughs> excuse me. Whoa. You know when it, I'm choking on my <laughs> hatred for the homeless? Yeah. You know when it went downhill, ma'am? As soon as you were downwind from it. That's just it, though. Can you imagine? You had a favorable wind. That's why you thought it went okay for the first couple of days. You're smelling drugs, shit, Yo. body odor. Uh, you name it. You named the big three, I think. Okay. Yeah where it was so overwhelming. It's really, it's a sad situation. Do you know how bad bum piss must smell? Even those trees died. <laughs> Even the tree, <laughs> those trees, you guys don't know this. They had beautiful leaves and they had bloomed. Yeah, you see what's left of them. Right, right there. look at what happened when all the piss and shit stink from these bums. Leaked into the water table and fucking killed it, it off. It just killed all the leaves. They just gasped for oxygen and died because they were coated in meth head Am shit smell. Amphetamine piss. Yeah, bum piss must smell fucking Dude. terrible. Ugh. I just don't know what the solution is. At this point, it's unclear when the park and the adjacent tennis courts will be reopened. The city is still working on... <gasps> oh my God. I can't. There's piles. There's things. Danger, contaminated soil. There's only two times you have to write that warning. When you have bums Rain. in your park or you've buried uranium. <laughs> yeah, I was going to go through uranium. <laughs> Those are the only two times you have to tell people the soil's contaminated. Uranium burying and bums. This isn't good. People don't even say that when we like bury like like funerals, you know? Right. That's fine. On a cleanup plan. Now, as for where the people who were staying here at the park went, they weren't moved to another location. There were about 30 people who qualified for the $18,000 relocation God payment. And it was up to each individual to decide where they would go next. Great. To a town near you. So <clears throat> 30 people qualifying 540, for 18. That's $540,000. 540, yeah. 
Five hundred forty thousand dollars. And they're dollars. all contributing to drug purchases. Yep. Uh, Marquise with five bucks. He says it's for Toots Air, uh, Toots Airline stocks. Thank you very much. And we are inside of two hundred bucks. Thank you. Away from our goal today. Thank you guys very much. One ninety five away. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, see what the uh, listeners thought about this one. Uh, I don't have a home in Sausalito either. Where's my check, bitches? Yeah, you're homeless in Sausalito. Okay. If you're a smart homeless guy now, you kind of hop around to these different ones oh, as yeah. soon as somebody's qualifying for money there, and you just say you've never got it before because how will oh. they ever trace it to you? Tom, Tom, people are coming up with their own graffiti now from the homeless people. Thanks for the fuck, fuck shack. Signed, Dirty Mike and the Boys. What's that from, Aaron? I don't know. What is it? Oh, I thought he came up with that. No. If it's from fucking Step Brothers, I'm not upset that I it don't know that. It is a Will Ferrell movie. Oh, then I'm not ashamed that I don't know it. It's also a Mark Wahlberg movie. Oh, is it the other guys? Yeah, fuck. Yeah, I, I don't mind that Prius. movie. Thanks for the F, Shaq. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't mind that movie, but it's like, it's another Will Ferrell movie where I'm like, all right. I don't mind it. it. So, I don't. I actually don't like the other um, actors and actresses in it. Like the main bad guy, and then I think Anne Hache is actually in it, and I don't like her at all. You can't say you don't like Anne Hache. She died all coked oh, up and I, shit. Am I speaking ill of the dead? Yeah, you're speaking ill of the dead. Uh, Need Trump says, you got that right, Aaron, 100%. It's like a bird feeder. When it's full, they will come. When my bird feeder's empty, there ain't a bird around. Uh, you know what? I don't really appreciate you comparing birds to homeless people. <laughs> birds have never stunk up my neighborhood. So let's be a little nicer Sorry. to the birds on that one, please. He does have a thing against sand cranes. I do. When we're on the golf course and I see a sand crane, I every time I just envision hitting it in that stupid neck with a golf club. Listen to how bougie you sound. <laughs> That's true. That is kind of. He wants to kill the poor sand cranes. It's I a... love sand cranes. Hey, hey, hey. It's a public golf course. I think they're beautiful and they remind me of like a Ugh. pterodactyl. I think they're gay necked demons and they ought to be assassinated. But they have cool red eyes. Sand cranes. Yeah, red eyes. Yuck. How about just a big old uh, six iron and you just go <laughs> whack and you ring like the neck six irons are small. and the six irons. No, the thing about the six iron is the neck will kind of wrap around the 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 wedge because portion. Because it's malleable. Yeah. yeah. And then it'll wrap around your six iron and you can throw the sand crane with your six iron almost like a fishing rod. And you can go, that's right, you broke neck dick. Wallow and die. <laughs> just, they don't get the fuck out of your way. I, Shut the fuck up. There's never been a sand crane in your way ever. I'm looking for my ball. They're walking around. They were Get the peacefully fuck out walking of here. around grazing. Peacefully. In they the looked they were area. they were menacing. You know that <laughs> That's what it is. He's You insecure. know that sand cranes are 13% of the golf course population but 55% of the problems. That is true. They steal. That is golf digest statistics. That they can't they be They steal argued. the little socks you put on your uh, things to stay warm in the winter. Yeah, they steal your club cozies. God damn it. Club cozies. Fuck you. I call it whatever I want. Your club socks. Uh, Stevie J says the trees committed suicide. <laughs> yeah, they did. <laughs> They're like, we are not for this world. They did. They killed themselves. Uh, yeah, standalone Cakehorn points out John Wayne Gacy didn't even have that sign in his house. Contaminated soil. And he certainly should have. Yeah, uh, how aren't homeless bad for the environment? Where are the activists on that? They're not They're driving. shitting in the streets and leaving their fentanyl out and all yeah. that. <laughs> you always take your fentanyl. Uh, Nick Stevens says, experiencing homelessness, it's this, what is this, the dark ages of 2019? They're urban campers, you bigot. You got me. You got me. I'm sorry. Stevie J says, the bad optics are intentional. This is a game they play and they have organizers. They do. No, you're absolutely right about that. Like, they're, this is a intended thing. Uh, some idiot says if we fuck up a ton, if we fuck up a ton enough, we can get money. Where to now? Exactly. Like now you've set this precedent where these people are like, hey, maybe if we just keep fucking shit up, yeah, city to city, they'll get desperate and they'll pay us to leave. That's kind of that? that's kind of what I'm thinking. James J. Weed says Oak Hill Golf Course looked freshly manicured yesterday. I hated that the last time we went to Sartell, they didn't even discount us for the fact that they were aerating the fucking course and the greens were full of gravel. That, does that like, was really shitty. Yeah, they, I do no sound discount. like Judge Schmales now, don't I? And our golf cart died. Yeah, and our golf cart died. And they didn't even refund us the golf cart. They just brought us out a new one while we just sat there looking like idiots. Have we been to Oak Hill yet? No. 
We have not. Hmm. 612 Motorsport says live on a golf course in Florida or live on a golf course in Florida. I thought he was reporting. Uh, and I see them all the time, and they don't move for anybody. They'll walk across the road and stand there and look at you. Okay, but then they're fun targets. I love those Sandhill things. cranes should be wiped. We should wipe them out. There was one in our backyard this summer. I liked him. What do they eat? Like, what do they control? Like, if we lose them, what do we things. get more of? What? I don't know. Here. Yeah. Like, if, if, they, if they don't... What do con- sand cranes eat? If they don't control anything, then we should just wipe them all out. Sandhill cranes. Um, they are omnivorous, feeding on seeds, grains, berries, insects, earthworms, mice, small birds, snakes, lizards, frogs, and crayfish. Do you really want more of those things? All right. They can stick around until I find an alternative answer to those items. <laughs> Deal. Put all the snakes in Aaron's toilet. I'm still hitting one with a six iron someday. Uh, <laughs> they, they look like one of those breeds of animal, though, that if you hit them, there's some kind of protection and you'll go to jail. That's kind of what I was just thinking. Like, if, yeah. you got, if somebody filmed you doing that... Not me, of course. Right. You might get in a lot of trouble. I want to ride by on a horse with a fucking sword, and I want to whop off a sand crane's head like, <laughs> like a cavalry the, charge. The Dothraki. Yeah. Get one of the like a curved sickle. Yeah. Sickles. I want to. I want a Dothraki sickle, and I want to take off a sand crane's neck. That would be fun. Cut it twice. Peta's on <laughs> this video now. Peta's like, like reporting. I'm it. just. Hey, you can't report me for this. I'm just telling you my dreams. I love Sandhill Cranes, Peta. I thought we were in a safe place with friends and I could tell you what my dreams were. Thank you very much. <laughs> I thought we were in a safe space, says the guy on the internet. Yeah, that's true. 199 from Gray Duckling. He says uh, Oak Hill is worth going to, one of my favorite. And uh, Fire Ginger with two bucks says Sandhill uh, Sand Crane tastes good. I don't think you can eat those, can you? Uh, says you. Uh, that guy says they actually take t- taste decent if cooked the right way. That's why they're called ribeye in the sky. So people do eat these. Apparently they do. What the hell? Aaron does not like big birds, cranes, and gooses. I don't like geese. Geese too. I mean, if you fu- if you tell me that you killed a bunch of geese, your secret's safe with me. Like if they're protected and shit, I will take that secret to the grave and you can make me a nice. Another way Canada sucks. Yeah, you can make me a nice goose stew I... or something like that. Sure. How about just a nice roast goose? A roast goose. I like goose. I oh. am all for killing the geese. I like. They're my... mean. Have you ever been chased by a They're goose? They're cunts. Geese are cunts. They hiss at you. They're, They're assholes. They think the world belongs to them. And it's like, you understand that I could walk through whatever you're going to throw at me right now and break your neck with my bare hands. Yeah, but the hissing is so intimidating that it gets scary. Fuck you. Bite me, bitch. I can take whatever that I'll can wear. We, a, hey. I'll wear a hoodie and some long pants and some gloves. Bite away, you little fucker, because I'm just going to grab you like this and go. Hear me out, okay? You Okay, so it's kind of past the season now because they're not like congregating in areas locally. Sure. So next spring, summer, when that happens, could we test this out? I'll be the film crew. We send you into the geese and we see how you And you just you walk fare. through them and you're like, dude, I'll fuck you up if you don't leave I really right want to try this. We can do it at Lake Ripley. No the only thing is I think they're protected. I ain't going to jail for this. You don't this have to theory. hurt it. Just walk through it. Oh, no. I need to hurt it. Well, then it's self-defense. You can't put me in this position and expect me not to take a scalp. Walk through with like a Negan's baseball bat <laughs> just start, Just start swinging it. Just bam, bam, bam. Oh, hissing are you? Ooh, I'm scared of the hissing. Aren't you always scared of the hissing? Uh, little Lemmy says, I'm pretty sure they have like serrated beaks. They're little assholes. Do your worst. They're really cool, though. I like loons, too, when people say they're assholes. Loons yeah. have never bothered me. We picked a really gay state bird. I love loons. Oh, I think they're beautiful. They look like they taste good. They used to be my favorite lake in the whole world. They'd ride around with two babies on their back every year. It was so cool. Ryan says, I ran over a go- goose one night drunk <laughs> as a skunk. Oh, well, it's good that you were driving drunk then. <laughs> uh, Grinch Girl says, geese are best dealt with with a baseball bat. Yes, yeah, see? She's got it. The Real Satan Clause says, if you got a problem with the Canada Goose, you got a problem with me, and I suggest you let that marinate. I've never been more against an episode of Letter Kenny in my life Same. than the one where they were against oiling the goose eggs. They were just wrong. Ugh, I love a goose abortion. Uh, <laughs> Why that... wouldn't you just cook with the eggs? Steal the eggs. Yum. Could do that, too. Uh, yeah, Lemmy points out ducks rape. Yeah, don't they have corkscrew dicks? Ducks rape and chickens do, too. I had... I had a flock of 32 hens and one rooster like for a few years growing up. That fucking rooster will fucking rip all your feathers out of your neck and fucking put you down and rape you. Jesus Christ. He was mean. Like my dad. 
No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm teasing. That's a fucking joke. Relax. That is a visual I didn't need. Uh, thank you, Revan. Revan says, hello, shit dicks. And thank you, Veldrain, for the $5 super chat. He says, geese hiss at you and chase you. I didn't think they were part of the LGBTQIA plus community. That's not the community I thought uh, he'd say. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, $190 away from our goal today. $190 away. There's the PayPal link thank in the you. chat if you want to chip in that way. Otherwise, super chats and memberships as well. Uh, the reasons birds are assholes is that they are leftover dinosaurs and they're jealous as fuck. Well, they there are. You go. That's very true. Uh, Brittany Martini says, my grandmother was attacked by a goose when she was a kid. She never got over it. You know, you, she um, shouldn't. She should always remember. She should burn that memory in her brain and use it for retribution. It was fucking weird. My brother has had two ex-girlfriends in a row where they were both terrified of birds. You have to wonder what happened to them to make them afraid of birds. Their dad left. You know what I mean? He flew the coop. It's a bird. <laughs> Their dad flew the coop, so now they hate all aviary animals. Or they're just uh, drones. You know, I got to say, uh, it's been a wild ride for the Miami Dolphins. They were undefeated going into last night's game. They lost their quarterback for who knows how long, uh, maybe a week or two, who knows. Uh, they've had to deal with, you know, storms now. But, you know, there is a, a light at the end of the tunnel. What's that? There's a Dolphins fan who's running a strip club in the parking lot, apparently. Fun. Yes. Why not? I don't think this is legal, but he's going to go until the wheels fall off. Uh, if you're ever in the mood for day drinking, overcooked meat, or smashing yourself into tables, then tailgating could be for you. And no one does it like NFL fans. But Miami Dolphins fans took it to a whole new level before their win against the Bills. A video has emerged of strippers dancing in a makeshift strip club outside Hard Rock Stadium. With music blaring in the background, fans can be seen throwing money and enjoying the company of these dancers as they live life to the fullest in a stadium parking lot on Sunday. Uh, we have some photos here for you. Well, My, there's, wow. That looks good. That looks beautiful. My official take on the strip club thing. Well, there you go. So look, you've just got strippers. They've literally just sent up, set up like tent tarps. And then like, is that a little shitty mattress? That appears to be a mattress. No, that's a plywood stage. Oh. So they set up a little plywood stage. The girls have a, I don't even know if they have a pole or whatever, but they just, they dance in the pavement. They dance in that plywood little stage there and you throw some money at them and you get some dances. My official take, and it's not budging, is if they're not hurting anybody, who cares? Right. Let these people have their fun. I Yeah, I mean, I get, as long, you know what, also, as, also as long as it's enclosed. They've got tents put up. Look, they got tarps. Right. As long as you've got that enclosed and people have to physically come into it, yeah, I'm I, cool with it. Because otherwise you're testing like child porn shit and stuff like that. If you... Like exposure. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not child porn. It's like... Exposing a exposing minor. Exposing. Yeah. Exposing minor. yourself in front of a minor. Uh, standalone K-Corn says, more like hard cock stadium. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. They're saying Ray Finkel just got out of prison and he's trying to make a living. I will say this though, like a like a blacktop parking lot can't be good for your twat. It's got to be hot, like and doing sweaty. like stripper splits and stuff on that plywood stage, oh. and then doing it on the the pavement oh, no. of a stadium. I don't know. That sounds bad. I'm just saying I don't know if you're getting the best strippers for that gig because. Okay, Aaron, are you taking no strippers or the strippers you got? Look, I guess beggars, beggars can't, can't be, be choosers. Choose. Yeah. Fuck us. Yeah. I hate that. It's a terrible show. So gay. Uh, SC Motorsports Sport says, come into it. Bad choice of words, Aaron. Uh, actually, I would argue it was the perfect choice of words. You did say you have to physically come into it. <laughs> yes, you'd have to physically come in it. That's to true. To see the strippers. Can you come in a stripper? I don't think so. Well, I mean, you, oh, dude, who's more likely to get an abortion? Just make sure it's in a pro-choice state. Is Florida's definitely pro-choice, Dude, right? you come in a stripper, you're not raising that kid for sure. It's literally fucking with Even her money. Even if she kept it, I don't think you're raising it. That's true. She you know, doesn't know whose it is. She ain't gonna find me. She ain't gonna know your name. Yeah. Uh, Sandhill cranes are called ribeye of the sky behind in the chat. That's all right, Steve. Uh, geez, he's tall, says uh, poll supplied by the audience. Oh, you can just fuck the guy. Cool. Uh, Stevie J points out, Aaron, you go to war with the strippers you've got. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah. Like, are you trying to be boring and just not have strippers? 
Loaded Wrench says, now I want a roast beef sandwich. Yeah, I know. People get hungry for the weirdest things. I don't know. Well, the heat radiating off the blacktop, you see, it'll cook it for you. Uh, Pro Wrestling Fiend says, actually, beggars choose $18,000. That's actually true. That's a good point. I mean, beggars can be choosers if you live in Sausalito, California. Uh, thank you very much to uh, Jared for the five bucks. He says, give Aaron a black suit, red tie, black gloves, a barcode tattoo, and some wire. And he's ready to kill some birds. Add a boy, Jared. Absolutely. And thank you for the five bucks. Guys, we are only 185 away from our goal today. Let's just keep knocking that down. We got about an hour, a little over an hour left until we pass around the offering plate. Maybe we won't need that segment today. Nope. 185 away from our goal. Uh, Mr. Nobody says fried twat waffles and chicken, the best oh. new tailgating meat. Uh, oh. That's uh Oh. There's you know your what? strip club. A new meeting to pulled pork at tailgates, too. <laughs> there you go. Pulled pork doesn't work. Or it doesn't <laughs> work too bad. Uh, Miami Dolphins fans made the makeshift strip club. Uh, reactions on social media were varied, to say the least, with one person commenting, reason 12408766685, I don't go to Florida. Oh, come Why? on. Why? Because you're boring and no fun. Why? Because you might see some vagina Oh, I'm the great. <laughs> all right. K Fall in the Great, what's going on? All right, I'm behind in the chat. I'm out hunting. But anyway, Sandhill Cranes, if you have a goose license, apparently you can just blast those motherfuckers. <gasps> really? We're That's getting cool. a goose license yeah. and a gun this year. I'm shooting some Sandhill Cranes. Please. Can I hunt on the golf course? Uh, that's up to them. I'm not, okay. I'm out of that at this point. All right. All right, thank you, buddy. Well, there you go. So we can fuck up some sand cranes. We're going to have to talk to Boulder Ridge. No, yeah, we're going to have to talk to Boulder Ridge. Hey, can I murder all of your sand hill cranes? I bet you they'd want you to. Can I camp out at a uh, hole five? Yeah. That par, that big par five you got, that's where they all are. For sure. Well, or behind hole one. Which holes are there? It's I think it's five and seven. Don't we both fuck both of those up royally every mm. time? That's where my game gets I hate ruined. Those. I'm like, man, I'm going to golf in the mid 40s today, man, for this back, this front nine. This is going to be great. And then I hit hole five and seven. And I'm like, I quit golf. It really is going from that. It's like going from being on pace to shoot a 90 in 18 holes to going like, I fucking hate golf. I quit. That's, that's, that's what gonna, hole five and seven do for me. That's where we got to at, uh, what was that, Blackberry? The last time, too, when the fucking greens were all terrible and we were both, like, fucking up and we're like, oh, yay, the last time we go golfing this year and just by the end of it, it's like, why do we do this? Right. I it's fucking just, hate it. Why this do I keep going? A waste this. of time and money. Granny says, for $1,500, Hulk Hogan will choke, slam, or will choke a sand crane to death in front of you nude. What, using his fucking dick? <laughs> Choking on that dick. Yeah, they use that big Hulk dick. What Chokes if, it to death. If they have serrated teeth, though, that sounds bad. Hulk will take care of himself. Hulk knows how to handle Suddenly himself. Suddenly you have Don't shredded you cheese dick. Uh, so how did people on social media react to this strip club? I got to know who's the no fun person. Another said, disgusting. Does anyone know when the next Miami home game is? Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Meanwhile, one fan took the opportunity to poke fun at a division rival, saying literally everyone has fun in the AFC East except for the Jets. Uh, fans For the fans caught in the video Sunday was clearly a great day, especially as the Dolphins went on to beat the Bills. In week four. Oh, don't don't tell oh, Bills fans that. These pictures are phenomenal. Oh, God. <laughs> look at the look on her face. Is I that just lighting could... or is that a terrible fake tan? That's lighting. I don't want to have to tell you that that's not a white person. Are oh, that's not a white person? Me? What is wrong with you? So that's a black person in a wig? Did you just hear that, YouTube? Aaron's like, is that bad lighting or just a really bad tan? I thought it was a white lady. It has a blonde. So that's just a black person with a blonde wig? Dude, I think that might be a white That's chick. not a white chick. All right, fine. Look at the me. expression on her face. She's that one's a chunker. Time. I can tell that one's a chunker already. What part of her body was that? <laughs> oh, that is a black yeah, lady. Babe. Okay, you're right. It's a white lady with a bad tan. That is a black lady. All right, my bad. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. That's, uh, well, see, you know what it is? I don't see color. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I just don't see color. That's fun. That's the issue there. Uh... Oh, they're saying the best part about cranes is the grease. It's grease. It's cranes. <laughs> a big stupid neck. It has the juice. Uh, camp, our campus hires a dog handler to get rid of the geese. Good. Fuck them. So wait, they just 
send a dog after the geese? That's they, awesome. Yeah, they treat uh, geese like they're. That's the kind of dog we should have got. They treat um, they treat the geese like D'Artagnan and Django. The problem with <laughs> our dog is like a goose would deep throat him. Like a goose is yeah. absolutely going after Gordy. Uh, lucky dog. The great Harry Barnett says, I golfed twice. Once my club hit a dude in the balls and the other had the headland in the parking lot. I'm a professional. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's good you don't go. The fuck? Uh, Hulk theme with intermittent bird squeaks. I approve. Yeah, see, there you go. <laughs> yeah, look, John, John himself R says, Aaron is so woke. Exactly. I'm woke. I didn't even see color on that you one. You are colorblind indeed. I am. I thought that was a white lady because I thought she was, uh, you know, just. What did lead you to think that was a white lady? The Honestly, not realizing that the blonde hair was a wig. I don't, you must not go on like Instagram ever. Every. I don't. You know. Everyone ever bleaches their hair or has a blonde weave on. That's the thing right now. My bad. So. Uh, Gray Duckling says, uh, look, it's the Savage Thoughts show. I t- Ryobi <laughs> says, uh, Aaron, there are two white people in Miami. Well, see, I don't know these things. Well, that could have been the two, okay? And zero at the stadium, he says. Oh, see, I didn't... Can you cancel those Dolphins tickets we bought to go see the stadium? Hey. What's wrong with you? Sounds like a rough patch. Uh, Veldrain says black on the black top sounds good to me. Black on the black top sounds like it would be a good song. Black on black <laughs> tears. On a- black on black, black top. top tears from oh, a stripper. No. Yeah, there you go. Throw her a one. You'll seem real nice. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Revan says every one of those girls has a C-section scar and at least one cigarette burn. Yeah, that's why high def is a real bummer. I have one of those. Uh, which one? Cigarette burn or a C-section scar? I'll keep you guessing. All right. Uh, Coltrane says black people with blonde hair, but black face is wrong. Hello. Exactly. I'm offended for my race. What? We can't have different color hair now. <laughs> uh, Granny says go to a Miami baseball game instead. They have a gay mountain. Why are you saying that like it's a selling point they for They have me? a gay mountain? Yeah. What the fuck is a gay mountain? I don't know, but if you ask me, all mountains are gay. So it's fine. All right, guys, one hour left in today's show, 185 away from our goal. We got to knock that out to break even for the week. And when we do hit it, we will add another half hour of overtime to today's show. So if you're feeling generous, if you feel like chipping into the program, please do. There's the link in the chat for the PayPal and everything else. Uh, Super chats, memberships, it all counts. Uh, If you feel like chipping in, let's knock it out. 185 away. We can do this, you guys, and uh, make sure that Steel Toe is paying the people and paying the bills. Hell yeah. All right, let's continue on. Apple has lost their top executive after he made a vulgar remark on a TikTok video. Haven't people learned yet? I really love when people fuck up on social media because it's going to be one of two things. It's going to be, oh, come on, you let him go for that, or it's going to be, bro, how did you not know that that would fuck you over? I'm sometimes at this point thinking that people are intending on getting fired because you have to know you're in trouble at this point when you make a remark like this, right? Well, unless you, I I guess the only thing I could say is unless you don't know that you're being taped. But then other than that, like. Like a Sven (laughs) Stoffels. Like you get a Sven situation going. Exactly. Uh, Let's find out what this, uh, this Apple CEO did or this Apple executive did. To lose his gig. Let's see if it was worth it or if this is more of that 21st century sensitivity bullshit. Let's see what uh, Cancer Ethan Klein on the right here had to say. (laughs) Look at these two. (laughs) This is like if they CGI'd Ethan Klein after his death so that he wouldn't look like shit. That's funny as hell. Like if Ethan Klein died in a house fire and they got a CGI Ethan Klein, it would look like this. I think that's what he hopes to look like someday. Right. If he's like, if I can just get down under 300 pounds... I can look like the virgin on Bloomberg. All right, here we go. Let's find out what the Apple executive did. Uh, And in the course of your reporting on Thursday. Today we reported that Tony Blevins, Apple's longtime vice president of procurement, been at the company for about 22 years or so. Uh, He is leaving the company after he appeared in a very viral video uh, that aired earlier this month on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, And in the video, Uh he made some crude comments. This is a TikTok and Instagram account uh, by a creator named Daniel Mack. He goes up to people at car shows, in Beverly Hills, elsewhere in the world, 
goes up to people and asks them if they're driving a fairly expensive car, what they do for a living, and Blevins' response was clearly not in line with what Apple felt was acceptable. Oh, fuck them. Are they not going to show it? Fuck you guys and your morals. Are you kidding? Look at this. You piece of shit. They're not even going to show the guy. Well, at least I know where to go to get it. Guys, we are watching this goddamn video if it's the last thing we do. Yes, what did he say about what his What was it? Uh, Blevins, what, Blevins was his name? Sure. Blevins yeah, Apple dictates the first thing. Forced to quit. So this guy came up to him. It's not like he was tricking him. He came up to him with his phone, and he was obviously filming the guy, and he was asking some... Uh, some questions about what he what he does. What kind of car do you drive? Where do you work? <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's let's uh, let's see what got this Apple guy fired. Ooh. Ooh. Holy Good sir. Fuck. Your car's awesome. What do you do oh, for a you. living? <laughs> I rent cars, play golf, and fondle big-breasted women. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. This is fucking great. He, what do you do for a living? I'm rich. I play golf, and I fondle big-breasted women. It's the most honest executive answer I've ever heard. And you know what's even more funny is like you could have just not like Apple could have shut the fuck up because no one knows he works for Apple. I don't. Oh I yeah, you can find out. I that wouldn't that guy, know that. April, it's the internet. They would have found out that he works for Apple. You can look it up. That's the first thing they do is they get offended by what he said and then they go, "Who is that fucking?" You guy? see, now I'm projecting because I wouldn't do that. Right. That's exactly what would have happened. Uh, is he also wearing the British flag for a tie? God bless him. <laughs> I rent cars, oh, play golf, and fondle big-breasted women. <laughs> but I take weekends and major holidays off. Okay. <laughs> I, I like him. I hope he lands on his feet. He's very fun. Or face deep in some puss. <laughs> that is quite the career. I'm looking to get into that. <laughs> well, also, it's a whole shirt. Interested. I got best. a hell of a dental plan. Okay. <laughs> if you're interested, I've also got a hell of a dental plan. Yeah, he's wearing a British flag shirt. I want to hear that again. Okay. <laughs> That is quite the career. I'm looking to get into that. Well, also, if you're interested, I got a hell of a dental plan. Okay. <laughs> you do it all. You do it all. Yeah. And you participate in this activity. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, guys. She's definitely laughing like someone who's involved in that activity. Yeah. I mean, that was obnoxious. Come on. That was not that bad. I think that's funny as hell. Like he's, He doesn't want someone coming up to him bothering him, so he's going to have fun with Christ, it. Christ, he's joking around. My God. Relax, everybody. Right. He's having this conversation with Apple before he's forced to quit, and he's like, "Are you, you're kidding, right? Imagine having so little to do that you go and find out who that guy is, and you contact, and you share it all over the place. You're like, tell Apple that the... Come on. What do you make of that? Please don't laugh at my shirt. I said don't laugh. That was Tony Blevins. He is the former vice president of procurement at Apple. You fucking rat. Look at this little tattletale rat fuck too. I don't like him. He's had to leave the company because of that video. Because of that comment he makes when he talks about what he likes to fondle, that has apparently cost him his job. He didn't say what he likes to fondle. He said he did it for a living. It was his work. The man was working. He didn't even say he enjoyed it. The man's taking one for the team. He's doing the Lord's work. He's just trying to fill a hole in the industry or three. Now, I think what he said is vulgar. I think it's wrong. And I think it's disrespectful. God, we need to start pumping testosterone into the water supply or it something. It is true. Every, excuse me, oh. not every guy, but it's just low T. You're right. Uh, Patrice O'Neill once said, no man should ever use the word inappropriate unironically. He said the only time a man should ever use the word inappropriate is if they're sitting down peeing. You can say, oh, this is inappropriate. That's fine. But otherwise, you should, a man should never say, oh, that was disgusting and inappropriate. He's wearing a Just, fucking British flag shirt. He's allowed to be wacky. It's very funny. He's clearly a wacky dude. Yeah. I mean, in, in, unless that fucking suit color didn't give it away. Maybe the British flag vest weird. did. What do you call that? <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> to women. But at the same time, I do think he that was pistachio. obviously being a bit egotistical in this in video, was pumped up at the prospect of a young TikToker thinking that his car was cool and all this kind of stuff. He felt he was a bit of a big guy on campus and decided to make a silly comment, mm -hmm. which the TikToker found funny. And I do think, okay, did you just... You know why? The t yeah, that's the funniest part about this. Everybody involved in this, including the chick with giant tits, is laughing their ass off. Yes, this is a great day. I this, mean, the TikToker's going to get a whole bunch of views. He got some chuckles. If the internet wasn't full of low-T incels, what the, the caption on this video would be, three people have a great time together. Yes. And why That's is it. nobody else saying that? Yeah. It's just three people. Because 
we all don't want our skeletons exposed. So we all clam up and go, oh, yeah, that's what? terrible. That's inappropriate. That you fondle breastuses and, <laughs> you know, try or to Or that you scars. say breastuses. I would Who want to keep that cares? one covered. Deserve to lose his job over this or maybe just take some unpaid leave? I don't know. What do you or think? how about just go back to work on someone? Monday? If you ran a company, would you fire someone if they made a comment like that? No, they'd get promoted. How about if you're that guy, if you're Blevins, you say, shut the fuck up, I'll see you Monday. They'd be doing a set at the next Christmas party. I don't know. To be honest with you, I don't condone it. I think it's bad. God. But I'd really rather these big executives at Apple, instead of making vulgar comments, would sit down and work out how they can make their products cheaper. I don't, oh. I don't remember asking if he condoned it or not. Dude, guys are dying. I'm not saying like men, like you got to go out and hunt your food and shit. I'm just saying guys, like just dudes, just people who just like, like talked a bunch. A yeah. Species. Talking a bunch of shit, not taking stuff so seriously and stuff like that. You, you don't say like, oh, well, I think what he said was inappropriate. And I think it was that stop. Stop with inappropriate. I don't, I don't like that everyone's got to either, oh, I condone this or I don't condone this. Right, like, exactly. Nobody is asking you. It's not important if you do or don't. Please stop. Uh, the man is plastic surgeon's quality control guy. Yeah, I mean, they just need to know if they did a good job on those tits. And he's the guy who needs to make sure that they're not going to pop or they're going to be resilient or whatever. He's helping. Fuck Apple for bending over for these crybaby pussies, says Skeezy. Does yeah. it surprise you, though? Well, no, but it's like, it, it's one of those things where, like, somebody's got to throw the first counterpunch. Like, somebody's got to be the one that's going to take all the, the shit for standing by something like this. Like, Apple was, Apple's apple got to sell cell phones, and they got to, you know, manage their uh, this whole company. So they're not feeling like being the ones to, like, fall on the sword and, like, make the first move. Mm -hmm. It's like, they're like, it's just, e they don't, these corporations don't have any loyalty to these people. So, like, it's a lot easier for us to just let this guy go and promote some hotshot kid we've been investing in anyway than sit here and fight for some kind of social point. I do wish, though, that Blevins, like, went in this meeting where they've got to talk about it, of course, because it's public now, that Apple would be like, oh, you know, doesn't look good, right, bud? And right. he's like, well, yeah, but fuck off. Like, it was funny. It was a joke. Whatever. Citizen Vulgar says, suicide nets for their factories, but this guy can't joke about tits. <laughs> right? You had to put up nets to stop people who work for you from killing themselves, but this guy can't say he fondles big tits. By the way. I forgot about that. On his day off, he's not even working. That is true. It looks like he was at some kind of gathering of cool car people. Okay, did you see the cars yeah. next to him? It was fine. Or at least people with small dicks. One of the two. That was either a gathering. But of, do they get big tits? They do. They do. Uh, Citizen M says, Aaron, stop mocking incels. Jordan Peterson will start crying again. Oh, yeah. And the, the Red Bar cult, too. They don't like it when you mock them and point out that they're obsessive. And so they might cry like Jordan Peterson, too. I think they still are. I kept getting notifications yesterday, like, oh, at this specific timestamp, he calls you out. Yeah, and like I all, all he said, like he made some again. It was some passive cunty steel toe Did reference. You listen That's to all. It? Yeah, it was nothing. Okay. Uh, Marquis says men snitching on other men for being men. We are dying as a species. I know. It's just it's fucking bizarre. The weird shit, like the weird dopamine rush people get for tattling. When think about this, it used to be like something I would think men would aspire to to be that guy, right? Everybody wants to be. Everyone wants to be Tony Blevins, the guy driving the sports car, grabbing tits. I don't know. Yeah, in a nice suit. All right, guys, one eighty-five away from our goal today. We are running out of time. We have about forty-five minutes left, and that is basically the money standing between us and breaking even for the week. So, if you feel like chipping in, please do. If you haven't yet, please do. It's the last day of the month. 185 away from our goal. That is it, guys. Let's see if we can get there. We do so much appreciate it. Tony Blevins net worth. Uh, the PayPal link is in the chat. It's also pinned to the top of the page. Super chats and memberships count as well. However, you'd like to chip in. Let's start a little rally here. Like to be around 100 or below by the time we pass that offering plate around because those big three digit numbers, we tend to not wipe those out. That's tough. In those last five minutes. Uh, Tony Blevins is worth $18 million. So God, I kind of would have thought more than that based on what he was driving and stuff. He'll be okay. Ain't I mean, he'll land on his feet yeah. for sure. Or land into a big set of tits. Some pillows. Yeah. To cushion the fall. Thank you to Fettuccine El Pupu for becoming a member for his fifth month and Fauci's Pangolin 
with a $5 super chat. 175 away from our goal. We will get there. We just got to make sure everybody's chipping in a little bit. Thanks, guys. Every single month, and we will get to that goal. Oh, my goodness. Flinty Gecko says, good show today and throws 50 bucks our way. Thank Must you, be a Flinty. good show. 125. Now we're on pace. That's better. Yeah, now we're on <laughs> pace you. to wipe that out during the offering plate. Thank you guys very much. Uh, James J. Weed says, good thing that guy has never been around an abortion joke Tuesday. Oh, yeah, abortion joke Tuesday. He would not do well. Or, like, just any shop in America. Like, the talk, like, at places like Dessert oh, yeah. that I've worked at. There's so many people out there that could not just last even 10 minutes on a I, break. I do really like, though, that, like, that whoever it was who made that point in our chat, like, yeah, Apple has all these like human rights atrocities that they commit. I know. And one of their executives can't say that he fondles big tits for a living. Jesus. Oh God. What a crime. Uh, Birdman becoming a three month member says YouTube is weird. I haven't been a member for one month, but Hey, whatever. Take my shekels. Well, it says three Thank months you. here. So that, that probably straightens it out for you. Birdman. Thank you. One twenty away from today's goal. Oh, who's calling? I thought that was me. I was freaking out. All right, let's go to Cowpoat real from. quick. Good boy, Cowpoat. Good morning, Cowpoat. How are you? Good. How are you? What's going on? Hello, April. Good morning. Just having uh, just having our, our last hour or so here. Well, perfect. Um, so I was. I'm gonna. I'm gonna mud wrestle. Uh, Jake the Snake, and I want to know if April will be my corner girl. Damn. To re- he wants to mud wrestle Jake. Now, Cowpoat, isn't mud wrestling Jake Hudson a little gay? Like, shouldn't you just, like, fight him and wrestle him? Well, no, I think mud wrestling would be more fun, I think. And then Corey, Corey will be his corner man because he keeps apologizing to him, so. Oh, Jake keeps apologizing to Corey? Yes. Would you be up to uh, mud wrestle John Laughman? Oh, Absolutely. Okay, if this is actually happening, of course I have to accept. Yeah, so. if you can organize that. Tell John okay. Lastman, uh, it'll be the if he does that live, it'll be the largest audience he's had in forty years. I, well, we're gonna call him Pushies. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a trailer and get one of those pools that you can buy at Costco. Sure. Fill full mud and water, and it'll be a portable mud wrestling. And I'll take it out to the parking lot of Rock and One Hundred One. And a uh, winner gets, gets, and uh, we'll have a good old time mud wrestling. What do you think? Live on YouTube. What are your thoughts? On who's, who gets the broadcast rights? Who gets the, whose channel? Your channel. All right, I'm in. All right, cool. I already talked to him on Facebook. I said it to him. He goes, what? So I'll, I'll get it. And then I tell you what, we'll have Tom Bernard officiate it. You'll, you'll, uh, December 24th, you'll be the morning crew on KQ. Your thoughts? I'm excited. Yeah, I would. Uh, I would probably, unless they were willing to simulcast this show and run a mute uh, dump button, uh, I would not be interested in the offer. Of- oh, I think it'd be fun. I mean, come on, go to K. Go be at KQ in the morning. Be give ninety three X run for the money. What I do you know, think? but nobody listens to radio anymore. Like it keeps going down, 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 and down. I want to be Stuff. in a growth industry. No, I disagree. I disagree with you. There's radios in cars. People will listen to something good. That's all I'm telling you. There's cigarette, are, there's cigarette lighters in cars. It doesn't mean people are still smoking. And I understand that. I, but, but they charge their their, their uh, phones. But I'm just telling you, people look at Scoreboard Restaurant is by my house. Been for 40 years. Why? They do good. They 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 were good during the pandemic because they're good. People still like good radio. I'm just telling you. Well, I wish there was some. There is. I listen to three X Waffle and Company. They're good. All right. Well, I enjoy them. I enjoy the radio. I like to laugh. Cowpoat, you set up the mud wrestling thing, man, and I will. Uh, I'll. I'll do it. Yeah, we'll be. All waiting. right, yeah, ten. I love you more than ice cream. All right, April. I love you more than ice cream. We'll see you at the mud wrestling, baby girl. See Thanks, guys. Have a good weekend. Bye, Cowpoat. Bye. Bye. That's our buddy Cowpoat. <laughs> Who would have saw this this relationship going the way it has? I don't know. He's my new Armenian friend. He calls me baby girl. Baby girl. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being horny, baby girl. What happened to that guy? Uh, hopefully hit by something. <laughs> uh, Carlos renewing his membership for his fourth month. He says Trevor Noah is leaving the Daily Show. Proof that there is a God. I I just think when they started that when when John Stewart left the Daily Show, they went with like an unknown nobody, and I was like, God, that's such a big mistake. That well, is such a big brand. Like you've got to get somebody huge to host it, right? Um, and they just they couldn't get anybody. Do you remember? I think it was two nights ago. I left the TV on for Gordy. 
in the living room and that show came on and I went upstairs to you and I'm like, what's a Trevor Noah? I, I don't, yeah. I didn't even know who he was. Uh, Citizen M says, if it makes a good video, get it to go viral on YouTube. I think my sand crane thing will. Uh, Need Trump <laughs> says, KQ is very to very listened to. I don't know what he means, but no. very listened to, I think he means. You know what? Is it's maybe your show will bring back radio. I used to listen to the Howard Stern show all the time. I appreciate that, that compliment that I this show could somehow bring back radio. It's bigger than that. It's bigger than one show bringing back radio. It's just how easy it is to listen to something else that's uncensored, that's not programmed by corporations, that's not boring and milk toast. I mean, if they put me on radio, they're, they're, I'm not going to get to talk like this. I was going to say, I think we're past that because we can't do what we do here on radio. Yeah. This isn't possible anymore. Uh, Citizen M says, imagine being so pathetic you apologize to fucking Corey, Jesus fucking Christ. Well, Jake, you know, he, look, he's Jake. Uh, Toastmaster says, the only radio in my car is 87.9, and that's my Bluetooth adapter frequency. <laughs> oh, shit. People I, still have I remember those that. Bluetooth adapters. Hey, you do what you got to do to not listen to radio. Isn't it? Yeah. Well, that's just it. Like, look at all the technology we had to develop just so people didn't have to listen to radio. I had one of those for a long time. In their vehicles. Yeah. I mean, that's how bad radio got. I mean, that should be a hint to radio, too. Like, look at these things that are being created just to get away from you. Yep. All the avenues just to not listen to you. It's like pepper spray to rapists. It's like, look, guys, you aren't popular. People are buying this in droves just to keep you away. And they're like, well, I know, but you know, it's I'm too old to start doing something else. That so. is just it. It's almost laziness. And yeah. like, it's just too late. Yeah. Uh, who is April's favorite wrestler? And why is it the Yeti? Why is it the Yeti? Why is your favorite wrestler of all time the Yeti? That seems Because he's hairy. Oh. Well, no, he was actually wrapped in toilet paper. I have no idea. There was a terrible. You're my favorite wrestler. Oh, thanks. I'm uh, I'm undefeated. You know. You are. I'm th three and zero or four and zero or whatever it was. You look so good in your little shorts. Yeah, they're trunks. You're scored. Thank scort. you very much. It's not a score. It's scored. <laughs> it's a scort. big lump with knobs. Can I wear that for boxing? Could I wear that to an amateur fight? It depends on which fight it is, like whoever's hosting it. If it's a I'll home one, probably. Yeah, I'll ask Scott if I can If it's that. a home one, I think so. I'd wear him. Uh, and his finisher was the hug. Yeah, he hugged uh, Hulk Hogan. Yeah, the Yeti, was, the Yeti was troubling. Yeah, WCW in the early... Before the NWO came around, they had some terrifying ideas. Uh, all right, anyway... Continuing on with the show. Thank you very much, Cowpote, for the call. Thank you guys you. are doing great. You got us down to 115 today. 115 away from our goal. And uh, that is just wonderful. Let's knock that out and break even for the week. Uh, Boozy Badass is upset. Again? Yeah, booty, Boozy booty Badass. Booty Badass. Um, that's what when he's in prison, he's Booty Badass. Ew. Uh, boozy Badass, the rapper, uh, is mad at Netflix because of Dahmer. Uh, he <laughs> imagine being upset at a show. Well, and his objection is kind of stupid. I think he's of the opinion or I think he's of the belief. I can guess already that like Netflix just chose the victims to be black. I was going to say he's mad that all the victims are black. Right? right. He I don't think anybody bothered telling boozy badass that these are just the real victims and this is the neighborhood that Jeffrey Dahmer lived in, and that's just that's just the way it went down. Also, why do we have to tell Boozy Badass that like be, just because all the victims were black doesn't mean that's because we think the victims were bad people, right? Like, shouldn't you then feel bad for them? Like, I think you with, take pity on the victims. I think with Boozy, he just doesn't know, and so he's like he gets to be angry. But you know what's interesting about this is that if it's a hero character, you know, people went nuts about a Black Little Mermaid. You know, it's like, hey, it's empowering to have a Black Little Mermaid. It's like, well, here's Black representation. These are what the victims of Jeffrey Dahmer was. Hey, I wish everyone would just start admitting, like, look, we only want you to portray the thing I am in a good way. It's not about getting representation. It's, it's not about being seen or unseen. It's about always make me look awesome. I haven't seen any white people lashing out yet that Dahmer was white. Just the gay ones. The gay white ones. Are uh, they're not out. talking about how he's white. That's true. I wish they wouldn't have Dahmer wearing glasses. God, like I wish all the big serial killers in this world weren't white. They're making us look bad. April's April's whole thing is, off. you know, I you know, I I like the Ted Bundy story, but could you just cut out the part where he rapes women? 
Right. <laughs> it's like, he's well, no, just we... really hot and sexy all the time. Yeah, like, we can't really can cut that? out the part where he fucks dead bodies, April. I'm sorry. That's kind of part of the lore. You know what, though? His unibrow threw me off. I, I will that say guy's this. unibrow is bad. I will say this. The one where the, the first low-budget Bundy movie is better than the Zac Efron one, they did steer clear of the whole post-mortem sex stuff that Ted Bundy did in the Zac Efron one. Like, they didn't really get into the part that, you know... He didn't have sex I with them exactly. So. Yeah. You know what always captivates me about that besides John Malkovich is like, I like seeing Parsons in a serious role and I want him to get the fuck out of Big Bang Theory. Well, and that do show's serious been roles. done for a while. Is so. it done? Oh, yeah. You didn't. Oh, yeah. Big Bang Theory's been <gasps> done for a they minute. They advertise it all over like TBS and shit or whatever channel. I don't know. Fuck. April. I don't watch the Big Bang Theory. You should be applauding. I, I appreciate that, but those are called. Uh, they've only Fuck been. A, they've you. only been around for a, a couple decades or so, but they're called reruns, honey. Yes, but I don't watch the show, therefore I don't know. Well, they're not making. So any more you're welcome, episodes. actually. You're, they're not making any more new episodes. Well, then put him in serious roles. I like him there. Don't get frustrated. I'm the one who called Old Faithful the steamy. What did I call it? I'm not it? frustrated. I'm just. What did I, I want call Parsons in serious roles? What did I call uh, Old Faithful today? The big steamy. The big steamy thing, <laughs> I think. All right, let's uh, see what it's Boozy. Like butt. I want to hear Boozy Badass, Badass's critical uh, report on Dahmer. Let's see. Us as blacks, we need to ban this Jeffrey Dahmer movie. This is. <laughs> I can't handle this. This is you know, so stupid. It's, you're saying it's not starting off strong? We as blacks need to ban this Jeffrey Dahmer movie. Why does he sound a little like Cat Williams? It's some sick shit. What he did to our race. This is some sick shit. We need to boycott this damn movie off Netflix. This is sick. This is... Yeah, well, uh, Boozy, I'm sorry, but... That's kind of the point of the Jeffrey Dahmer movie. I was like, this is sick. It's disgusting what he did to black people. Yeah, that's kind of the message they're trying to convey in the movie. Like, Boozy, are you watching this wrong? Are you thinking they're portraying him as the hero? That's kind of what I'm thinking. Like, these people, you're sick. Honestly, if you have this take, you're sick somewhere in the head. This Darth Vader motherfucker needs to be gotten uh. rid of. He's force choking people and wiping out planets. We need to get rid of him. And he's a black man. They're saying the black man is a murderer when the black man is a king. Where's Boosie on every other movie where they kill a bunch of black people? Like, what about Django, too, and how they treat them? Although there's I mean, a Django hero was at the, the end hero, of so there's yeah. That but part. think about all the other poor black people. That we need to that cancel movie. Don Johnson off of this Django. This is sick. The victim family should be getting paid off every dollar Netflix made. Pretty sure they do. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the they victims' need reparations. Family, I'm pretty sure the victims' family, when shit like this happens, just as like a PR thing, they throw you a couple bucks. But. Again, like, do you, if you are one of the victims' families, don't you want the real story portrayed so that right. guy looks like a fucking monster? Exactly. Like, you Bo do. Boozy is sitting here like we're all celebrating Jeffrey Dahmer. It's so sick. Like, he's just like, we need to get this movie off of there before no. people start thinking killing and eating black people is a good thing. I don't know about you, but like, I've sat through the first two episodes kind of watching in utter disgust and horror that this happened. Yeah. This is fucking sick. It's the point. We need to ban this Jeffrey Dahmer movie. This is some sick shit. It's sick. You said that. <laughs> That's it? That's all he said? You said that, man. He literally okay. just did a full circle in his living room telling us the movie's sick and it needs to be banned off of Netflix. Sir, it's a TV show. Like he was on an offended carousel. That's <laughs> uh, you just... Uh, thank you very much to Loaded Wrench for renewing his membership. Thank you, buddy. Guys, we are only 110 away from our goal today. We are so close to getting there. There's the PayPal link in the chat. Super Chats and memberships count as well. Let's see what the audience thinks. It's sick. Um, uh, <laughs> don't cut off. <laughs> Triple N. Don't cut off the dick, man. <laughs> don't drill into that brain, man. Oh, they're asking if that's Adrian. No, that is not Adrian. That's very racist for you to ask. Uh, Raven Better wants teeth. Raven wants to uh, boycott that shitty camera angle. That was bad. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a historical depiction, Boozy. Thing, I, like, do you want to switch around like all the history of like slavery too? Because yeah. it made black people look bad. We <laughs> need to ban this Hannibal Lecter movie. It's gross. Hannibal Lecter was a bad dude. 
Uh, and he ran a group of bad boys. We need to ban this corn pop. <laughs> Dahmer ate their asses. Dahmer ate their asses. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> yeah, Dahmer was just uh, yeah, Dahmer was just out there going. Uh, I will eat your ass. <laughs> oh my god. That's how he got him home. Exactly. <laughs> Oh. That, and I got news for you. That means you're gay. Yeah. I just watched him drug a 14-year-old with Boone's Farm last night. Oh, if you're going to be drugged with anything, make it something decent. Oh, you not only did you drug me, you gave me Boone's Farm. The 14-year-old requested God, it. God, as if you're not giving up the ass with just the Boone's Farm. Right? It was Strawberry Hill flavored. Standalone K-Corn said, It's sick! Molly Ringwald is playing Jeffrey Dahmer's stepmom. She's wholesome. I can't. I got to read all the criticism in Boozy's voice. Uh, Curly Adam with ten bucks. Thank you very much, buddy. We'll Thank take seventy percent of that and knock that goal down to one hundred and five today. Very cool. Moving, moving right along today. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for keeping this show the way it is. We appreciate being a listener-supported show and having that level of support. We do appreciate it. Triple N said, "Neighbors like repeating." <laughs> oh, okay. That's when you have a neighbor. He okay. Triple N Neighbors. also says, Lil Boosie makes everyone around him dumber. He's hilarious. Uh, Boosie is far too funny to be confused with that other guy. Oh, Adrian. Yeah, Boosie is way funnier than Adrian Washington. It's true. I would watch a half hour of Boosie going off before Adrian in a heartbeat. I want to watch Boosie's uh, highway arrest again. Oh, God, that was funny. That was funny. really funny. Oh, that's just birth control for my bitches. That's just birth control for my bitches. And didn't he tell the cops he didn't come over and get their dick sucked? Yeah. I do love that. He was awesome. Thank you, Patty B Cakes, for the $10 on PayPal. And Thank Scott you. with five bucks on PayPal. Very, Ooh. very cool. Thanks, guys. And now we're 90 bucks away from our goal today. Very good. Uh, Flex says, did you get a crypto wallet yet? No, I'm fine. I'll get one. I think I might have to get one because... What is a crypto wallet? Well, the only way I can get paid out by BetUS without hitting this threshold for advertising, because I want to be done with them, because our audience doesn't care about sports, thus sports betting, okay. is uh, you have to have a crypto wallet, and they can give it to you in crypto. So It's cone. It's cone. <laughs> it's crypto. I fucking hate that song. Is that song I'll, in your head all day now? It's, it's every not day. I Listen to this. So on the way to Can we my, do a sing-along with the kids today? Can we do an It's Corn sing-along? One time. All right. I'm cutting it off at one time. But so on my walk to the deer stand, I have to walk through a field of corn right now. And that's all I can oh, think Oh, do you really? Yesterday. When you walk through the field? It's cone. It's cone. <laughs> a big lump with knobs. It has the juice. I was actually just yelling that at the top of my lungs. That's why I spooked it. And it has the juice. <laughs> it has juice. <laughs> the best part of corn is, is the, the grease. grease. What happened? I still don't know what the grease is. The butter you fucking put on it. That's just, then call it butter, kid. C corn doesn't have grease, it's butter. It's, yeah. But that kid had never had corn before, so. Yeah, uh, sorry guys, if you're experiencing any interruptions, our uh, OBS is getting a little wonky. It's not like going all the way down, but it's dropping by about 1,000 KPS. Uh, looks like it's going back up again. Just a little blip there. It's so cone. if you experienced any, any <laughs> interruption, don't worry. It's on our end. You're fine. I'm sick. Uh, Anthony with $15. <laughs> Thank you very much, bud. Oh, boy. Just 75 away from our goal today. Looks like we're going to get there. Thank you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, do you want to watch Boozy's uh, Atlanta arrest video? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. That's birth control for my bitches. I want him to do a corn remix. All right, this is from TMZ. Got to fast forward a little. Who you going to step to the back? <laughs> in the middle of the highway. Yeah. He pulled over in the middle of the highway. I forgot about that. Is there anyone in that car now or any other drug? Nah, well, I was smoking a blunt, though. Like, uh, okay. Is there any marijuana in the car? No, nah, dog, I was smoking a blunt, though. Yeah, you're good? I got you. As long as you're honest with me, I want to I got you. Stand by. I can't by. keep going through this, though, bro. Like, I, 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 we just just gotta hold the pressure, I can't, bro. I can't, bro. I don't do no wrong. I don't marijuana. do shit, bro. It's illegal. Bro, like, bro, I gotta go to y'all superiors and file a charge. Like, man, it's harassment. It's every day. I mean, you're smoking weed in your car, which is illegal in that state. You're going to get pulled over. It's like you're sitting there, like, taking pulls out of a wild turkey bottle, and you get pulled over, and you're like, this is harassment. This is five charges now. This is five charges now. We'll quit doing things that are illegal.
boozy. Stop pulling over in the middle of the highway. This traffic noise right. is like obnoxious. I can't even live. I moved to the country to fucking live, bro. I did six years on my back. I feel like fuck. Fuck. Oh, man. Give a fuck all the shit up. I'm like that. Imagine you're this guy. You just get Dude. paid to drive him around and hear him yell at you. Dude, man, I'm just shutting the fuck up. Yeah, you're just like, I'm getting paid. He's probably not making a ton. He's like, Dude, I make 38 grand a year. And he yells at me and shit. And I get to sling a little weed on the side. It's he only fine. gets secondhand highs. Yeah. Time, I'm ready to fucking roll me. Time. My favorite part of this is he starts out by threatening the officers and by the end he's offering them pussy. Uh, I'm just saying maybe somebody needs a nap. That joint didn't do much good. Joint is supposed to calm you down. You had a very active strain. Yes. Can you say he needs to go home and punch everybody? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. I mean, everybody works it off in their own way, I suppose. That guy, the guy in the pink here, though, he's just like, will you shut the fuck yeah. up? Like, this dude, isn't we're already under arrest. You gotta f shut up for a second. Like, we're so fucked. Uh, all right, let's hit play again. I'm coming to kill you! In Los Angeles, at your house, or in the ring? No, in real life. <laughs> it's still funny all <laughs> these times I know, later. Spit on every fucking nurse in that bitch. I'm gonna make you charge me. I'm gonna show you how I get down when I get locked up. I'm gonna show you how I get down. I'm gonna make them bitches whoop me. They gonna get a charge. I'm gonna make them whoop me. When he's talking to them, I'm gonna whoop them. This guy's just like, you got me for bail, right, Boozy? Yeah, I mean, I'm in some trouble here. I'm gonna go spit on everybody and make you arrest me. Well, I'm going out like a gangster. You gotta knock my fucking teeth off, buddy. And you're gonna get sued like a dog. I'm ready now. I'm all the way ready. I'm gonna throw him how I get down and be off. This is only two and a half months ago. It feels like longer. It does. Okay. Why? I'm gonna punch on the first white boy I see in that bitch. <laughs> I'm a punch on the first white boy I see in that bitch. Dude, this guy in the pink's about to just jump in front of traffic. He's like, dude, I got no chance with this next to me. Uh, guys, never try to be the first white boy that Boozy sees when he comes in. If you hear Boozy's in the club you're in, go hide behind another white guy. And make sure he sees that you're white guy before you. You're safe if you're the second You one. always want to be the second white boy that Boozy sees. I swear I'm going on my damn now. In the nurse, I'm going to spit on that bitch. <laughs> I'm ready to go to jail. Well, it's up to you, Boozy. Yeah, fucking get everyone. <laughs> Sounds like it's your call, bud. <laughs> that's our handcuff, that's what we attack. We don't tear that bitch up. They're gonna have to kill us in that bitch. <laughs> that guy's like, no, dude, no, no, they're not. Nobody's nope. killing anybody. No killing. I. He's breaking. He's breaking all allegiance with Boosie at this point. Like, I... dude, he's forcing me here under my will to drive him. <laughs> I'm not ready to die or kill. I would rather yeah. just drive if I could. Notice, officer, I did not have any marijuana. Uh... I swear to God, because I'm tired, bro. I want hard every fucking day. Every fucking day, I'm getting pulled over every my people. I'm getting targeted, bro. My license plate is white. I'm targeted. Well, yeah, I mean, if you get arrested a lot and you're always breaking the law, the cops probably are going to check on you more often than other people. At what point do you stop hanging out with this guy and being, like, part of his group? Boozy, he seems stressful to be around. Boozy, you're a millionaire. So is Will Smith. You get pulled over a lot more than Will Smith. Will Smith is also... Hostage to his wife. It's also so. a little cucked out, yeah. Tiny bit. <laughs> this is the best part. This is where he gets into the birth control for his bitches and starts offering the, <laughs> the officer's pussy. That's all. Birth control pills or something for my bitches. You know bitches can't get pregnant for me. Yeah, I got a lot of whole sucking in my house right now. Huh. <laughs> I got a lot of... Well, the so the cops find drugs in his car, pills, obviously. He's like, ah, it's birth control, so they don't get pregnant. It's birth control pills for my bitches. 
Because you know they can't get pregnant. I got a lot of O's sucking dick at my house. Sounds like it could be like a, a heel Dusty Rhodes promo. It is weird. <laughs> That's birth control for my bitches, baby. Because you know when the girl's taking that, they can't get pregnant, daddy. And I'll tell you another thing, Jack. Dusty Rhodes, the American Dream, has a lot of holes in his crib right now, sucking some dick, baby. Because when the American Dream goes to the pay window, I give money to all my holes like I'm throwing them bird seed, baby. Because they can't get pregnant when they're on them birth control pills. So if you want to come get your dick sucked by a hoe, you talk to the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes, baby. It works. Yeah. I got like 35 whole sucking at my house right now. God, it's got to be crowded in there. Do you have beds Jeez. for all of them? No, just they blow up mattresses. Sucking dick on the floor? God, it's going to be hell on my spinal column. He lays down a bath towel. Yeah, like boozy. <laughs> no offense, bro. Can I get my dick sucked like, you know, on a couch maybe? Uh, I mean, 35, it's not, slim pickings. Not to mention that sounds pretty sus to be saying to a cop that you've yeah. got like... 35. Basically, dick sucking operation going on at your house. Well, Mr. Badass, I don't see any reason to investigate such a claim. Uh, nope. That sounds totally legit to me. If anybody won't think suck, let me know. It's actually really sweet. It's weird that he's yelling at it aggressively, but it's a really sweet offer. It's a friendly gesture. Yeah, he's like, a peace between us tonight, officer. Would you like your dick sucked by a hoe <laughs> who's on birth control and can't get pregnant, these bitches? <laughs> Bitch, I'm ready to fight. I take off the, I, I could fight. I would throw them bitches within our office. Hard to do it. Take off their bag and they gun. And I'm going to throw them bitches with you in the parking lot. The officer's like, well, uh, you're kind of stripping me of all my advantages there. I'm going to have to reject your offer. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I'm not going to mm -hmm. give you the gun, no. I'm like that, man. I moved out here for training. I'm going to sell my shit. Car is not stolen. Registration is right. The tag is right. I was pulled over because it's boosted hard. Or because you were smoking marijuana on the highway. <laughs> Again, you're kind of forgetting the important part here, Boosie. Bearing the lead. This poor guy can't pull up his pants over here anymore. Yeah, and now because you were smoking weed, they're tossing your car for more drugs. Birth control. You fucking motherfucker are targeting my vehicle. You're targeting my vehicle. Oh, Boozy, that's traffic, buddy. If I was buddy. a white college player, you wouldn't fuck with my vehicle. Oh. If I play soccer. I mean, in fairness, if you were a black college player, they wouldn't fuck with your vehicle. <laughs> they love their... Down in Georgia. You think Georgia... You think they're going to pull over a fucking bulldog? No. And they're going to, like, report him for a crime? Hell no. They're going to go, can I get an autograph? Can you fuck my wife? And can you win this Saturday? That's but what they're going to say. Can I get a kid out of you with her? Yeah. Huh? Looking to raise a good strong ball player. After a baseball, you wouldn't fuck with my vehicle. You'll stop him for an autograph. Well, to, in fairness, if you were a baseball player, you wouldn't be speaking English right now. So let's kind of keep this Jesus real life. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm going to give you a citation for the marijuana. All of that for a ticket. So Boozy went off on this big rant, and he just got a ticket. Worth it. All right. For the smell of marijuana. No, you'll be fine. Yeah, I got yeah. a ticket. Carl's on the floorboard. There's some bags. I think there's two bags. Yeah, he's like, oh, you found a little leftover residue. They're like, we found two bags of marijuana, Boozy. <laughs> you know what I never understood out of this, though, what? is why, if it was just being pulled over for marijuana, were they in handcuffs? Because that really does surprise me. Because Detective Stabler doesn't fuck around. No. Um, actually, I think it's because when they are tossing your vehicle for drugs, they do have to detain you. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Um, citation Dude, I fucking want that holster. That is such an awesome... The chest holster there? For all your guns? That's fucking cool. Well, I'll get the holster first. And then I'll fill it with guns. He'll put his Nerf gun in there. Yeah! And that's it. All right? I'm going to let y'all be on about your business. Are, can we, are we good? Yeah. Okay. But take the handcuffs off. You got to sit in the car. <laughs> And now you can get back to your dick sucking bitches. Thank you, Boots. All 35 of them. Oh, uh, I missed that video. We only did that once on the show, I think. I missed the. I don't know. It does seem like a long time ago. Yeah. I missed the fucking boozy. <laughs> I, got, is... I got bitches at my house sucking dick. <laughs> Anyone wants their dick sucked? Come, come on see over. Me. Come see me if you want your dick sucked. He's got like just round the clock people knocking on his door. 
<laughs> what do you? What the fuck do you want? You said to come see you if you wanted your phone and my dick sucked. I um, bet. I bet everyone, like, there's been a lot of people that's seen that video, obviously. I bet a bunch of people, just trolls, have showed up yeah. at his house. Like, I want my dick sucked. No, actually, one of them got pistol whipped, and then people stopped showing up at his house. That's all it takes, typically. Shit. Triple N says the logistics of that are staggering. I know. The logistics of 35 all? bitches at your house suck. Oh, no, they weren't bitches. They were hoes. The dick, dick sucking one were, ho were hoes. The birth control is for his bitches, so they can't get pregnant. But, yeah, the 35 women at a house sucking dick, that is the logistics of that are quite frightening. He keeps them in a shed out back. I mean, if you're OCD and you just hear that, you're like, hold on, dude, my brain's going to explode. I, I, okay, so you put three over... They're all definitely sucking dick in the same room, right? Hold on. How many bedrooms do you have? Fuck. Um, God. Ugh, can you ble you bleach the place regularly, Ew, right? There's not enough bathrooms to clean up. Nope. You got to just That's get cum being shot all over the carpet. <laughs> you just got a Weird. garden hose you run out to to Ugh, flush the system. Just spray it off. <laughs> Citizen Vulgar with a clerk's reference goes, I'm 37? Look, it's, uh, it's, it's a rough truth to have to find out. Uh, yeah, Jack, try not to suck any dick walking through the parking lot. Hey, you, get back here. Uh, Jack Floyd says the image of Aaron with that holster and a Nerf gun is hilarious to I, me. I fucking know. It's fucking real life to me, bro. Ooh, paintball gun. Hey, there you go. When we go storm Normandy. That sounds fucking fun, doesn't yeah, it? there you go. And then You're you, in. You just, now do I, I want to draw here. Right? Yeah, I want to draw. Like, that actually looks like a terrible, now, practically speaking, I don't like that holster. Draw. I like now. You're not supposed to cross draw. I learned Takes that from I learned that from Breaking Bad. You don't want to cross draw. It's too right? obvious. Yeah, see, it's like, too obvious, and it takes too long. Like, look, the hip. Whoop, boom, straight up. Whoop, straight up. Whoop, straight up. Like here, you got to do a weird. Just pull it right out of out, your crotch. Actually, like here, you got to do a weird out and out motion. I don't like that. Not good. Unless you need to shoot a guy over there, then that's a good holster. He's just because he's just. I picture you as somebody who shouldn't have guns. I don't disagree with that statement. I would, I mean, I, I could, I could present you a good argument, but I don't disagree with I it. I would love to hear your top selling point. Uh, I have not ever committed a felony. I'm white. Aren't you the guy <laughs> that totaled an enclave because you ran into a parked vehicle texting? I was texting. Yeah. Black people text. By the way, it did not learn his lesson. Uh, Jack Floyd says, oh, my God, I learned that from Breaking Bad. Yeah, I learned a lot of my gun safety from Breaking Bad. If you listen to Mike Ehrman Trout, you're going to be okay. Listen, here's how this thing's going to go. You, oh, I know you got to have really bored eyes, too. Walt, you're going to come with me. After that, we're going to see what we can do about this little problem we've encountered. But until then, I need you to sit tight and not speak. You understand, Walt? Good. Will you shut the fuck up and let me die in peace? That is one of the best final lines of any character ever, by the way. It had to be this way, Mike. You understand? Yeah. Will you shut the fuck up? Yeah. It, that is one of the best guy dying instances in any show or movie he ever. He lived just long enough to get that out. And then shut, he falls over. And then he falls over. He tells, well, will you shut the fuck up and let me die in peace? Uh, 75 bucks away from our goal today, guys. We are right there, and we are 10 minutes away from the offering plate segment in the last five minutes. If we knock out that 75, we do 30 minutes of overtime. And I got some Brendan Schaub today. That's good. Old Mark That's Harley stepped in some horse shit. Again? This fucking guy cannot stop running his stupid... I, I figured out, I'm not too far into the Brendan Schaub side players. Uh... Mark Harley is also known as BGL or Big Gay Lion. Uh, they had this, Why? they had the Liver King on their show. By the way, if you're into this Liver King guy, you gotta stop. Nobody should be taking anybody who looks and talks like that seriously. I think you're crossing shows now. H3 had Liver Guy. Brendan Schaub had him on too. He really? must be making the podcast rounds. Uh -oh. Listen, this Liver King guy, guys, whatever he's telling you about health or anything else, I assure you, some nerdy fucking doctor can tell you the same information. And he doesn't look like a fucking lunatic hostage taker. All right. You don't need to listen to a shirtless guy who looks like the Unabomber to figure out how to run your liver. That's what your doctor is for. Trust me. Is that what the liver guy does? Because on H3, he was having Ethan and was it Hassan? 
oh, eat God. pickled bull penis. I mean that. There's pictures. There's video. He's eating pickled bull How penis. is that a challenge for Hassan? It's just a different kind of penis for him to eat. Imagine a pickled penis. Yeah, but Hassan Piker, like, it's the only difference this time is it's pickled and a different species. I mean, it's not an abnormal part of the diet. It's large. All right. Thank you very much, Jack Floyd. Five bucks. He says, thanks for the laugh. Elias Campus says, bring that fire, B. 65 bucks away from our goal. Thank you guys very much for all of the help Thank in you. keeping this show going and keeping everybody here. Uh, again, $65 away from said goal. Uh, so we've got, oh, we got to open up our 8 o'clock hour stories, which, by the way, is, I believe, where that uh, that Brendan Schaub stuff is. But he has Very this cool. guy named Mark Harley, and we'll do this in overtime. He has this guy named Mark Harley who is one of the most hideous-looking fucking people I've ever seen him. I, I don't get it. Like, he's just got weird grayish, blackish hair, and he grows it out in a lion's mane. He's got an awful beard, and he is obsessed with the haters. Oh, he's the... Is that the uh, haters, haters, will haters will say? Haters will say. Uh, if you want to go deep dive into Mark Harley, Revenge of the Sis does a great job. We're very skin deep with uh, with Mark Harley. We'll, we'll be your introduction. But apparently, he decided out of fucking nowhere to start dunking on Kalila again as if that's what Brendan wants to be associated with. I feel like Brendan has made it pretty clear over the last few months that he's fucking tired of that should have made that clear honest to god mark harley is one of those people who makes me feel bad for brendan right like he's just an innocent bystander in uh, some of this i'm just like dude I, look I, I you're a douche and you're terrible and i understand that and you're fun to make fun of but this guy's a fucking problem for you dude he keeps him Honestly. around too he does he loves himself some mark harley Weird. Uh, but we'll get we'll get to all that. Yeah, uh, no, we're gonna get to the Liver King thing. So the Mark Harley Kalila thing, he left this whole big Instagram post about how she's a sociopath and uh, just like I know one and like just really, this guy will not stop with the fucking um, the Kalila and Bobby Lee stuff. Mark okay. Harley. Uh, let me see if I can find the actual Instagram post. It shouldn't be that hard. Uh, yeah, there we go. We'll go to the fighter and the kids subreddit. Uh, there we go. We'll find the... God, they post a lot. I know. They have so much shit on this subreddit. <laughs> they do a good job, but Jesus Christ. Here we go. Uh, BGL is a mental health professional. BGL meaning big gay lion. So this is the the post. He put up XLP's video of Kalila Kuhn, the most sadistic woman in comedy, which, by the way, XLP put a clip of our show in his video. That's cool. Thank you, buddy. And by the way, XLP's video has like 100,000 views at this point. So thank you, XLP. That's why it's important when you do YouTube and shit. Always give credit to people when you use their stuff because they're always very nice to you back. Yes. YouTube creators are really generous people. Well, you look at the people we've interviewed. You know, they've got bigger channels than we do, but they come talk to us because they're like, oh, cool, you like what I do. Awesome, I'll come talk to you for an hour. Cool. Um, well, this Mark Harley decided out of nowhere, for no goddamn reason, to post about Kalila because he saw the YouTube video. Uh, thank you to Matthew and Casey for 20 bucks and five bucks, respectively. Thank you. 40 bucks away from our goal today. So that means we are doing no offering plate segment and we are doing overtime today. Just got to knock out that last 40 before we go here. So Mark Harley puts up a clip of XLP's video or a screenshot of it and then writes, oh, hi, Kalila, and then puts this big fucking note a few months ago, I stated this person is a narcissistic sociopath in a reply comment on my own post. And people, now, this is Mark Harley's biggest thing. He cannot get over people criticizing him and shitting on him. He has to keep bringing it up and keep bringing it up and keep bringing it up. You're in the wrong circles then. Right, like people bring up to us that group of guys who is just obsessed with this show and we go, guys, it's cute. Do you know how easy that right. group is for me to look over? Right. It's just, I don't even remember that. We go, guys, we don't have to be right. We don't have to be wrong. You don't ever turn anyone like that. That's their gimmick. That's their shtick. Let it go. Like people, It's the only thing they have. Yeah, they'll bring it to me, and I'll point to them. I'll go, guys, 50 views. I think by the grace of God, we'll be okay here. 
Yeah. I think we're going to be all right. But Mark Harley's one of those guys like, oh, yeah, you said something about me on a post on some obscure Reddit thing. I'm going to bring it back six months later and show you that I wasn't crazy. Mark, these people aren't important enough to be parading like this because it's one of those deals where, yeah, even though you were right and you won, you also kind of lost because now you're just like them. The only way you lose if you is if you start behaving like these lunatics. And he, boy, he jumps he head first right into this shit. Because, like, nobody at Fighter and the Kid, nobody, like, Brendan Schaub was not talking about Kalila anymore, not talking about Bobby Lee. And then Mark Harley, his little lackey, his little, uh, you know, weed man. Underling. Uh, goes, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to shit on Kalila out of nowhere and make it go all over Reddit. And I'm sure Brendan Schaub just goes, Again, this is where I feel bad for Brendan because I'm sure he's just like, oh, you fucking moron. It's probably something he just wants to forget about. Right. He said people screenshotted and posted it all over Reddit as if it was a wild accusation that reflected poorly on me. I got to know my first sociopath at 16 and have had significant interactions with a small handful since. I have never made an incorrect assessment of a sociopath and would only make a public accusation like this if I felt like I had sufficient information to make that claim. Holy run-on sentence, big gay line. Yeah, no punctuation anywhere. I'm trying to find a place to stop and comment on this. But old uh, Mark... Well, lions don't have opposable thumbs, so they can't hit the period That's button. That's true. Uh, make that claim accurate, accurately and also that it's in the public interest to do so because it's not obvious as of yet to everyone around that person. Watch these videos and tell me I was wrong. Winky face emoji. There's your testosterone. Winky face. This guy is remarkably stupid. He's. I mean, you know worst. who talks like I... that? He says he spotted his first sociopath at 16. 16 year olds talk this way. Yes, he never left. 16-year-olds do that thing where they go, I'm never wrong when I say I've spotted a sociopath. Oh, yeah, Dr. Freud? You spent... Like, even doctors who, like, know and are trained to know what a sociopath is, if they just look at someone and you go, is that a sociopath? They go, I am in no way qualified to tell you whether or not they're a sociopath until I spend time with them. Right, you have to observe first. Well, that's well. you know what? That's great. Mark Harley, way better than a psychiatrist then because mm -hmm. he can tell you right away just by looking at the fuck. We just need a bunch of him. And by the way, thanks for letting us all know you're playing Hurt over here. Can't let something go from age 16. God, yeah, from age 16. I met my first sociopath. Well, I'm sorry your uncle did that, Mark, but say, it's time unless, to move on. Unless you were physically harmed, I think we can let that go. Yeah, I it's just he uh, get a therapist or something. I, should we find some really bad uh, Mark Harley and see? I, I like I said, Revenge of the Sis has a ton of it. Uh, cringe Mark Harley. Oh, he is remarkably unattractive. Yeah, that is really hard to look at. To there's be the big. There's the, the. You can find out why they call him Big New Lion or Gay Big Gay Lion. I'm sorry. Uh, Apparently, yeah, see, here's a Revenge of the Sis video. Mark Harley is a great actor. Watch all of those because, like I said, we go very much skin deep uh, when it comes to Mark Harley and even Brendan Schaub. Uh, let's go ratioed in his own comment section. New intern homophobic slurs. Fuck it, guys. Just go watch the ROTC stuff. They've got it covered. Yeah, we got, we got to get to Brendan and the, what is it, the Liver King? The Liver King, yeah. Okay. Uh, this is this one was titled by uh, the people at the Fighter and the Kid subreddit as "Not a sane person between the three of them." <laughs> Fuck. Is what this video is titled. Now, I don't understand the Liver King gimmick. I don't know what he's supposed to be. I don't know. Like it, he just tells you what good health is, but he just sits around with his shirt off and shorts on, looking remarkably homeless all day. And I think he's been on uh, Rogan. So he's homeless Andrew Tate. No, he's a little more playful. You notice how Andrew Tate has no sense of humor? No, he's pretty monotone. This is a weird fucking guy. This is just a guy like I'm watching people and like the Joe Rogans of the world and his audience. They like to go, yeah, the fucking liver king, dude. He's an alpha and this and that. And it's like, guys, I know you guys want to get your alpha brain and you want to get all this shit, but like, Maybe take the advice from a doctor. You don't need to have a gimmicky guy in Forrest Gump's running beard uh, who never skips ab day, clearly. He's in very good shape, telling you how to, you know, do liver health 
or anything like that. Right, but I agree. Here's Brendan and the and uh, Brian talking to the Liver King. They are bare chested. This is going to tell me a lot of what I need to know about somebody. And I'm not looking for a 55 year old that's jacked with an eight pack, yeah. right? But how you do anything is how you do everything. This is why I'm not surprised that Joe Rogan is ripped to the bone, looking incredible, articulate as fuck, successful beyond measure, mm -hmm. right? This is why I hold. We're getting a little gay for Joe Rogan here. I was gonna say a little dick sucking of the Rogan, huh? Easy I Liver just, King. God, this guy probably a little too intense. He's too intense. Like I don't like his whole persona he's giving off. Like he's yeah. intense. Like oh look at me, I'm fucking sexy. I fuck. I bet yeah. he doesn't. I got a big beard. I'm a caveman. I just don't like people who live in the 21st century and try to do the caveman thing. It's like, dude, not even close. We'd it, all die. They're trying to make it cool. We'd all die if we had to be cavemen. Relax. In the, in the highest regard, I was on a podcast the other day. I said this uh, before. I just want to say it one more time before it gets old. There's four primals I hold in the highest regard. George Washington, Chuck. If you put Joe Rogan in a list with George Washington... I'm, I cannot take you seriously. Joe Rogan needs a restraining order on this guy. <laughs> I love Joe Rogan. I think Joe Rogan does a great job. I think he's the new Howard Stern in terms of he's popularity. Awesome. But let's take it easy. I mean, I got the same problem with some Rogan fans that we had with like the Red Bar people when Red Bar got exposed. Like they will not admit that their God made any kind of mistakes. And yeah, Rogan fans, the the, the biggest ones are just big gullible dopes. Mm -hmm. And Brendan's got some of them too where their guy can never do wrong. Guys, don't get so invested in people that you can't see through the bullshit because then you just become basically an Avon customer. You, you become Avon like, customer. you become basically like you're in a Ponzi scheme now at this okay. point. Norris, Brendan Rocky Balboa. Well, uh, Chuck Norris. And then Joe Rogan. That's uh, hilarious. Number so Rocky Balboa, Chuck Norris, George Washington, and Joe Rogan are your guys you hold in the highest regard. Quality. <laughs> you know what? Look at Callan. Look at these two sitting like ladies. They do. They like their, their fucking flip-flops. They like their lady sits. Not only that, I got bad news for the Liver King. One of the guys you just said you hold in highest regard, I don't mean to burst your bubble, He's not real. Yeah, I don't know if anyone told him Chuck Norris is a well a character. Uh, and Rocky Balboa. April. And Rocky. Yeah. Rocky Balboa, not a real guy. Chuck Norris didn't actually engage in all those contests no. and everything else. He was a guy who did good karate. Yes. Number five is going to be Brendan Chubb. Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 It, it's it's a great list. So I say this, how you do anything is how you do everything. You know, like. I hate people with sayings. I hate saying like how well, you that's do. That's why you were never friends. Yeah, I hate uh, what. How you do anything is how you do everything. It's like no, I I don't fuck like I shower. Uh, those are not the same things. Like yeah, it's a uh, fear is false evidence appearing real. No, it's just how you spell fear. It's pain not, is fear leaving the body. Yeah, pain <laughs> is fear leaving your body. No, it's actually it's a psychosomatic reaction to the feeling of pain. It's the body's way of. But Protecting. rise and grind, Aaron. Yeah, yeah rise and grind, bro. That's Se a good one. Seize the day. Got to be on the grind all the time. I'm, I'm not I'd rather listen to Alex Stein say he's a pimp on a blimp eating shrimp. Life doesn't work unless you do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I love it when they flip them around. It's like, you got to work the game. Don't let the game work you. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Did you just turn it around? That's fucking crazy. Do it again. <laughs> you got to. You got to live your life, not let your life live you. Whoa, holy fuck. You're like the reverse sayings guy. <laughs> it's Tom Selleck, actually. Yeah. You got to you gotta get paid for your mortgage, not pay your mortgage. Hey, wait a minute, Tom. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. You're not going to Unless gonna I get... believed in it. If I thought I was ripping off any senior, <laughs> I would make Mr. Baseball too. All right, fair enough. You're not making it. All right, let's watch the liver king with his fancy sayings. Surprised when I meet guys that are that articulate. That's successful. They're also rep shredded. They look the way that they do because yes. your physical expression, your social, emotional, intellectual, holistic expression. Wait a minute. Is this guy trying to say that people who are really articulate and super smart are also usually really shredded? Yes, he is. He's saying those things go hand in hand, if you will. Guys, I'm sure. Look, I'm going to get shit on if we clip this out by Liver King fans and Joe Rogan fans. This will get a bad dislike thing. I'm just telling you guys, I'm sure the Liver King is a nice man. He seems like an affable, jovial fella. High T, if you will. High T, <laughs> to a T. But I'm just saying that maybe a guy who sits there shirtless with a homeless person's beard and a trucker hat 
isn't the guy to take health advice from. Especially a guy who's like, rise and grind, all smart people are really ripped. I, Yeah, you remember when Einstein would go arm wrestling in bars? Totally. I remember that time Edison kicked the shit out of that guy just for looking at him goofy. Yeah, she got ripped arms from throwing failed light bulbs at people. Yeah. Galileo shanked that guy in jail. As you do. <laughs> you know, is there's when there's alignment there, I think you found something. I would say to people also that there, there's you have a reaction to people. It can be positive. It can be negative. And wow. I, and I think it's important That's when deep, you though. have a negative. I always do this. If I have a negative reaction, if I have... It's something about something. I go like this. I examine what. That's the end of the clip. the The title just of that. Come all of the shit out yeah, of that. Yeah, the title from that from the fighter and the kid subreddit is not a sane person between the three of them. No, I did not hear one coherent thought come in on. that entire minute and eight seconds. I'm now wondering why he was eating pickled bull penis with Ethan Klein. Guy thinks it's well. It's good for your grind, man. Pickled. It's good for your grind. It's fucking gross. Uh, Thick Cheney with uh, 10 bucks says, thanks for another great show. Also, April, I sent a Facebook message about the $25 gift card for Stonies. Sounds good, buddy. There you go. 30 bucks. Thank you. Away for today. Uh, Joe hates this guy. LOL. They've been calling each other out. Wait, what? He hates this guy? Joe... Mark Harley, or he hates the Liver King? Oh, we are behind, huh? Yeah, Joe said he's on steroids. Oh, then he means... Well, he could mean either one. I think, yeah, I think he means the Liver King. Oh, by the way, Mark Harley, during this interview, he did it with his shirt off. Like, he was behind the producer board, and he had his shirt off, and he thought he was... Oh, God. What Guys, watch ROTC for Mark Harley stuff. We don't... It's not going to be someone we're going to dive into, but... That guy strikes me as someone who thinks he's God's gift to women. Like, women should fall down at his feet and kiss them. Oh, and he's a creep. Jack says, can we stop with the alpha beta bullshit? I know, like, I, th there's nothing wrong. Like, yes, we need a, a, a little more higher T count in men in general, all of us, you know? But at the same time, can we stop with, like, the, oh, I would have made it in the caveman days. Like, bitch, you wouldn't have made it in the 1700s. No. Stop it already. Uh, G Dub's asking if he's beef supreme from idiocracy. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Joe Rogan got his start cheering on people to eat cow brains. Let's not forget about that. Fear oh, factor was disgusting. Maybe the penises that he had Ethan and Hassan eat were an homage to his hero, Joe Rogan. There's a chance. I wish you could pull that up, even just the picture of it. I sent it to you on Instagram. It's gross. Uh, being proud of being articulate is a buff guy's game. Yeah, bro. Yeah, citizen vulgar. Bro, I'm so articulate. Dude, I'm just articulate all the time. Weirdly enough, a lot of like meatheads out of the gym like that are not usually the smart guys. What? Haven't you ever noticed that? How dare you? Because that's all they care about. Uh, Squirrel Boy. Yeah, Stephen Hawking was shredded. Shredded, Stephen. I mean, his system was Look shredded. at the cast of Big Bang Theory. <laughs> they were nerds. I Really? I didn't get that by watching two seconds oh, of that didn't? fucking show. It's actually the caption under every oh. episode. We were nerds. Oh, get it? We're nerds. Uh, Squirrel Boy Q with five bucks says, it's Aaron, a big knob with lumps. He has the moobs. Oh, honey. It's, it hurt. going to cry now. It hurt to sing I'm gonna, that. But I'm going to leave it It hurt to sing that, but you support our show, so it. I gave you what I had. I gave you what I, what I had. Citizen Vulgar says, a scrawny 1800s guy would solo that entire room of 21st century alphas. Yes. It's just, and it's not anybody's fault. It's just... It's the place you grew up in. It's like in 2022, we don't really have to fight for a whole lot of stuff. Except from what I've heard, our right to party. That's the only one. I'll run, Jefferson. <laughs> Go to break. Uh, 25 bucks away from our goal today. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, we'll wrap that up here. We got about 20 minutes left in today's show. We're doing overtime. 25 minutes away. We'll knock that out in no time. If you feel like chipping in, if you haven't thrown in 5, 10 bucks yet this month, we're at the end of the month. Why don't you throw that in? We'll call it good, and the show will be whole. Oh, I kind of want April for this one. I wanted to play this news story out of Alaska. All women crew fights fires and gender stereotypes in Alaska. I want to watch this because I love news stories where they openly deny the reality of what they're showing you to present you a narrative. In this case, they're go we're going to totally blow past the fact that you're not going to be very confident with these women and the speed at which they clear brush and lift heavy logs and things like that. 
but they're going to show them struggling to carry them and go, aren't they fucking great? Isn't that amazing? It's kind of like, um, what, what was that? Um, was it Bob Saget? No, it was Norm MacDonald. When Norm MacDonald went, yeah, Sarah Silverman. I mean, who's funnier than her? And they're like, nobody. Yeah, except for dudes. And it's kind of how I feel when they do like this military firefighters police officer shit when they're like, yeah, I mean, who's more badass than these women? And you're like, well, nobody, except for the guys who are doing the job and are much bigger and stronger. I mean, then, other than that, nobody. Uh, let's clear out a couple of things here quick. Stoney's Bar. Oh, we talked about our friends at Stoney's. All Care Towing, 320-253-5203 for All Care Towing of St. Cloud. Uh, if you go in the ditch, you need something this weekend, your car won't go. Make it all care towing. If you need to order firearm uh, items or you need to uh, order firearms themselves, Midland Armory in downtown Foley, midlandarmory.com. That's Midland Armory in Foley. Uh, check out the website and order. Have it delivered right to you. Use the promo code SteelToe to get yourself a little deal on Midland Armory and your orders. That's Midland Armory, downtown Foley, Minnesota. If you're here where we are or Midland Armory. Dot com. I'm all sorry. right, April, you want to see this? Yes, of course. Female, the all women crew fights fires and gender stereotypes <laughs> in Alaska. This year, instead of the usual one million acres burned, Alaska saw more than triple that with nearly 600 different... So clearly the female firefighters doing a great job. Yeah, <laughs> what a great start, ladies. Rough start, but they can get better. Fires reported so far in 2022. And one of the crews sent to help manage some of those fires was an all-women... Okay, first of all, look at that. Uh, there's come, so much to break down in that one picture. Come on. They look like they're on a field trip getting to try out the fire equipment. Yes, it's two friends. The, these three had to all ask each other, oh, who wants to go first? I'm <laughs> like, not me. She's got it over the shoulder oh. like this. Okay, I have a question for you. Is that hose turned on full? No. No, absolutely <laughs> not. No. There's no way. I feel... I will say, I bet a lot of women could not handle a full-on fire hose. You can. I can. In Conservation Corps. Oh, no. We're just super excited to have the women up here this year. This is not how it's supposed to start. We're just why super did they, excited. Why did they broadcast this if the whole point was women power? You're not supposed to start firefighting with, we're all super excited to get here today. Maybe it's a joke. Maybe whoever's like, Putting this on their news stations, like, look at this ridiculous shit. He got here. laid off, and this is the last story this is he's going to be. The last one he's doing. Yeah. This summer, Denali National Park and Preserve wasn't just home to its usual residents, including throngs of tourists. The park also welcomed its first all women fire crew. And this seemed like a really incredible opportunity to work with, like, uh, women um, this is not guys this isn't us this That's... is them this is their web uh... sorry i can't hear you all it is an alaska news agency so they might be a little have a little trouble with their connection but an all-female fire crew i want to ask how many times did they get called out before they sent men on backup with them i just need to Three. know it's totally new. It's totally... the first time they needed a man extracted from a building mm-hmm new skills. We've been doing fuels reductions for the majority of our time here, which means... So they're up. cutting stumps. Okay, they're not anyone, even out there fighting fires. They're out there cutting stumps. And they're, bl- they're brush clearing. I can clear brush, ladies. I, we've all done stumps before. This is my thing about the whole equality thing. It's like, it's okay to say that we don't all do the same things equal. It, isn't it better than bullshitting each other and doing this and making it look like they're school kids on a field trip? Yes, I... Go- Look, women can do firefighting just like men. That's what not up, what that means. You guys are going to end up hurting yourself. Like, if I was on a firefighting team, like, volunteer, I don't give a fuck. I would hope that there's a... I'm hoping there's a couple big dudes on there that can help me yeah, if I, bet I need you are. help. Yeah, I always look for the big dudes. You always look, You want Mark Harley there fighting fires. You well, wanna... now I'm a lesbian. <laughs> I, I can't have that. Big gay lesbian? Yeah. Uh, dead and down trees and also just other trees in order to prevent wildfire impact. <laughs> it lands on somebody's car. <laughs> Even that was like super gay how that tree fell. It was like Woo! just the dumbest, most like toothpicky t- tree you could have had. Yeah. That is funny. It's like the guys, the, the male firefighters go, all right, guys, here's the shit we don't have time for today. Could you go handle that? Thanks. 
Yeah, they don't want to like knock over domino trees. <laughs> I mean, it's just sad. We, we were camped out several miles down the river. By the way, do you think the male firefighters do that every time they cut down a tree? Yeah, do you think they all applaud? That. I was just thinking that. I've never once heard my dad fall, applaud fall a tree when, you know, and clap. Oh. I never. So it was really interesting to spend some time on our own out there and then also go be with other crews and get to interact with them, learn from them, make new friends. The women Guys, you're making it sound like a summer camp sleepover. I'm sorry. I know the whole point of this video was you're badass and we should totally take you seriously. This is a joke. It's having the opposite effect. This just looks too needy. I guarantee you the the men don't take pictures like this either. You don't think so? No. They don't feel the need to brag about the tree they knocked down. They do, but one of them's got like a swastika tattoo on his arm. And they do it while having beers after they're done with a really hard day's yeah. work. Women's fire crew hosted by the National Park Service is an all-women Conservation oh. Corps fire crew said to be the first of its kind in Alaska. There were seven women on the team to include one leader and six crew members who all trained and worked. And they on all hate each other now. They totally do some days. Within Katmai National Park and Preserve and Denali National Park and Preserve. This year's initiative follows the pilot program last year, which took place in Yosemite National Park and Grand Teton National Park. When I heard about the opportunity to leave the first female fire crew at the FCA, I couldn't say no, and it gave me the opportunity to meet all these awesome ladies and oh. make some awesome connections and meet really great people and see more parts of life. And then if you ask guy a guy fire crew the same thing, you go, yeah, could you guys shut the fuck up? We're getting ready to go out. Yeah, I've got a call. Aren't you excited to be part of this crew? I mean, not really. We just kind of go do our jobs and then come out. Like, we usually sweat a lot. We stink, so. I mean, most people don't like their job, right? They yeah. like the drinks afterwards. Yeah. Oh, no, she's working a chainsaw. Let's watch this. I got to see this. <laughs> not the worst. I feel like every person on this team brings something different. Probably should have got that other stick out of the way before you cut through Or the... propped up the one so your chainsaw's not going into yeah. the dirt. That's true, yeah. She was putting the chainsaw into the dirt. I missed that part, too. Fuck. We all are, like, I don't know, very strong people with strong, different skill set, and that really makes a, a great team that can do a lot. And I feel like... I'm sorry, guys. The sound would have been better, but the sound crew was a woman crew. Can you imagine when this all women's crew is synced up? How bad of a week that is? <laughs> You're more sexist than I am on this. Everyone's I love it. just fucking bitchy for a week. Achieved a lot this season, and just seeing how biting the heads off birds out in the wild. Chainsaws. Like, such a great experience together. Oh them. God, that just looks so. She's got to lean super forward <laughs> just to keep up with it. And like you said, that is not a full stream at all. No. She's leaning forward just to not, you're right. Look at that body posture. And look, I'm all for women getting out into the wild and doing shit out there. Yeah. But I, again, I wouldn't want to be the only woman or just all women on a team. You need some men right. for help. Right. As for the future, the National Park Service says it is hopeful that the program will be a positive step towards building a stronger representation of women in leadership roles in wildland fire. Do any of you plan to come back and continue your work up here? <laughs> we absolutely plan on doing this again next year. Um, it does, um, dude. It just sounds like they're at summer camp together. It's, it's a field trip, yeah. Oh, no. Th this is like the fire department threw them a bone. Well, and then the fire department throws him a bone and then everyone goes, oh, look, it's real. It's real. They're the real thing. And like, guys, we were just we did this so you guys would just feel part of the group. Yeah. You didn't have to go on the news and fucking embarrass us. They're doing this thing again, which they've done this with so many groups before where they're trying to like force somebody into a profession that is not usually there, you know, and it's usually because people like that don't want to apply for that kind of job. Yeah. Like women just kind of don't want that job. Yeah. Uh, Balls Deep says, I'm sure they can carry a 200 pound guy out of a burning building fully outfitted. Well, yeah. Otherwise they wouldn't be there. That's what I'm saying. I know I couldn't do that. Uh, Lansky says, imagine your house is on fire and these chicks arrive. I just go, nah, I'm good. And start filling up buckets. Yeah, <laughs> You just go to your own sink and you're just like, girls, I got it. Don't worry about it. I mean, look, my dog's a golden retriever. You're not going to be able to carry it. It's fine. I'll just, nope. I always said I would die in this house anyway. It's fine. I'll just go down swinging, I suppose. But will you guys at least call the men? Come uh, help me. Citizen Vulgar says she literally used the chainsaw roll. Right, she put it right into the dirt. Yeah. I'm surprised <laughs> that's not the first thing you noticed.
Well, I was noticing that she didn't move the other fucking log. No, I was thinking she should have moved that little log under the big one she was cutting so it's not going into the ground. Oh, but that's man. just me. Citizen Vulgar says, and what is she spraying? Is she watering the forest? That's kind of, yeah, there's no fire there. There was no, yeah, there was, she was just, wait a minute. So they got, <laughs> they got this all female crew together and then just said, here you go, guys, just cut up some logs and spray hoses into the woods. You're wasting resources. <laughs> they just got them to spray water into the woods and cut some branches. And then they celebrated them on the news as if they're fucking Susan B. Anthony. Well, again, this little fucking oh. toothpick of a tree goes, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Let me cut up the log. It's like, oh, sorry. I hit a bunch of rocks in the ground. It's wonderful. Lost a foot. Uh, Citizen Vulgar calling them calling them the fire hose. <laughs> the fire hose. I like that. Go, that's the team. That's man. actually pretty good. Uh, Rain says, glad to see April back. Very sickening seeing your interns. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thank you, Rain. Good to have you, buddy. Thanks, Rain. Uh, and thank you very much to Jeffrey, who knocked out our goal for us. Jeffrey S. Oh. Thank you, pal. 25 bucks you. on PayPal. And guys, we have knocked it out for today. Thank you very much uh, for giving us a good week here at Steel Toe. That is awesome. Yes, uh, very cool. Humbled every week. Humbled every single week. We appreciate... Uh, you know, being able to leave and do this on the internet and then you guys saying, no, 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 go to the internet. We'll support it. We'll support it's, it. And then doing it, that's great. It's definitely a good feeling leaving this every Friday and being like, you know what, they keep us coming back every Monday. Yeah. It's it's pretty cool. It's a fun job to have and uh, thank you guys for allowing us to do it. We do appreciate it. All right, we got 10 minutes left and I got a bunch of good stories left. Uh, after tweeting, we should use they, them pronouns for Hurricane Ian to, to annoy DeSantis. A liberal activist deletes their post because it was offensive to the trans community. This is my favorite. This is like when trolling goes wrong. Uh, Let Rachel, me guess. Rachel Vindman is a liberal activist. She was on Twitter. She's the wife of Alexander Vindman, who's the co-host of the Suburban Women Problem podcast. It sounds wonderful. <laughs> and... Uh, Fuck this shit. Before Hurricane Fuck Ian... It. Before Ian hit, she went, you know what we should do? <laughs> We should call Ian they them so it'll annoy DeSantis. And first of all, it's such a stupid thing to say because I'm sure Ron DeSantis is plenty busy. And Ron DeSantis has never given a shit about uh, pronouns in the first place. No, it's just that he's on the right. Yeah, so. it's just like, yeah, he didn't want you talking to kids about their cocks in school. I bet you he'd hate it if we said they, them. Like, no, I'm pretty sure he was happy when they passed that bill. I'm going to go ahead and guess that the trans community was none too pleased that they're being taken as a joke, right? Well, that's what they said. They said, well, you just used us basically in your vendetta against uh, Ron DeSantis. So on Wednesday, Vindman said, I deleted my tweet from yesterday because it was offensive to the trans community. I want to be an ally, but I make mistakes, a lot of them. Thank you to those who left rebuking comments. <laughs> These people have got to be tired of shooting themselves in the foot on social media like this. No, I don't think so, actually. Oh, she's going to get it, right it keeps... back up off the deck and try yes, again. it always happens. Wow. I'm so... That, I think, is actually kind of funny. I love how Ron DeSantis never like responded to it or anything. And, like, didn't even know it existed. And meanwhile, she's announcing, I'm really sorry about that tweet. It was super transphobic, and I'm trying to do better. You know what I'm picturing in my head? I'm picturing, like, this chick's doing all these tweets and shit. DeSantis is, meanwhile, packing sandbags to protect homes. Yeah. And he just hears, like, somebody brings this up to him. He's like, or... At the very least, he's oh, yeah, at the very least he's at his desk on the phone. Like, all right, you be here. All right, you go to this county. All right, you got to be at this county. All right, you're gonna be in Miami Dade. All right, you got to be here at uh, Fort Myers. I'm gonna need you over. Like, he's organizing shit. I don't think he's stopping to go. Oh, they better not be calling that hurricane they them. I fuck guys, shut it down. Shut it all down. It's They're calling it a, a non-binary hurricane. It's clearly a male. We named it Ian. Yeah. It, it really is what we've been saying about people like this. They project all of their shit and think everyone else thinks the way they do. Like you think, because you're obsessed with gender, you think that would bother anyone like DeSantis. I know. When in reality, that's just because you think that way. It's a he lot doesn't of, give a shit. It's a lot of projection. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Union Jack says their troll game is so weak. Uh, cool to hear this from Mizzle T. Shizzle. He says, I just got here a few days ago. 
I might have been your 5,000th sub, but I hope it continues. Well, thanks, buddy. Aww. I appreciate you coming here. We always tell people, give it a month or two before you throw five, ten bucks our way every month. Yeah. You know, make sure you love the show and it's something you want to support. Mizzle T. Shizzle came here and like day two he was a member. That was really flattering. Thank you, sir. Thank you, buddy. If there's one thing we want to make clear to our audience, it's that we're incredibly thankful for them allowing us to do this. Atomic Citizen says they don't mean it until they chop their dick off. They just... <laughs> He's back in full form. I like him. He says, howdy, Aaron and April. I'm out of jail. Oh, thank God. What did Atomic Citizen go to jail for? You don't want to know, brother. Can you tell me if I, here, do the thing? Oh, my God. Male or female? Oh, sorry. I'll mute the. Oh, well, at least they were Jewish. <laughs> sorry she didn't tell me anything she didn't tell me a damn thing uh this is a terrible idea we got a couple quick hitters we can do thirsty new england patriots fans will soon be able to pour their own beers at gillette stadium oh yay fun this should work out great <laughs> what are the patriots like oh and three one and two they Doing lost the, they lost their quarterback to some kind of broken bone uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say, no, this is an awful idea to let any football fan pour their own beer. I feel like if you're going to do like the, oh, pour your own beer option, don't do it at a stadium, right? I hope this is one of those deals where like they give you a chip or I've seen this on Bar Rescue. They give you a chip or a coin of some sort, and then you put that in the machine or a swipe card. And then you put the beer in there and you hit go and mm -hmm. it just pours you one beer. I hope it's not like, here, man, here's a pitcher at the football game. Really hope that's not the case. <laughs> Let's go to the phones quickly here. Marcus Harris. Mr. Harris, what's going on? Listen here, motherfucker. You will not denigrate my New England Patriots on this <laughs> radio show. You will not have it. What's your record? Was I right <laughs> or wrong? This is one and two. One and two. Well, you got one, right? And how long's your <laughs> how long's your quarterback out for? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Thank you. That's not good. Well, I appreciate you being very knowledgeable on the subject so much so that you decided to call in. <laughs> don't you know? All right, fine. That's the equivalent to, oh, we didn't get skunked. Yeah, right. Caught a potato. I'm like, hey, how long? Like, he's, he's, he's calling in, so, like, he's got to know his shit. And he's like, yeah, I'm calling in because fuck you for saying that about my Patriots. I'm like, yeah, what's your record? He's like, one and two. How long's your quarterback out? Uh -huh. All right, I'm going to head out, guys. I, really, I ran out of steam here. I I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Hey, who was that woman? I didn't grab this uh, for the show today. I wish I would have. I didn't grab the woman. Um, oh, thank God, because I'm out. Who was that lady who, like, had a... She got stroke face from the vaccine, but then was, like, while she was having stroke face, was talking about how great the vaccine is. I wish I could find that video. Justin Bieber? No, uh, just, yeah, it was Justina not. It was not Bieber. Justin Bieber, but I think. Um, I don't know. It was. Oh, Keem's back at the Twitch people. I see. Jesus, he doesn't stop. Yeah, Keem's back on the Twitch people for covering up the sexual assault. Uh, oh, and by the way, we just passed another twelve point three billion dollars to go to Ukraine. So, there's that. Why do you got to end the show on that? Now I'm angry. Sorry. Oh, by the way, we got uh, King Charles being mad at pens again. Okay. Here you go. <laughs> Fuck's sake, mate. Fucking. Oh, this is somebody edited it. This is oh. funny. Bollocks, this is. I shouldn't have to fucking do this shit, mate. I'm the king. What the fuck is this here? Can you just fucking move this out of the way? <laughs> fucking hell, mate. Being king is bollocks. I'm fucking done with this shit. This is the greatest <laughs> Dude, video. Dude, he fucking nailed that. I'm going to big screen that for you guys. Hold on a second. That was really good. Fuck's sake, mate. Fucking bollocks. This is... I shouldn't have to fucking do this shit, mate. I'm the king. What the fuck is this here? Can you just fucking move this out of the way? Fucking hell, mate. Being king is bollocks. I'm fucking done with this shit. I would buy it. <laughs> like, if I was a stupid nobody, I'd buy that. Well, as a stupid nobody, I'd like to say uh, I think it's brilliant. It's from... Uh... Well, David Firth Salad Fingers uh, tweeted it, but he says he needs to know who made this. Holy oh, shit, good. that was funny. 
Who's the stro- I got to find Just the Just go on stroke Google and chick. say stroke face chick. I don't think it's via stro- I don't think I'm going to find it Do via stro- stroke face chick. Stroke face chick talks about vaccines. Let's go to there the beautiful go. and talented Royce Lopez. What are we doing? And just for, go to his Twitter. What are we doing for breakfast lunch? We'll talk about it off the air. Okay. Oh, here she is. This is Stroke Face Lady. Ew. Canadian actress <laughs> Jennifer Gibson. That's who she is. Um, here we go. A video I want to make. Um, <sighs> and it's kind of hard to make because as I'm watching myself, I see um, what I'm going to say, which is I. So she's got the fucking Bieber thing going on where she's got the half a stroke face. Have been diagnosed with Bell's palsy, which is paralysis on one side of the face. For me, it's... Uh, By God, that man's got a family. By God, King. By God, he's dead. As God is my... Sorry. She Jim Rost herself. Uh, this side here, the, the left, obviously. Um, Ma'am, you got some spittle? If you could... Oh, what if he just drooled? So I got it about two weeks after getting my vaccine. Uh oh. No. Uh oh. And I had a rough go with the vaccine. I just want to know one thing before I. I'm sorry for pausing so much. Can we find any evidence that this woman shit on people for not getting vaccinated or made fun of unvaccinated people? Because if so, I feel no sympathy for her. If she didn't, I'm. It's terrible that this has happened. Um and I guess still am, but I have to say that I would do it again. Oh, then oh, fuck you. Fuck off, you oh. stupid cunt. Oh, Jesus. Like, seriously, though, you're sitting here with your face paralyzed, and you're like, oh, I would do this all right. over again. Bell's palsy, you, you never would Jesus. have died. COVID would not have killed her. No. Not at all. And but now you, you know got what? Bell's palsy. Half your face is dead now. Bravo. I'm you proud of all you. Again. That's so it. brave. That just shows oh, that you're not smart Oh, these people are so enough. fucking stupid. Because it's what we have to do to see people. So, um, Is that really what you just said? I, I would do it again, even though I got Bell's palsy, because it's what we need to do. It's not. Maybe in Canada? I don't know. Here, it's not. That's I mean, ridiculous. That's like the definition of like, I hate using the term sheep because it's so hack and overused, but that is, the, that is a why, sheepish thing to say. Why don't we do the second round and do the other side of your face? Oh, yeah. Like, are, are you ready? Can you get your booster in the other arm? Are you down for that? Perhaps. Just this is so fucking stupid. Oh, I mean, I've had a rough go of it, but let's, I'd do it again. Oh my God, I'm telling you right now, I get vaccinated in a heartbeat, King. What is wrong with people, though? That is some kind of illness or brainwashing. I don't know what that is. You're insane. Danger Bear Wolf Turtle pointing out, did she just wink at me? I think she's yours, buddy. <laughs> oh, no. That's funny. I think she's yours. Oh, that's a funny guy. Uh, sleep with one eye open, Karen. That's, well, she has no choice. All right. Uh, 3K says, only forced in Canada if you want to keep your government job. Well, there you go. All right, guys. That's going to do it for today. Thank you all very much for the support. Another great week for this show. April, thank you a bunch. Thank you, Aaron. I'm going to put up the full Husey interview in just a little bit. And then uh, I got I got a bunch of clips that we got to throw in. Uh, probably some stuttering John from yesterday. That's probably time sensitive. The Husky story will probably go up uh, and some other things. Smash that like button. Share them all. Listen to them Oh, all. yeah. Like the shit out of everything we do. Subscribe to the channel. The whole deal. Our clips will keep you warm through the weekend. And we will talk to you again Sunday night at 7 p.m. if you're a member. Otherwise, back at 6 a.m. Central Time. Bye, everybody.